Hello, what's going on, guys? Hi. Hello. I, I, I have been noticing, like, um, throughout this time that, um, my uh, Streamlabs sources have been kind of fluctuating for some reason, so. <sighs> I don't know fucking- I, I, I don't know why, um. <laughs> anyway, guys, so. Chapter 2, Investigation Trial. We are ongoing. Ugh, this chapter. So, spoilers right off the bat, uh, uh, what I'm going to be talking about is basically who died. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, I just finished uh, my lunch, you know, as, so uh, as soon as I, you know, just uh, switched over to another uh, side. Hello, Jay the Weirdo. Hi, welcome to the stream, Jay. Hi. Welcome. Going to be playing some dang on Rampa. Oh, uh, do you? I, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, are you actually familiar with this game series? Cause, uh, yeah. Uh, I I would definitely say that dang on Rampa is uh, a game is a game series that is very dear to me. But um, yeah, it's really pog. Yeah, it's yeah, that's pog. Yeah, that's I'm pretty sure it's really pog. Um, but anyway. Um. Oh yeah. Also, how's everyone doing? How are you guys? Once again, I guess, um, regarding my status, yes, I just ate my lunch five minutes before the stream, and then, uh, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I love Diamond Romp, I'm not updated in the series anymore, though. Oh, really? Wait, uh, from what until game did you play? Or if you watch the anime, um, I really do recommend you to play the games, because, uh, Diamond Romp, Diamond Romp's best form of, you know, the best form that you could ever enjoy it is basically in the games, because, uh, the games are just so good, and I feel like the the story is very, you know, it's very much better to be delivered in that way. I really like visual novels and stuff, so yeah. Anyway, I, I've I've progressed quite uh, fairly nicely here in this game, currently in chapter two, and I'm going. Uh, yeah. Also, I'm actually starting to think over some games that uh, that would. Uh, that would replace Dragon Rump eventually, cause uh, let's face it. Um, yeah, this game's gonna end. Um, basically, when it comes to like the patterns of my streams, um, basically I always have Genshin. Like, pretty much that's like my staple game. And then I'll have some other game that I'll play. Most likely, it's gonna be something very story based, and uh, I never played yet. Um, but I watched the ga uh, the game series until uh, V3. Oh, you watched? Oh, nice. So basically, you pretty much know what's uh. Uh, but never finished V3, I think. Oh, okay. From what until chapter have you, uh, have you ever been now? Because basically, um, yeah, I'm, I'm completely blind on this, so I have no idea what's gonna, uh, what's going on. But I, I do want to know, um, where have you progressed here in V3? I <laughs> don't really remember the role. Oh, uh, well, okay. But yeah, um, chapter 2, bottom line. Well, since I'm on the, in the, the investigation, I pretty much... Yeah, we're just, basically, we're just getting onto some action as soon as possible. So, yeah, watch me uncover this mystery. Um, anyway, here we go. Deadly life. This is where exactly we are at. Continue! Here goes. Let's get down to business. For the second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. Oh yeah, also, once again... I fully voice act in this uh, voice act in this game, and uh, hell yeah! To be honest, I actually enjoy voice acting it. Uh, shut here. Uh, when it comes to trials, I don't really need to voice act because uh, the trials are voice acted. So yeah. Those who weren't pres present at the magic show heard it and came running. Okay, so basically, the three guys who weren't here at the magic show is Kaito, Maki, and uh, K uh, Kokichi. What's going on? Okay. Oh, fuck. I, what, what, what voice did I do in Tenko again? I, I do remember uh, memeing Tenko, but due to me knowing about her story, it's either I want to meme him, uh, meme her more, or I just really want to meme her less. But I'm going to meme her. I don't care. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. We should break the tank, right? We got to check what's inside. What? Break it? Yeah. Yeah, break it. It'll take too long to drain by hand. Huh? 
But what would we even use to break it? Hey! Go into uh, Keyboy! You're up! Huh? Uh, huh? What do you mean we're up? You're so dumb. Gonta, throw Keyboy as hard as you can. Use that rope out like a battering ram. Do not mock me. Do not mock me. Who are you calling a battering ram? Got it. Gonta, throw Kibo. Got it. Got it. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just, <laughs> they're just fucking agreeing to it. Okay, fine. We'll throw Kibo. Who cares? <laughs> Please wait. N now wait just a second. Please. Uh, you, you guys don't need to team up now. Oh wait, this is actually the first time I've ever seen uh, Kibo's voice to be like this. Call queer. Are there, oh, they actually did it. <laughs> they actually did it. Oh my god. That's a that's a glorious shot. I actually kind of want to use this as a thumbnail. Like as much as possible, what I do is uh, I take screenshots of uh, the CGs because uh, I'm gonna be using some of the CGs as uh, thumbnails later. So yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> That is not a very robotic scream, but anyway. The sound was intense. A bowl of piranhas in uh, water dyed red with blood rushed out. Well, dying on rump of blood, once again, it's, it's fucking pink. <laughs> we watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. After some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. However, I made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. With Karimi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. Pink bubblegum blood. <laughs> um, I've gathered Ryoma's body and belongings in one place. <sighs> Kibo looks depressed. It was just used as a battering ram, so I understand why. However, he's been reduced such that he can be carried in one hand. How fleeting and fragile life is. Mm. Going to put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all got big tummies. Going to think they fool. Ew. Today Ryoma is fish food, and tomorrow he'll be fish shit. Oh my fucking god, Mio. Shut up. I do love Mio though, like Mio's great. Oh my. Don't say such things. Eh. Himiko? Himiko! Are you okay? Is this... Hey! Jay! Jay, you are very cultured. You're very cultured. That, that's that, yeah. That's really nice. Yes, she is. She is best girl. <laughs> like the thing is, there's duality when it comes to like the people who appreciate and depreciate Miu. Fifty percent of people just don't like her, and fifty percent do. <laughs> so yeah. This wasn't an incident, was it? Does this mean that the killing game has started again? Uh, how? How can this happen? We swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again! I mean, shut up, Kokichi. You, you, you were trying to instigate it earlier. Why? So that was all just a lie! You guys are liars! All you liars apologize to Ryoma! He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore! Unacceptable. You dis- in- Uh, you disingenuous- Uh, dis- Wait, how do you say this? This, uh, this ingenuous- uh, Okay. You disingenuous tears mark you a liar right now. Did I get caught? Oh, you figured it. You figured it out. You got. You've got a pretty good eye there, Keo. I have a thing with blonde, confident girls. <laughs> the thing about me is that um, I laugh. Cops Junko. Cops Junko. Ah. To be honest, if I if I do if I do choose between them, yeah, I'll choose Junko in a heartbeat. Junko choose too, guy. But uh, but the thing about Junko is that she's like full on confidence. Meanwhile, Miu, if you stand up to her, she just folds. It's amazing. <laughs> Guys, how how does it feel now that you've got a second murder victim on your hands? Huh? Ryoma's transparent? Has my X-ray vision superpower finally awakened? Rise and shine, or shine. Here we go. Mona comes. Father! Father! You don't have superpowers. He's just been reduced to a skeleton. Alright! Finally! I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again! That means we put all these boring crap on the hold and stop playing the blame game. That's nice. You're raring to go, Mono. Who are you again? The hell you saying? Monosuke! You should at least remember your own kid's name. <sighs> okay. Monothony, are you okay? Five. Four. Hmm? Hmm? Are you counting, Monothony? Why are you counting? 
because three, I'm seriously two. That very, that very silly puking sound though. But <laughs> I can't even, I can't even do it. How do you do that shit? Ah! Ah! She puked again! You stupid! What the hell are you doing, you failure? Dumbass! Listen up, we're here to make sure the killing game goes smoothly. Capisce? You're so cute. Also, to keep me company, and new mascots present lots of exciting p business up or two. Who cares? Shut up, you failure! Dang. What? Me too? Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey, this conversation is fun and all, but we should really get this over with. Don't we need to start investigating or something? Alright! Alright! I'll get the culprit this time for sure! Hurry up and give us the thingy! Okay! <laughs> what is up with the accent I just said at the end? Thingy! <laughs> you mean the Monokuma file, right? I also investigated the cause of death this time, so read it to your heart's delight. Okay, so I have a prediction. The thing about it is that the magic show went on pretty long. So the obvious cause of death for Ryoma is that he drowned. He, like, he was already drowned there, and in order to get rid of, like, any, I guess, evidence of, like, you know, like, like for, for example, like, wounds, is, oh, wait, no, 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 that, wait, that's the point. That's the point, in order to uh, orchestrate it that he drowned, which he probably really didn't, he was put there in it to get rid of the evidence uh, that he was like, uh, like he was forced to be put in there, is that have the piranhas eat his flesh. To be honest, this is such a, a ground of death, like I really don't like the way of this death is because, to be honest, it's quite illogical. Like, even though how outlandish the deaths of the other games are, they, they seem to have some logic in it, you know, that's like the thing. But the thing about Ryoma is that the thing, you know, the piranhas, the, the piranhas itself. Like, there is no there, there is no such thing as bloodthirsty piranhas as just like that. Basically, these are movie piranhas and they don't fucking exist, so... Yeah. Man. Pops! Oh, this is sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea. Oh. Yeah, that's totally unrelated. Got it. Let's use a monokuma file to start the funeral service business. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. You know, how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause of death? And that's that. If you, pa if you pass out the Monokuma files, even the worst deaths would get a giggle out of the attendees. Well, well Pops, what you think? They're so freaking cute! <laughs> huh? Huh? Cute? The way you pass out the files is just so cute! Why don't you just come with me over here? <laughs> He Pops is gonna let me all over! Uh. Hmm. Huh? Father's showering Manasuke with all his love! Hmm. Huh. You think maybe Manasuke is right? Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough! <laughs> She's... <laughs> She's still fucking puking. Um. I think maybe I'll follow Manasuke. Oh, they're so depressed. Oh man, sad. So then, in any event, let us begin the investigation. I really love um, like I really really love voicing uh Kyo though. Like uh, it's so satisfying for me. For me, he's like, I wouldn't say like he's the easiest to voice act, but he's like the most stable person that I could ever voice act. Like stably voice act. So yeah. What's up with short round of boys falling, uh, uh, falling to liquid uh, deep enough to drown them? First Tero Tero into lava, yeah! That's so true! That's so true! First it's Tero Tero, and now it's Ryoma. <laughs> oh my god, Tero Tero. Yo, fir first chapter of uh, of Danganronpa 2 was really good though. Was really nice. But to be honest, no one can ever top the chapter 1 of this game though. That's for sure. Chapter 1 of this game is fucking amazing. With the MC MC switch it is. Uh, with, with that stuff, so yeah. But investigation, so it's really go going to start again. Actually, I can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma. Okay, so here's the thing. Once again, <laughs> to be, it's so sad because I'm I'm actually really not putting my emotion into this current event right now because I should be sad that he's dead. To be honest, I am sad because he he was a Chad. Ryoma's a Chad. Um, but the thing is, 
I really want to figure out uh, how this shit works, because uh, here's the thing. The biggest assumption that I could ever take is um, whoever worked on this stage are definitely the ones who are suspicious. The ones who, uh, the ones who like worked on on it are the ones that, uh, at least one of them is the one who did it. But once again, collaborative murders do exist. Um, if you guys remember Chapter Four of Danganronpa One, we got a collaborative eff uh, a collaborative effort with uh, um, Hifumi and and Celeste. But the thing is, the reason why it became one uh, one uh, a one track thing is because Celeste ended up killing Hifumi, and so that's why I guess the plot line of that chapter didn't really become as convoluted as much. Actually, no wait, is it Chapter Four? No, 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 never mind. I think it's Chapter Three because Chapter Four is where. Um, Sakura died, and basically from the point when Sakura died, nobody killed, kill, nobody started killing one another, which is really good. It's pretty, it's pretty pog. It's really nice, you know. Like uh, Sakura uh, gave her life to the guys, and then they just didn't kill each other ever since. But uh, yeah. And basically, the thing about Danganronpa V3 is what he really likes to do is. Ko uh, what Kodaka really likes to do is uh, he really likes to break ba uh, like boundaries or like stereotypes basically throughout games. So the one stereotype is like with chapter one, basically everything has been broken. You know, with having one MC, we got an MC change and all sorts of that stuff. And um, we got chapter two, which totally breaks the trope of, uh, or actually from uh, from the correlation of the ending of chapter one. Um, uh, yeah, I'm surprised Toko didn't kill anyone. It's uh, yeah, it's ironic actually. It's good though. It's good. I really do have high hopes for her back then. Um, but then uh, another stereotype that was broken here is uh, when somebody says that, "Promise me that don't uh, that don't do any killing anymore," but then someone still killed. So that's like one trope that was broken, totally from the first game. So yeah. And the motive of the second game is like pretty similar to. Uh, the first game, uh, first game, first chapter mode of, you know, so yeah. Someone... Among Us! I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry I did that. I'm so sorry. Someone Among Us. How this happened? No more. Go to no one to investigate friends. No one to suspect friends. Then... Then don't do it. I'm not going to investigate either. What is going on with Maki? First of all, Maki... Because I don't really want to obviously say that Maki is the one who killed her, uh, to kill them, but, but the thing is, that's going to be too obvious, so I feel like Kodak is really not going to make it as that case. First of all, Maki did not really want to look at her own motive, or like, the, 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 the path that was given to them. And then at the same time, now she doesn't want to investigate, so yeah. She's turning a blind eye. Huh? huh? Because You'll be fine if you're short of a person, and I doubt a child caregiver would be much help. What do you mean? Everyone needs to be on hands on this because everyone can be suspicious. Wait, Maki! I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. What was that? The fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously not gonna investigate? Incomprehensible. That seems rather irresponsible. Yes. She likely assumes someone else will take care of it. And I suppose she isn't wrong. But why would she say that now? She participated in Brontara's investigation. Although I suppose Maki has been acting strangely. Uh, strange lately. Yeah, exactly. She, ha she has been acting very strange lately. I've been told that she spends all day in her lab. What is she doing in there? Jeez. Well, I'll have a talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. Oh, I'm seriously around. pissed we gotta do this. But it's our only chance to survive. Right? Yup, I'll do my very best too. That is totally not Kokisha's voice. Gota and I have been working especially hard as we uh, as we can regain everyone's trust. You're right. Oh yes, you're right. <laughs> well, we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? What? Right. Ryoma was murdered during a little uh, uh during a certain little magical powers uh little magical girl shove, right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. Yeah, but she's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly when every single person you try to suspect on Danganronpa is that they're so suspicious that she's not suspicious. Oh, that's amazing. That's a perfect way to describe this game, actually. Yeah. 
Oh wow, <laughs> that's the first time. That's my first time seeing hearing that. Yeah. Right. But then again, she made herself look not suspicious. So now she's super suspicious. Hey, degenerate male. Jay, shut up already! How dare you toy with Himiko's pure heart? You got me. You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. You gotta be kidding me! Oh. So this guy's using twisted logic. My God, this guy's smart, actually. <gasps> Man. Ah, shut up, shut up. Himiko would never do something like that. I... I know her best, right, Himiko? No. No. F. This is the part where you agree with me. Anyway. Himiko, can you at least tell us the trick behind the underwater escape act? That's a good because... question, actually. That is a good question. If we, if we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out how the culprit, ki uh, how the culprit killed... It's impossible. That's not possible. Huh? Not possible. Why not? Magic. There's no trick to the underwater escape, cause it was my magic. <laughs> How long is this donkey lip midget gonna keep saying that? Um, Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. Cut it out. Yeah, my answer won't change no matter what you say. Cause I'm a mage. There's no trick to my magic. Uh, to, to my magic, cause it's magic. Seriously? How long are you gonna keep that bullshit up? Listen, if we don't catch a culprit, we're... Cut it out already! Okay, that's enough. If Himiko says it's magic, it's magic. Fuck you, Sam. Shut up. <sighs> I'll use my Neo Akira to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. What? I I'm not bullying her. It's her fault she's being so stubborn. Hmm. Well, it's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out myself. Actually, that sounds pretty fun. It seems as if... To solve this mystery, we must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. We have no choice in the matter. He's right. We have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. This investigation is to save all of our lives. Because we're risking our lives in the class trial. What is going on? Okay. So here's the thing. Let's get down to business. So the one thing that I want to figure out is who worked on the stage. Because ultimately, that's is that, that's definitely going to be one of the our top uh, top things. Second of all, time intervals. We need to we need to know the progression of of how the thing was built when certain things were built in the contraption. And basically, the time frame itself, like uh, how long did it happen? Because I'm guessing the past couple days, the thing with the rampaging uh, Gonta, it happened for about like two days, I think, two to uh, two or two to or a single day, I think. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, this should be interesting. Um, lurk, okay, thank you, thank you so much for the lurk. Thank you, thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Hey, Shirichi, you got a sec? Huh? Uh-huh. Uh, what's wrong? I mean... Before we start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell you. Alright! You're my sidekick from now on! Huh? Your sidekick? You know... I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut out for investigations. But that's a good quality to have for an investigation. Listen up. Plus, that's the only stage fit for Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars, is the universe itself. So I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success. But... Uh, but I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He loves to make the... He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I mean... So... Leave it to me. I'll take full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick. There's nothing to worry about. Wait, what? What does he mean? Huh? Huh? Alright, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monokuma file. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, right. Kaito's making me a sidekick like this? Could it be? I'm scared. I try not to be. But I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about that pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? Hey! Hey, what's the matter? 
Let's check the Monokuma file already. Uh, okay. Uh, right. At Kaido's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. The victim is Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. The body was discovered in the gym. Okay, I, I want to read this right away. I, I don't want to waste time. The victim's body was discovered in the gym. The cause of death was drowning afterward. The victim's body was consumed by piranhas. Okay. So, okay, we gotta remember this uh, quote-unquote uh, wordplay that we have here. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. So that means... Yeah, this is obvious. This is actually pretty obvious. I think my theory is correct. That basically, he didn't really die by drowning. Or he could die- he could have died of drown- I mean, technically he didn't. Let's say that he got incapacitated. He passed out, and then he drowned while he was incapacitated. So yeah. Cause uh, the, the thing is, when we look at, uh... When we look at, um, uh... Ryoma here, he doesn't really have... Any signs of, uh... He doesn't really have any signs of struggling. Like, as if, like, he's just totally been like that ever since he got into the water, so... I'm really thinking that he was hit by blunt force, he passed out, he was thrown in here. That's my theory, okay? So basically, that's what I'm thinking of. The next thing that we need to figure out is who did it. And basically, we need to- uh, on top of that, we need to figure out the time frames. And in the same time, we need to know who are the ones who worked on the platform, so yeah. Who worked on the platform? Okay, there we go. Come on. What? Man. There's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. The time of death isn't written here. Exactly. I expected that. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Remember. The previous Monokuma file indicated Rantaro's time of death. Correct. I actually really like the second, uh, the second game's, uh, in investigation music, though. The victim is Rantaro Mami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. I wonder why, though. But, but the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate a time of death. What? Did Monokuma mess up? No. No, this was intentional. Monokuma told us that he wouldn't give us any information that would reveal the culprit. But... Exactly! You see, I'm right. I'm correct. I'm very correct. I said that we need to figure out the time frame of everything that has been progressing. That's why. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Thinking about it that way, it implies that the information would, uh, would be damning evidence for the culprit. Ah. So that means the key to this case is the, is the time of death. Well ha! Done. There you go! I knew I picked a good sidekick. There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. Ryoma's cause of death. It says drowning, but if that's the case, we might be able to unravel the case from there. Monokuma file 2, here we go. Alright! All right! Now that we're done with the Monokuma file, we can start- uh, we can get started on the investigation. First command- my first command to my new sidekick is... Investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead us to the culprit! I mean, pretty much that's the one thing that you actually have to do. He's pretty commanding, as I expected. Okay. So... Let's go close. There's a large water tank from the escape truck. The glass is broken. It's in bad sh It's in bad shape. Come on, man. Did you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked now. But... Well, if he had left Ryoma's body there, he wouldn't be able to investigate. Hi, Rocky. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hi. I am currently on Chapter 2, Investigation slash Trial. Well, I'm going to be doing the trial later, of course. But yeah, once again, I did state uh, I did state my theory earlier. That, um, uh, which I was totally right. Like, as soon as... Uh, uh, I was totally right uh, with my theory. Like, before even a Monokuma was... Uh, a Monokuma file that was revealed. That I'm pretty sure that drowning is not going to be the cause of death. Because of uh, there's no time frame, and in the same time, at the end of the statement of the Monokuma file, it also stated that there, uh, no other injuries can be confirmed at this moment. And of course, the piranha ploy is to use that to get rid of any evidence of any type of injury, so yeah. I was totally right. I mean, it's kind of obvious, you know, it's actually pretty obvious. 
Praia. Okay. It was a lot. It was a lot of cleanup, but at least we can investigate the uh, the tank now. There might be a clue around here. I should take a closer look. Got it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, here we go. Because we broke the glass, there isn't much of anything left in the tank. But I should investigate the area thoroughly. There's bound to be something. First of all, I want to investigate. <laughs> Look at all those piranhas. Uh, I want to investigate the handcuffs. So yeah. Handcuffs. Where are their handcuffs? Where are their handcuffs here? Still locked, and there are small scratches on them. The cuffs appear to be stainless steel. It's not too hard to, stra uh, to scratch. They must have been scraping against something hard or sharp. Huh? What are those handcuffs? Uh, were they in the tank? But I've never seen handcuffs in a warehouse. Where did they come from? That's true. There weren't any. There weren't any in the warehouse. So where did they come from? I think this is Ryoma's because uh, Ryoma has his own handcuffs. I think. Oh, no, 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 never mind. That's like something on his leg. No, no, never mind. It's not a handcuff. Yeah, where did this come from? Who would have handcuffs? Look, like, basically, the one person that we haven't really investigated the, the lab yet is, is uh, Maki. Which I guess makes Maki quite suspicious, because we have no idea what's inside our lab. That's like the potential source of where this came from, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to call shots on on uh, Maki because it, I think it seems to be too good. If they weren't in a warehouse, another place that might have uh, might have had uh, handcuffs is. Could it be he's a prisoner? Ryoma's lab wasn't just uh, ultimate. Uh, uh, was uh, wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner. Oh yeah. So perhaps some of el some element of that was in its lap as well. Scratch. Okay, here we go. Interesting. Glass. Fragments of the broken glass water tank have been piled up. There's so many tiny pieces. Going to Tenko certainly didn't hold back when they threw Kibo at the glass. Piranhas. It's a bucket full of piranhas. Koda said that he picked up all the piranhas and put them there. I can't believe Gonda would do that in his bare hands. Oh wait, y yes I can. When I think when I think that Ryoma's inside their stomachs, I don't even feel like eating them. <laughs> Why would you even consider eating them in the first place? <laughs> Only the strong can survive in this world that the Tuak has created. Amen. At least we can do is uh, at least we can do is pray for Ryoma's, uh, Ryoma's soul. That way he can enter Atua's kingdom. Come on, man. Can he really go there looking like this? But, but... Those piranhas sure were a mirac uh, miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua was behind those videos too. Huh? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh... I noticed it right as the show started. What a surprise! I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday than we were pr Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Time frame. We're gonna be figuring out the time frame. So yesterday... There were less piranhas. So we could we could say that the alteration of the contraption was yesterday. So basically Oh yeah, and at the same time I guess I was right because I did say that the events with the rampaging Gota was also yesterday. Yeah 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 yeah. Now the thing is, okay. So the murder happened yesterday. Now we gotta know who was involved. And his disappearance, and who's involved in, I guess, progressing this stage around that time frame. Okay, let's go, let's go. We're doing great, we're doing great. No. More piranhas? Huh? What? Did they multiply overnight? There's no way that they could re reproduce that fast. But, 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 compared to yesterday, the piranhas look super crammed into that tank. Oh, never mind. Well, no, 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 we're still, we're still on the right track. So we assumed that there were more piranhas, but at the same time, it looked like there were more piranhas because it was cramped because he was in there. Ah, oh, so they looked more cramped together. Dear, dear. The water, the water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many more piranhas there were. Uh, there were. Oh my! 
But anyways, it was super, 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 super cramped. What a surprise! Jeez, we get it. More proud us than yesterday. So there might be something to that. Cramped piranhas. Yeah, basically it's a clue to that he was basically placed in there yesterday. I can pretty much say that. Ria was morning, okay. Oh! 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 Oh, there we go, actually! On the skull, we have a clue! We have a clue! Guys, 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 we have a clue! We have a clue on the very, very, uh, on, on the very skull, right there. S he got hit in the head. He got hit in the head. This is this isn't something visual, right? Like this is a thing. Unless if there was a record of him having a past injury when he was a p prisoner, which I kind of doubt because he's really fast. Like guys, remember he dodged Gonto. He's very athletic. Gonto's very athletic, and I'm assuming he's very fast. He dodged him. So basically, what probably happened to him is that he was caught off guard. What probably happened to him that he was caught off guard? So okay. Ryo's body is nothing more than a skeleton, not even a shadow of what he was. Chuh! <laughs> what the heck is this? Is this really Ryoma? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I can't believe it. Uh, okay. Why is that highlighted? Huh. I'm certain of it. Remember. Everyone watching the show witnessed that. We saw Ryoma become nothing uh, became uh, become nothing but bones. <clears throat> I can't believe it. he died in such a gruesome way. Well, the water filled with blood is uh, filled with blood so fast. We didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. But then again, I even let's say if the death by drowning can be wrong, we could probably say that he died instantly as soon as he received that blood force. So yeah. The water filled with blood so fast, we didn't even see the whole thing, thankfully. But this skeleton is uh, unmistakably, unmistakably, Ryoma's. Jeez. Jeez, I know he wanted to die, but I didn't have to go and do that. No, No, I don't think that's right, Kaido. Ryoma wasn't trying to die. He said as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, when the previous chapter, he did told us that, uh, I wanted to, you know, I'm sorry... I, I just figured that I really want to live. I was just jealous of you. He didn't he didn't want to die anymore at some certain point, actually. He was jealous of us who wanted to live. Huh? huh? What do you mean he was jealous? Hmm. I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why he needed a reason to live. Oh. So that he could have the same feelings we do. So that he could have that reason to keep going. To fight alongside us. <laughs> that he was a real idiot. Who cares if you don't have a reason to live? That, it's very fucking important, dude. <laughs> the reason to live is literally... It's self-explanatory, that's what it is. It's your reason to live. <laughs> can't your reason for living for... Uh, uh, can't your reason for living be something simple like good food or your friends? Damn. The thing is, not all people are like that, man. When you've suffered so much in life, you... Sim simple things can't get you by because the thing is when you suffer even the simplest of things have been robbed from you the happiness from those simple things have been robbed from you due to you suffering and that's why you can't feel anything through simplicity anymore the only time that you feel happy again from simplicity is when you have fought, finally defeated your demons that's the only way come on man <sighs> seriously no clue there's a blunt force on his on, on his on his skull. I don't know if that's a past injury, but that could be a clue. That could seriously be a clue. Seriously. Ryoma's belongings are all gathered together. His clothes, his monopad, the key to this room. Oh, that's it! If you use if you use this key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. Hmm? What's in his room to investigate? Remember. The motive video. We should find out whose video Ryoma had. Then you think Ryoma was killed because of that video? No. I can't say for certain, but we should check just in case. Although, he might have my video. If that were the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point of thinking about that now. 
So is that it. A uh, glass panel. What's here? Huh? There's a there's a there's a there's a square pane of glass at the bottom of the water tank. It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far more random than this. It's nearly impossible for that broken water tank to produce such a perfect square of glass. Then, what exactly is this pain? What is that? That's very sussy baka. Alright, that's all I wanted to see around the water tank. Let's talk to... Okay, stage. I should investigate the stage, I'm sure there's a clue there. So let's see. What can we investigate? So we got a letter. I mean, that's our way for getting out, I guess. Let's talk to Kirume. Hey, you were helping. You were helping set up the show, right, Kirumi? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not agree. No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help considered uh, consisted of sewing the banner and curtains, so I do not know the details of her trick. Well, I see. Okay, so uh, Kirumi is on the clear. They stood on the stage and looked up. The piranha tank was directly over uh, overhead. It was set up so that the bottom would uh, would open when the timer had reached zero. The bottom is open now, and the tank is empty. It doesn't look as though it has a, it has a lid. I can see the ceiling straight through, and the only front side is glass. The other sides are made of wood, so the piranha tank had no lid, and only the front was made of glass. Hey, so oh yeah. The tank was from Himiko's research lab. Uh. Yeah, Kaito. You helped carry supplies from the show, right? Got it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, here we go. Yo, okay, here we go. We have clues. In regards to who our suspect is. We have Kaito. Kibo. Himiko. And Anji. Those guys. We gotta keep tabs on these guys. Now, I have a bad feeling it could be Kaido, but in the same time, please don't be Kaido, come on, man. Like, I really do feel like it's not gonna be Kaido, because, once again, Kodaka is, like, trying to, like, uh, make us establish a connection with him. So, yeah. Like, it's been such a death flag that we've been with him the entire time. So, I really do wish that it's not Kaido. So yeah. But I just helped carry that. I wonder how they hung it from there. You know, it was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. It couldn't have been it couldn't have been easy to lift. Is, it seems this is where the light lighting baton for the uh, for the gem is attached. Ah, uh, Kirumi! The control like panel on the side of the stage allows you to raise and lower the baton. It seems they lowered the baton, attached the piranha tank to it, then raised it again. Hmm, I never knew the lighting, uh, the lighting balance were uh, sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. that is Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it probably is quite sturdy. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Timer. The timer that was counting down the escape trick. I didn't realize it was also a timer to reveal Ryoma's body. Oh, what else? What else can we investigate here? Uh, let's see. Uh, piranha tank. Ah, oh, the light panel. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's talk a little bit to Kaido. All right. My first command. To, my first command to my new sidekick is investigate everywhere. Okay, he pretty much said the same thing. Let's investigate the light panel. Let's go. What is this? It is the control panel for the stage lights. It allows you to raise and lower the pattern. Hmm. Ah, I see. Ladder. What about the ladder? I wonder if there's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to set up the show. So I guess I'll ask Kirui more, I guess. Hey. You were helping uh, you were helping set up the show, right, Kirumi? Did you hear anything about the cr Okay, never mind, it's the same thing. Well. So is there anything else? Um... There are still things. Wait, what What else can I investigate? Oh, no, hold on. 
So we investigated the time we're ladder. Uh, the piranha tank. Oh, the curtain! Yes, 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 good. There's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the other side. What's the matter? What's the matter? You want to check that window out? Okay. Uh, yeah, but... Ah. Oh, it's too high up to reach, huh? Yeah, it's pretty high. Even higher than the piranha tank. Higher than the piranha tank? Yeah. That's right! There was a ladder next to the stage. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Kaido quickly headed off to the stage. Oh, yes! Okay. He returned carrying the ladder that was uh, set up beside the stage over his shoulder. Hey, so. But, you know, shouldn't the psychic be the one bringing the ladder? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed up the rungs. Okay, here, here. Basically, a top of the. Uh, basically, the top of the tank. Probably does not have a lid on it. It doesn't have a lid. That's probably the uh, the case. You can just barely reach the window with this, and if you open the curtain. Okay, never mind. I guess I wouldn't make sense a lot, but uh, I don't know. I'm just trying. I'm just really trying every single uh possibility that could ever have on a trial. So uh, yeah. Oh, the window is open. Okay, the wind. Oh, the window's open! Oh, and it goes- oh! And it goes to the pool, okay. If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? Most likely. The culprit may have gone in and out through this window. So what's on the other side of the window? I can't see much, but I think it's the- Yeah, pool. yeah, this is, the, this is to the pool. The pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Oh, wait. What is this? Hmm? What is this? What's up? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window frame. No, 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 it's not nothing. That is valuable clues. Please point it out. Please. Please point it out. It has a distinct abrasion. Perhaps scratch myself like it. This is probably what scratched. The handcuffs. This is probably it. There's a chance. This is probably the cause of that of that uh of that handcuffs being scratched. I, I think so. I think that's it. This might be related to the case. I should remember it. Okay. That's interesting. I climb climb down from the ladder to the stage. Hey! You've done investigating the window. Then I'll go put the ladder back now. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you, Kaido. Jeez. Shouldn't be the sidekick be doing this. He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. <laughs> I've investigated everything I wanted to uh, wanted to on the stage. Hmm? Hmm? We all done here? Then let's go. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I guess uh, let's conduct an interview. Let's talk to everyone now. I guess that's like the safest bet that we could ever do. Yeah. How that's how to go. Be? Kuta could have saved him. No, Kuta should have saved him. What happened? Kuta, what's wrong? You're... When piranhas attack Ryoma, if Kuta had dived into tank, then Kuta could have helped Ryoma. But Kuta got scared. Too scared to do anything. Kuta, idiot. Sorry, Kota, really sorry. Come on, man. Man, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. And even if he had jumped in, they would have just eaten you too. That's true. And from what I've read in the Monokuma file, you couldn't have saved them anyway, Kota. Huh? Huh? Really? Does it say that in Monokuma file? You know. You haven't. Re you haven't read the Monokuma uh, the Monokuma file yet? No, going to not really understand that. Going to not smart enough uh, enough to help. Dumbass. Oh, what are you talking about? You've got time to apologize. You've got time to read the file. If you think you can't help, then work till you can. That's what you can do. You're right. That's right, Gota. You're you're a huge help. 
There's some information that only you know after all. Huh? Information only Gunta know. Remember? Remember? During the show, you went up on the stage. It was about 20 seconds before the piranhas dropped, right? Mm. Y yeah, cause Gunta worried about Himiko. Could it be... Did you see inside? Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? No. No. Going to see no one in tank. Going to kind of surprised. Okay. But you know. But when the piranhas were dropped, uh, dropping the curtains, uh, and the curtains open, Ryoma was at the tank, right? Yeah, that right. So... When did Ryoma get in there? You didn't see it happen? Oh, going to see. Going to don't know. Everyone see Ryoma in tech when piranhas drop in after that. Sorry. Sorry. Going to should have watched tech better. Dumbass. Like I said, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. Um. Yeah, you're right. You know. But this is a problem. Now I'm even more stumped. Even if Himiko, dis uh, Himiko disappearing was part of the Wonder Water Escape Act, how did Ryoma get into the tank? Was that part of Himiko's trick? Okay, wait, wait, hold on. I assumed that... Ryoma! Oh yeah, right, I'm a dumbass. I was thinking that Ryoma was already... in the... in the... in the, in the piranha... Uh, in the piranha tank. Okay. Okay, I was assuming that he was already in the piranha tank, but I, I did realize that if he was in there, he would have been eaten. So... Himiko is really suspicious, actually. Himiko is very, very, very suspicious. Himiko is very suspicious because... The only possible way... For things to probably change inside the tank is being in the, t in the tank itself. And who's in the tank? Himiko. But at the same time, I do want to know how the tank works or how... Oh! Wait, there's a glass pane. There's, I think, with the way it worked, I think the glass pane has some correlation, a correlation on how Ryoma's body was hidden. What was what type of glass pane was that? Also, Noodle, uh, welcome to the stream. Welcome. So, inside the tank, what kind of glass was that? Actually, was the glass was the glass covering something? This is really confusing. But I'm getting some clues. All I'm saying though is definitely the time that he definitely died. Was definitely yesterday, from the from the from the point that we are currently on, the murder took happen yesterday. That's for sure. I'm positive. I'm positive that the mystery will be, will be an important point of this case. Okay, we gotta remember that. So Gota didn't really see anyone. So what is the glass pane? That glass pane should be very important. And oh oh wait 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 hold on a minute. What is this? What is this? What is this space? Oh yeah, also Nuru, uh, welcome to the stream. Um, how are you today? The usual question, I guess. Yes, I am doing very fine. How about you? This is like the best day I've actually ever felt in, in, in the past couple of days. <laughs> like I actually got enough sleep. I ate some good food. So yeah, I feel great overall. Anyway, let's just talk to everyone. Oh. Like I thought. If Himiko doesn't tell us how the trick works, we won't know how Ryoma was killed, right? But with the way she is, how do we convince her? Oh, what if... Ryoma was a former apprentice of Himiko's master and vowed revenge on him. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> and he murdered a lookalike of himself in order to sabotage her show. What yeah. reference is this? <laughs> I'm I'm doing just right. Got back from my exam. Oh, okay, you have another exam. That's cool. Uh, how uh, how was your exam? Um, did you do good or did you feel like you did good? <laughs> mm. Something like that. It has happened before, probably. Once again, you're fucking useless. <laughs> God dang it, Tamuga, you're useless. 
I'm glad Himiko made this game more difficult. Now I won't be nearly as bored. Right. Time to work hard to solve this mystery. Get ready, culprit, cause here I come! Mirror. I really do need to talk to the people who actually collaborated. So Miu wasn't really there, so it's Angie, him, Akibo, and... Uh, wait, who was the other one? I already forgot. Wait, I already forgot who's the other one. But I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be too hyped about it. I mean, it makes sense. If something's too easy, you wouldn't be really too hyped about it, so yeah. That's true. Mew! Hey! Hey, Plemwad! There's something I need you to tell me. That's not a very polite way to ask some someone for something. You know, it's got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard Gonda captured you guys last night. <laughs> that was that all about? I was running around, so I could, uh, got no clue what happened. Got it. Oh yeah, tell me too. I was running, so I still don't know what uh, what uh, what went on. How did Mio escape from Gonda? She's not strong enough to fight him. Why you? Chop chop, you slimy shit. Well, I suppose you could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to get captured were Kibo, Kiyo, Tsumugi, Tenko, and I. Himiko and Anji were brought in later. Huh? From the gym, right? Okay. Exactly. And Kokichi left the room after 9pm. So they must have been brought in about 5 minutes before that. If I remember correctly. We were all forced to, uh, we were all forced to participate in Gonta's insect and meet and greet. We were freed about an hour into nighttime, around 11 p.m. I see. So from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., everyone there had an alibi. And then those people without an alibi are me, Kirumi, Monkey, and Ryoma. <laughs> I see you've learned what an alibi is thanks to the previous incident. But what the fuck is the insect meet and greet bullshit? <laughs> Why? By the way, Mio. How were you able to get away from Gota? What? Uh, um, uh, oh, uh, well, um, I, I had to use my secret woman weapon, and let's just leave it at that. Huh? Secret woman weapon? <laughs> Wait! Uh, hey, what's a secret woman weapon? <laughs> She's just fucking laughing. <laughs> She's trying to laugh it off? Come on. Shuichi, let's just leave her be. Listening to her will just tire you out. You're right. Yeah, probably right, but it's better to get the truth out of her at the, at the class trial. So, insect meet and greet that happened at 8 p.m. Huh. But the thing is, everyone in this room, or everyone, and the mix insect meet and greet still has a high chance of them being a culprit. And Himiko was also included in the insect meet and greet as well. Now that I really think about it. Angie? Okay, let's talk to her definitely, because uh, she helped. Uh, that's right. We need to ask Angie about this, uh, about the stage. Angie! Hey, Angie! I wanted to ask you some questions about the stage. I... Yep, I was in charge of all of the art. I even built and painted the stage. Then... Then, do you know anything about Himiko's trick? How it worked, perhaps? No, I do know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. I see. I suppose she didn't tell Angie the, uh, the secret either. Uh, um... Uh, by the way, you ask other people to help you with the uh, preparations, right? Uh, yep. Yep. We started the prep work yesterday. Lots of people helped us. Okay. So, the stage was built yesterday anyway. So... We actually really need to figure out the exact time frame. And I think in correlation to that, I think 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. is the closest time that we could ever get to figuring out uh, figuring out Ryoma's death. Okay, guys. I am seriously going detective mode here, okay? I'm actually really, really into this, okay? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. Like when we were moving the heavy tank and the stairs from Himiko's research lab. Yeah. Me and Kibo help with that. Moving the heavy tank. Uh, moving the heavy tank. Kaito and Kubo. Cause the thing is, the tank has an extra section. It's not just the the tank. There's an extra section where where the body is, and I'm guessing that's where 
she's supposed to go out and end the same time. I believe that's where also the body is. And the only one who can just really move that body is actually just Himiko. But the thing is, Himiko can move the body. But her moving the body does not really make her the murderer. What would ma what would make someone a murderer is from the point where he uh, that uh that Ryoma was hit by blunt force. The tank had a pulley, but it, but it, because it was huge, it was a lot of work. Right, right. And I asked Kirumi to sew the curtains because I hate sewing. <laughs> she hates sewing. I mean, I could tell with what she wears. So yeah. Thanks. Be to Atua. So basically. It's all the thanks to Atua that the show was a success. Shut the fuck up. It's not a success! It's not a success, freaking her! Ryoma died. Ah. No, it's because of all of us. Was it really a success? Uh. By the way, were the piranhas your idea? Because! On its own, the Underwater, underwater Escape Act is no different from a normal magic show. So divine! I thought it would be uh, make the show uh, more exciting and divine if we used piranhas. Atua has Okay. That's what Atua told me. So Atua gives you that kind of advice too, does he? Um. And about the piranha tank and the timer. Those were from Himiko's lab, correct? Of course, of course. Yep, yep. According to the uh, piranha uh, piranha snack manual, it's synced up with the timer. When the timer goes off, the bottom of the piranha tank will open automatically. I see. That means that, that most of the equipment came from Himiko's lab. And then? And right when fi when finished the prep work and we're about to take a break, <laughs> Gonda captured us, so we couldn't rehearse at all. Jeez. When Gonda let us go, it was already nighttime, so we couldn't go back to the gym. You know. Yeah, you can't enter the gym at nighttime. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we got a clue. We got a clue on how this happened. So and okay, so I'm clearing Angie. I I'm clearing Angie. I'm c I'm clearing Kaito. The murder happened around nighttime. Hear me out. Murder happened at nighttime. The way the murder tried to access this quote unquote place was through the window. It was through the window. Basically, put Ryoma, put Ryoma's body in there, and it was orchestrated as he drowned. Now I'm claiming Angie and Kaito. So basically, the only one who's sus is basically Kibo and uh, and Kirubi. But once again, it, it could be not. It could be Maki. But to be honest, she could be very obvious, so I kind of don't want to. But it's either it's e but it's it's probably Kibo. So yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Himiko and I were waiting for the gym to open. Oh, I was so relieved that the set was intact. So no one could uh, could have snuck into the gym before those two got there. What's up, Shuichi? Are you worried because of this confusing incident? But, but... Don't worry, it'll be fine. Huh? What? Atua has spoken. You have nothing to worry about. Huh? Nothing to worry about? No, no. Nothing can escape Atua's sight, not even the culprit. <laughs> is th Atua is truly divine is a truly divine force to be reckoned with. Angie started to sound more and more creepy. So to the people I'm sus about. So, okay. Clear, not clear. Clear, you're, um, Kaito, you're kind of not clear. But you, uh, yeah, you're kind of not clear. Kai, um, Himiko is very sus. You're clear, you're clear, you're clear, you're clear, you're clear. Basically, everyone in the insect, uh, insect and mate is clear. And you are not yet clear. You could be lying. You could be lying. Uh, but once again, there is a testament that uh, about them working about the uh, about the sewing. But in the same time, she could do something else. I do feel like Angie's lying, so yeah. She gave us the testament of, of, of her and Himiko trying to wait for the gym to open. So basically, 
here's the thing, how it happened. Don't know who the culprit is, but what exactly happened? He was killed by blunt force on the head. He was brought in here. I'm guessing while he was carrying the body, the handcuffs kind of scraped the windows, but he managed to get him in there, put him inside the tank right here, right here on the side. So yeah. Uh, let's talk to Kibo. I want to talk to Kibo. I, w I kind of want to save uh, uh, Himiko for last. So yeah. Um... Although there were many unknown variables, the first thing we need to make clear is... When was Ryoma murdered? Exactly. Well, in the middle of the show, obviously. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not Kaito. Come on. The culprit knew how Himiko's trick worked and took advantage of it to kill Ryoma. In other words, Everyone watching the show isn't suspicious. But Kaito, you didn't attend the show either, did you? Well, that's... N no but I'm still not suspicious. I've got a promise, so I was just eating breakfast. Of course! You got it! I'm not suspicious! You pretty are, though. I do not understand how that explanation is uh, supposed to convince me. Kibo does have a point. Okay, so that's it. Um, let's see... Uh, fine, let's just talk to everyone, why not? However, I never would have imagined such a cruel murder happening at such a fun show. <laughs> Why did the culprit commit such a barbaric act? Did they wish to see us panic? No. I don't think there was, uh, there was that sole motivation. There's some other reason for it. That reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. I see. So, that means the culprit knew of Himiko's trick. And made a use of it, yes. If that's true, then Himiko tells someone. Someone who thinks the trick is actual, actual magic. Well, then. Since the since this show was used, we must investigate the trick as well. Kyo murmured almost to himself, then walked to, to the back of the stage. Is there anything to investigate backstage? Um, Let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. You followed Kyo backstage. Okay, here we go. Okay. From what I'm seeing, there's a hole. That's a tank. There's some rope. There's a puddle. Okay, interesting. Let's let's do it. What? There's a puddle behind the staircase. This is the puddle when we broke the tank. The floor around it is completely dry. Perhaps someone who was wet was here, doing something. That's true. Changing wet clo wet clothes. But but how would you get from the water tank to sp to the space behind the staircase? Could it be... There must be a vital clue for understanding the water escape trick. Okay, here we go. This is a pretty long rope. What was this used for? Hmm. hmm. I estimate it is roughly 65 feet in, feet in length. Huh? You could tell by just looking at it? But of course. I am well versed in ropes. I once visited a village where their use was commonplace. Oh man. Oh, Kyo. Kyo. What place was that? When it was time for me to leave, the women of the village all begged me to stay. I find that deeply disturbing, but I have to focus on this investigation. Anyway, what is this rope? Could this be related to the uh, to the case? Staircase. This staircase goes up to the top of the stage. Inspect it closely. I can see that some places on the side are wet. Despite of uh, the despite of something to do with the puddle next to it. There's something strange about about it from behind. Other than the large size, it's it's a normal tank. All uh, sides of the tank seem to be made of special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. <laughs> Very mysterious. How I wonder did Himiko escape from the tank? That's right. Well, if we figure it out easily, it wouldn't be a magic trick. However, 
I believe that it was a figure out. If we figure out the route Hibiko took, it will discover how Ryoma got in here. That is true. There's a high probability that they used the same route to reveal how Ryoma got into the, into the tank. I need to reveal how Himiko managed to get out of it. I have investigated just about everything to do with the stage, but I still don't know how the trick was performed. Hey, so hey how long are we going to investigate here? We still got to find the culprit, you know. Come on, let's go. Kaito. Uh, wait, Kaito! Okay, let's talk to- okay. Let's finally talk to Kimiko, let's go. Yeah, my magic was supposed to make everyone smile. Himiko! D don't worry, everyone is smiling. No, not, not everyone. I don't think any of us can smile right now. Um... Himiko, if it's alright, are you ready to talk about your underwater escape trick? We need to understand how your trick works if we're going to solve this mystery. What are you saying? As now checked in my underwater escape act, it was magic. Oh, come on, shut up. Come on. Man. You're still saying that? Do you understand the situation we're in? Stop it. No matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was magic. Huh? B but I'll protect you. Okay, your time is up. The Q&A session is now over. Unless you want to feel the full volcanic wrath of my new Aikido. Jeez. Man, this card is more strict than the security at idol events. I believe we've investigated everything we need to do for now. Well, our investigation's over now, so who's the culprit? No. I can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to investigate. Come on, man. What? You still don't know? I never thought detective work would be such work. I mean, every, like, every single work is... A lot of work, come on, man. So, where else do we gotta investigate? That's... First, the pool next to the gym. They're connected by the window above the stage. So that needs to be looked at. That's true. After that, I need to go to Ryoma's room and find out the mo uh, find out which motive video we had. Then, I want to investigate the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. I deduce that the handcuffs were found in the water tank probably came... Uh, and the water tank probably came from there. Is that everything? Uh. Last of all, the ultimate magician's lab. I want to know more about Himiko's trick. If you go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. Hmm. We've still got a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Shuichi. After all, it's gonna be you doing all the heavy lifting here. You're right. Uh, right. Don't screw around. What do you mean, right? Are you saying I'm useless? It's is there a right way to respond to that? Okay, we're done here. Okay, so uh, the order is that we need to go to... I mean, okay, let's just go with the closest place that we could ever go. So, Himiko's lab. So, let's go right away. Why not? We're right here. So there we go. Hmm, so this is Himiko's research lab. What are we gonna investigate again? Okay, okay. I'm clearing Kaido again. First of all, he said, so this is Himiko's research lab. Basically, he has- wait, actually, no, wait, wait, wait. Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 no. We might have spotted something. He did say that he helped carry the tank. So he should have seen that. Or, unless, if the tank was already outside, but that doesn't really make sense. He said that he helped carry the tank. Why would they say this? What the fuck? What are we gonna investigate again? The trick that Himiko used in her magic show. I need to figure out how it worked. You know... Well... You gotta say, but what if it was real magic with no tricks or mechanisms? That's... Well, that would be a problem. It's not just about the trick. I need to ask that guy some questions. Let's get some money. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's uh, ask uh, Kokichi. Let's go. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi! Do you want to ask me something? Okay. I'll tell you anything you want to know. 
You're my favorite, after all. When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. It makes me nervous. Hey! Hey, Nero, welcome. We're doing the investigation on... On uh, his death now. And dude, I have so many fucking theories, and I'm gonna re-elaborate them as soon as I get uh, your information, okay? I brain blasted, and I pr and I think I I've already probably I've probably already predicted fifty percent of the things that are going on here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it later as soon as we finish investigating this room. I do actually. It's about when we were kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. You snuck up into our rooms to steal our motive vi uh, motive videos, right? But is that all you were doing? You came back pretty late. I see. I see. You wanna know my alibi for nighttime yesterday? That's a good question to ask. The gym is off limits during the nighttime, so Ryoma was probably killed before or after that. It's impossible to say that it's after that because, uh, the, the, you know, um, because someone was already waiting uh, in the morning in order to get to the gym, which was uh, Himiko and, um, what you call this? It's Himiko, no, no, not Himiko. I'm oh, sorry, Angie and Himiko. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, Angie and Himiko. Which makes nighttime yesterday so suspicious, so everyone was doing their own uh, thing. Right. And what were you doing then? Um, It'd be easier if I just explained step by step what happened while I was out last night. After you regained consciousness, Shuichi, Gonta, uh, Shuichi, uh, uh, Shuichi, Gonta brought Himiko and Angie. That was about 5 minutes before 9pm. 5 minutes before 9pm. Right after that, I left Gonta's lab and headed towards the dorms. I thought I'd be, I I'd be back an hour. Uh, the start off of nighttime, but something happened. Something happened. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kirumi stopped me. Oh, Kirumi. Okay. Once again, I, I, I'm telling everyone, I am not clearing Kirumi yet. She's suspicious. I am not clearing Kirumi just fucking yet. It was right after I left going to slab, so it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. Then she started criticizing my behavior and lecturing me on my manners and relationships. Hmm. Can you believe that? I mean, who does she think she is? My mom or something? If I remember correctly. Didn't you ask Kirumi to be your mom earlier? That's so mean. Oh. Oh, right. Since Kirumi is a maid, she's following the order. Right, she's following the order because what Kokichi asked of her is, Hey, Kirumi, can you be my mom? So basically, she's just doing her job. Okay. She just kept talking, then finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. Huh? A whole hour. <laughs> well, only the first half uh, ha half hour was a lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. What the fuck? She was starting to bore me, so I turned around to leave and then... Please wait. Stop right there. Our conversation is not over yet. I don't gotta listen to you. You're not worthy of the lecturing of the, su of the ultimate supreme leader. <laughs> Come on, Miss May. Catch me if you can. That is... is that a request? Exactly. So that means... And then I guess Kirumi decided to take the take the uh, take tag super seriously. I tried my best, but in the end, she called me a little before 10 p.m. Then she started lecturing me again, and let me go when nighttime started. So... so, do your alibi still hold up, even when she was chasing you around? So basically, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm clearing, I'm clearing Kimurumi again because basically, during that time frame, they were basically preoccupied. So, the only people that are truly suspicious actually is Miu, Kaito, and Maki. Those are the only people, actually. Maybe. We ran into each other a bunch of times, so yeah, they should hold up. Then before 9pm until nighttime, both Kikichi and Hirumi have alibis. <laughs> After Kirumi let me go, I finally went to the dorms and collected everyone's videos. But by the time I returned to the Gold Dust Lab, it was already 11pm. Then from 10 to 11, it doesn't have an alibi. Okay, okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I did something odd while Kirumi was lecturing me. Huh? Something odd. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on a bit. Cool. 
courtyard. It was too dark for, uh, for me to make, uh, make out who it was, but I saw her uh, walk, uh, walk around for a bit. I wonder who it was. A girl in uh, her underwear. What the hell is she, what, what the hell is he talking about? That's gonna be very relevant, definitely. By the way, you didn't get captured by Gonta yesterday, did you, Kaido? Where were you, and what were you doing? Uh, okay. I was running around the whole time. I had in bathrooms, bedrooms, all over the school. Hmm. Uh, I see. Tsubuki. Hmm. What are you doing here, Tsubuki? Uh, uh, well, I'm investigating. I know I'm plain, but it's plain to see I'm investigating. Uh, okay. uh, is that so? Hey, so? So, did you find any clues? Uh... Uh, I'm gonna get some water. Hold on a minute. I, I, I did bring a, a water jug here at this time, just so I can finally refill and don't actually have to leave the room. So, yeah. Oh man, all this voice acting is making my throat dry. I'm still thinking about it. Hmm. I don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about them. No. Um, no, in fact, I still haven't found anything. Yeah. Then go then get to it. Look around is how you find clues. But I think leaving that guy alone is just plain bad. Tsumugi gave Kokichi a meaningful glance. Hey. So, I've decided to plainly keep an eye on him. That way, even plain old me can help. Okay. So let's investigate... Uh, uh, the water tank. So yeah. It's a huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. So... It looks like the same tank Himiko used in the show. I guess this one was a backup. That's what Himiko told me and Kibo when we were uh, when we carried uh, the tank out of, uh, out of here. So what he's saying right now is that... Huh. Why would Kaito said earlier, so this is her lab? Am I just being dumb? Then, then perhaps if we investigate this tank, we, we can learn the secret of the trick. Encouraged, I began walking around the tank. I was looking for anything that could be a switch or a mechanism. Hmm. Huh? What's this? Oh, there we go. There's a segment of the tank near the top that opens up. But why open it here? Oh, uh, perhaps it is random. This segment had to open up here. Okay. Oh, let's see. What else can we investigate? I mean, I guess let's investigate everything. What a huge saw. It's probably used for the saw person in half trick. Okay, let's just investigate everything. Okay. Oh, okay, body sawing box. Is this used for magic tricks too? I've never seen any magic shows before. It has nothing to do with the case. Okay, I guess. What else can we investigate? Uh, I guess let's talk to Kaito. But you know, Even if it's to solve this case, revealing Kimiko's tricks is... Well, it makes things kind of boring. Huh? huh? Kaito? Are you the type who wants to believe in magic? Oh, Kaido believes in Himiko's magic. Idiot. That's not what I mean. I was just thinking that her tricks are like magic that brings smiles to people. I see. I see. I guess you could think about that, about it that way. Yeah. Besides, it's just like my dream to go to space. I believe I can travel across the Milky Way. I believe I will meet aliens. Flying around space with thoughts like that is the true spirit of adventure. Uh, so it's like that. <laughs> Kaido, that's... You're so dumb. <laughs> the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Your idealistic dreams won't help the situation. What? Hey, who are you calling stupid? Uh, um... Uh, no need to yell. I guess let's just investigate everything. Hmm. 
We can interact with the monitor, so let's see. It's a monitor for communicating with us. They really are everywhere. Okay, we have talked to everyone. We have talked to Kaito. Uh, let's, try, let's check the carriage, why not? Okay. So I guess we gotta talk with... Actually, I guess we gotta talk to Kokichi, Kokichi I guess? I don't know. Hmm? Okay. Um, It'd be easier if I just explain step by step. Okay. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Hmm. By the way. Okay, uh, I guess let's talk to uh, Timu Giga. Hmm. I guess we really have nothing else to do in this room, huh? But, hey. Okay. I guess we're done. We're gonna we're done in this room. Alright. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna be piling up the ideas that I currently have um on the uh, on the on this case. So basically um, due to the prompt that was given to us through the the conditions on the uh, what do you call this the Monokuma file, basically, all, bottom line of it, nothing is really specified. But I do want to say that the way that he was killed is definitely not drowning, and the way he was killed was blunt for. I mean, okay, he he died of drowning. But he, but he really didn't die in an instant from that one thing that incapacitated him. Basically, was, maybe some blunt force was used against him first, and then that shit just basically happened. Is that he was put in the tank, unconscious, uh, unconscious. So, where do we need to investigate again? I forgot. Um, uh, the dorms, I think, right? Oh no, 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 no. We need to investigate the pool. So we need to go outside. We're closer to the pool, so let's just go to the pool. Why not? Uh, nope. Uh, if you look at the stream title, that's what I'm doing. Oh, there it is. What the fuck? What the fuck's going on here? Oh, what the fuck? Or maybe he did. Turn to follow last night because uh, he opened Twitch for the first time. Oh, really? Yeah, I did. I actually, I did see his alert like 16 hours ago. 16 uh, hours ago, he followed, and I was like, oh, okay, it's pretty cool. Guess we could welcome Turnip on Twitch now, so yeah. <laughs> so, huh. Or there could be a chance that... Okay. Once again, it could be blunt force still, but in the same time. Maybe it was blunt force um, initially, and then he drowned in the pool. I don't know. Basically, I'm gonna try to determine where he drowned, or in the same time, to be exact, how did he kill him? I don't know. Uh, how did he get killed? Basically, my theory is still that he was hit by blood force to be... ...in order to be incapacitated. And... ...at the other side, this is where... ...this is where he was put, basically. Right, sure, sure, sure. Hopefully I'm in time for trial. Okay. Okay... Alright, I guess let's just investigate. Let's go. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a pool at a resort. The pool is deep, but it isn't filled up all the way. So plenty of water to swim in. The water level ch hasn't changed, but I can see something floating in it. Okay, here we go. Alright. I'll see you in a trial, man. Just join in a trial, I guess. Like, I I'm gonna have- I'm just gonna do the investigation all the way. Even without you, and then just uh, join in the trial. So yeah. So d there's an inter intertube. Uh, there's an intertube floating in the pool. It looks like a big, sturdy rubber one. I see. Let me guess. Some idiots didn't clean up after themselves. Wait, what? I've been noticing that uh, his reactions have been quite dumb. Not gonna lie. 
Don't look at us. I don't like water. I prefer juice. We get heavier when our cotton absorbs water. That makes losing weight a nightmare. I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun. Ah. You know, Monadam might be on to something. I kind of want to go into the pool now. I'll do it. Yeah, who cares about losing weight? You stupid. Idiots, we're not here to play. We're here to smack these bastards to the pits of hell. We're the monocubs, the meanest, the nastiest, cruelest mascots around. Dumbass! If you don't get it, I'll throw you all into the pool, into the pool myself. Ah, yeah. uh, please don't! Monosuke, please stop. Can't we all just get along? What? You say that we don't get along, I'll, I'll end up like Monokid. Eh. Oh my so god. Some, some monocubs drama, oh no. So that it was one of us that put the inner tube there, not the mother cubs. Well, it doesn't matter. The inner tube, the inner tube probably isn't related to the case. Isn't related to the case. If we were, if it were just for playing around then. Why is there a rope tied to it? What could that be for? That is intriguing. Huh? There's something flo uh, fl uh, fl uh, floating in the pool. Looks like a piece of fabric. Jeez. Is this trash, right? Nothing to be worried about. You know, we're looking for the culprit. We don't have time to pick up trash. Uh, okay. Y yeah, but perhaps it's just my intuition, but it bothers me. <sighs> I should learn to trust it. To trust it sometimes. My intuition is the ultimate detective. Basically, black fabric, uh, just the same as uh, has. Uh, just the same as a uh, has a uh, outfit color with a uh, Ryoma, basically. Okay, so I guess let's look at the window. Yeah, let's look. You can see the gym window uh, window over there. That's the window we investigated from, uh, from, from on top of the of the stage in the in, in the gym. God dang it! I'm, I'm stuttering. I mean, it's pretty pretty high up. You wouldn't be able to reach it with just a ladder. Okay. I agree. The ladder, the ladder only barely reached the window, and it was on the stage. Hmm. If that's the case, then it might have been hard for someone to have gone through there. Okay. Yeah, you might be right. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking at the diving board. It's a large diving board. It looks something you'd find at a resort. Nothing about it has changed. The school building window is connected to the gym. Or actually no, this one is like connected to Ryoma, I think. This building is a school a school building. That means that that window goes somewhere. Most of the windows are blocked off, but that one looks normal. What room has that window? That's a, that's a point of interest. Pull rules. 82 feet in length, 39 feet wide. Pull side is 13 feet, 8 and 8. Something's bothering me about the pull rules, say so sorry. There we go. Well, well. Oh no, jumping into the pool, especially at night time! Whoa. Whoa, where did you come from? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, jumping itself is fine. If you want to jump in front of a car or a train, that's on you! But the pool is off limits at nighttime. See? No swimming at nighttime. That's that would be a violation, right? Hey, um... If anyone violates a school regulation, a campus wide siren will blare. <laughs> and that person will be ripped apart by the access owls. Okay, so we can pretty much confirm that no one swimmed at night. Okay, we can Okay, there we go. That's good. We confirmed that initially, um, initially, oh, what you call this? Actually, no, 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 never mind. When this, wait, 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 hold on. When is night time, actually? It's night time. It is now 10 p.m. Okay, there we go. 
So it's 10 p.m. Okay, no, never mind. So there is still a chance that Ryoma still drowned here. But if his time time frame of his death is around 10 p.m., then it then it's impossible for him to drown here. Basically, he was still hit with blunt force. I don't know. I'm really going with that theory. Basically, I'm seriously going with that theory. What? You'd go that far? So far that the siren hasn't gone off, so no one's needed to be ripped apart. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> um. Since that's the case, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at night time? Yeah. Well, at the very least, at the very least, no one alive. That's true. Once again, ask, as as I was explaining earlier, that was one thing that came into my mind. No one can dive in a pool, but what if that person that is on the pool is dead? Right? That came to my mind. It's like, what if it's what if it's a dead person? No swimming at night time. That just might play into the case. I think we're done here. Okay, right, there's still there's still things to investigate. Never mind. Um. Oh, yeah, 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 the storage room door. Yeah, right. There we go. This is the pool's equipment shed. I'll take a look inside just in case. What is that? An electric air pump. I see. You can easily fill a large inner tube with this. There doesn't seem to be anything else worth ins uh, inspecting. Hey, so hey, Shuichi! Does this pool really have anything to do with the case? But we got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there's anything. Uh, th th there were any clues here. But well, that inner tube is still bothering me. I don't know what it is, what it is telling us, but I feel like it's related to this case. But you know, but you know if the inner tube is related to the case, the culprit is pretty careless. If it was related to the case, why didn't they clean it up? So... Just leaving it sitting out like that. Don't you think that's straight up careless? No. No. Even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. It's because of the pool rules, that's why. It's because of the pool rules that they couldn't take out the the, uh, the inter, uh, inter, int, uh, inner tube. You know, that's why. There's no pool or anything around here that you could use to get uh, get the inner uh, inner tube. Remember, The water level is so low, you couldn't grab the tube even if you did manage to bring it closer. But you know... They wanna just jump in and fish it out by hand. Oh. oh, that's right. They couldn't get in the water. Couldn't get in the water. Yeah, I suppose you could think of it that way. You know. Well, we can't just stay here forever, right? Let's go check out the other places. All right. There's no time to waste. Isn't that right, sidekick? You're right. Yeah, sure. Okay. So I wanna once again I wanna re-elaborate one of my fine things. Basically. The things that I established from the very start, even before the investigation started, or before we even received clues, is that we need to res uh, know the time of when the kill happened, whoever helped when it comes to building, um, building things, um, and, uh, basically, um, like, the time intervals, uh, basically, everyone's alibis and stuff like that. Yeah. Basically, that's what I began to establish, and that's exactly what we're looking for, so that's pretty good. Anyway, let's just get out of here. Let's go to the dorms, which is the last place that we need to be. Oh, oh, wait, no, 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 actually, no, 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 we need to go to the research lab later on, but let's go to the dorms first, actually. Let's go to the dorm. Okay, Ryoma, Ryoma Hoshi, there we go. That looks normal. So... Okay, the motive is not here. I already saw the room and the motive's not here. This is Ryoma's room, huh? Where's this where's this video? I don't see it sitting out anywhere. Maybe he put it on his bookcase. Kaito opened all the drawers one by one. Each uh, checking each of them. Hmm? hmm? That's weird. I can't find it here. I can't find it anywhere. You're right. I see. So we can't find it. That's alright. 
That's a clue in itself. Yeah, exactly. That's a clue. Huh? huh? What do you mean? Hey. You see, if he supposed if he supposed the motive for the crime was the video, there's a high possibility that Ryoma had the culprit's motive video. Remember. If their motive video was left at the scene, they would be immediately suspicious. There's no reason the, the culprit will leave behind the kind of inc uh, uh, behind that kind of incriminating evidence. Ah. That's true. Okay. And the video is not uh, not in the room, which means it. it's just like we thought. The video was the motive. Okay. Yes, that's the best explanation I can think of. That's my All right, that's just what I'd expect from my top sidekick. Shuichi. What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Oh, uh, nothing. So... By the way, I was thinking. I mean, maybe. We all should have watched those motor videos after all. Huh? What? Nah. They show the most important people to us, right? That's right. So maybe we should have watched them without looking away from the truth. I mean, at that time I agreed with the Kibo, but after thinking about it, I changed my mind. That's right. And if we were worried about watching them alone, we could have just watched them together. Watch them together. Got it. Yeah, we should have gathered together and watched all the videos. Share everybody's mo uh, everybody's motives. Even if something uh, something you can't bear by yourself, it'll be possible with everyone. Oh, that's really nice, Kaido. Yeah. That's what cooperation is, right? Ah. Uh. That's what Kokichi was trying to do. Uh. Huh? Hey. Kokichi was trying to get us to participate in a motive video, a uh, motive video viewing party of sorts. That's why he forced us into into the same room. Hmm. Do you think that was his way of cooperating? Do you think the same way? Nah. No. If that's what he uh, what he wanted, he could have just asked us. Jeez. That's what a normal person would have done. But the thing is, he's not normal. That's right. Maybe he did want uh, he did want us to cooperate, but there's no way uh, to know for sure. He'd never tell us. That's true. It's impossible to know what Kokichi's thinking. But I suppose he could have been acting in our favor for once. That's really nice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry man, I'm gonna be flipping around your room and fucking up your shit. What's later, bro? Alright, let's go to the last place that we need to be. And it is the ultimate tennis pro lab or the ultimate prisoner. Which, that was really never confirmed for once. <laughs> it only just got confirmed around this time, so yeah, that's pretty cool. My tongue is actually quite sensitive nowadays, because I actually did end up, like, burning it a bit. Because <laughs> I was uh, cooking, and then the food was a little bit too hot. Okay, let's go. Let's move. So let's go to the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. Or, what if? Why not, why not let's actually try to go to go uh, to Maki's lab first before anything else? Because she's probably in there. I'm going to Maki's lab first, hold on. Oh, oh, we got two people. Yeah, there we go. Huh? What are you doing here, Kirumi? Do you agree? We all agreed to the investi uh, to investigate with at least one other person present, right? As she spoke, she glanced toward Maki. Hmm. Uh, so you're staying with Maki. Got it. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a massage? May I? But of course, since you are here, Shuichi, may I ask you a question? The time of death was not provided, so I am questioning everyone in order to determine it. What do you think? When was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? The last time we saw him alive was basically yesterday as we were trying to get captured by... Um... I mean, basically around the time we passed out. Uh, right before I was kidnapped by Goto yesterday, around 6 in the evening. Okay, so 6 in the evening. There we go. So... The last time I saw him was way before then. I didn't even see him, see him at all yesterday, actually. Yeah. Then you're fine, Kaito. 
What's important is the last time someone witnessed, uh, witnessed him alive. Hey. The last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive. That is correct. Gonta was the last one to see him alive. Around 8 p.m. yesterday. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him by using the Shikichi method. So Ryoma was still running around after I got captured. So the thing is, once again, here's one of my theories early on. Ryoma did not get captured. Cause since since he since basically he could never I mean, I, I mean it's basically it's because if you if you, you see fucking Gonta, you know he's gonna be athletic and fast. And despite that Basically, like, uh, he could still do a good job evading him. So I don't think so. that's why, uh, that's why really, I really think so that I, that, uh, he did, he didn't really get caught. Huh. Okay. Yes, of course. Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, Mia saw Ryoma as she was fleeing from Gonta. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, 30 minutes earlier, uh, from that point. Okay, right. In that case, Gonta's testimony is highly credible. Yes. Yes. We at least know that Ryoma was alive yesterday until around 8 p.m. Okay. But then, once again, we gotta go over the testimonies. We gotta get over to the testimonies that, that um. Uh, Huh. There's a testimony where where Mew said that uh, she was using uh, a secret woman uh, technique or whatever the fuck it is, and then we also got a testimony from um, from Kokichi that uh, he said that she, that he saw around 10 p.m. a girl that is half naked with only her underwear. Okay, guys, I think I have narrowed down the time range where, Ryo where Ryoma was murdered. It's around 8 to 10 p.m. Keep that in mind, guys. Kirumi and um uh, and Kokichi is is a uh, is safe. We know that they had that interaction. It's 10. It's basically 8, uh, 8 to 10 p.m. Around. Uh, let's see. Around eight was uh, he was supposedly um where Kokichi supposedly get uh you know tries to get the videos, but then for like until around ten p.m. basically he was just all nag uh, nagged uh too, so he can't really do anything around that time frame. So he's safe. So half naked woman. There's a chance that it could be Mew, but in the same time, it, it, there's also a chance that it could also be Himiko. But uh, anyway, let's talk to uh, Maki. Let's go. Hey, Maki, what are you doing? Um. Earlier, you said that you weren't going to help us investigate. Were you serious about that? So what? You'll be fine if I don't help, right? You're the detective, not me. Or do you think you can solve this without? You can't solve this without uh. uh you can't solve this on your own. Uh, um... That's completely different. This is. <laughs> That's pretty harsh. But my sword, my sidekick is working his ass off. Huh? Sidekick. Got it. Yep, Shuichi's my sidekick now. Hey, hey. Shouldn't it be the other way around? The dumb one should be the sidekick. So... The dumb one. I'm more of a scientist type of guy, so this stuff really isn't my thing. Well, shouldn't be the scientist be helping for a uh, help uh, be helpful for, for an investigation? You know. More importantly, have you been uh, have, uh, have you been here the the whole time? Is there a reason? Like I'd know. Why do you care? No. It's because it's been bothering me. You've been in here ever since the room opened up. Almost as if you're keeping watch, make sure no one else enters. I don't understand. Is this an interrogation? No. Uh, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. I just want you to talk to me, Maki. If this has nothing to do with the case, please tell me so. Hey, it's true that you that you don't have to help us if you don't want to. Is that all right? But you should at least cooperate with our with our investigation. Because 
Because all our lives here are on the line. Is that so? Even if I did cooperate, I wouldn't be any help. Mostly because I've been in here for the last several days. I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including last night. Oh, okay, here we go. Once again, another testimony. Earlier, I want to uh, I want to re-correlate uh, that on what Kokichi said. Around 10 p.m., he saw er, 11 10 or 11 uh, 11 p.m. He saw a half-naked girl only with uh, with her underwear. Hey. Then I can ask you this: Did you see Gonta at all last night? Gonta was searching the grounds last night, trying to cap uh, trying to capture all of us. Why? How were you able to avoid being caught? I see. Gota did stop by, but I managed to chase him uh, chase him off somehow. All I did was tell him, "If you lay a head on me, you'll choke to death on your own tongue." That's all. Hmm. So Gota got scared off by that. Well, I guess how I guess he would hold back against a girl. As I listened to Maki's testimony, a question grew in my mind: Why did Maki not want to leave so badly? What reason did she have for that? Hey. Are we done here? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Ah. Okay, I'm done here. Huh? huh? You are? That's right. Well, her alibi is a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my instincts are telling me. Hey, so. But if you remember anything, be sure to tell Shuichi, okay? I believe in you. He's my sidekick, you know. He's pretty good. <sighs> but in the end, the only thing we were able to get out of Maki. Was that she was here the uh, the whole time, but no one else can verify that testimony. That might be a problem later. Exactly. That's gonna be very much a problem. Okay, right, right. Okay, let's go to the very last place that we really need to go to, and it's going to be okay. Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. The ultimate tennis pro lab, tennis pros lab. If I'm right, if I'm right, then the handcuffs that were found in the tank came from here. And if the handcuffs from here uh, came from here, that means the culprit was here as well. They may have left a trace of evidence. Hmm. This room is a little different from when, uh, from uh, when we uh, we were here before. It feels off. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Uh, nothing. Anyway, let's figure out the handcuffs. We should take care of the problem first. So basically, the only thing that we can really interact with is the, uh, is the shower room. Hmm. Okay, interesting. This is the first time I've been in here. It's a shower room, but it feels like a... But it feels like... But it feels less like the ultimate tennis pros. Hmm. And more like the ultimate prisoner's lab. Hey, so... Yeah, I think it was made uh, made that way on purpose? And they remodeled the shower just for that? Okay. Yeah, I think they did. <sighs> Jeez, Monokuma's got bad taste. Well, we already... We already knew that. So one... Um, one cuff is missing. Uh, missing. Okay. There they are, the handcuffs. Um, look, Kaito. Handcuffs hanging on the wall. Oh, they look like the ones in the tank. Or wait, are they the same? Because I think so. Here, look. Remember. See the, see one empty hook. The handcuffs we've, uh, uh, we found must have been hung, he uh, hung here. That means the culprit was definitely here. Yo, it looks like this really does look like the window. The window has no vines or barbed wire or, or bars blocked it. Uh, blocking it. Could it be? There was that one window I could see from the pool area. This might be it. I'm going to open and check it. 
just as I suspected. Yes, this is definitely it. The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. Third floor is high up, but if they aimed well, they could reach the pool. But Monokuma said you can't go in the pool at nighttime, right? If anyone violates a school regulation, a campus wide siren will blare. And then the person will be ripped apart by the exiles! Y you'd go that far? Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no one. no one's needed to be ripped apart. Yet. <laughs> because that hasn't happened yet. Can we assume no one was in the gym or. Uh, or pull at night. Yeah, well, yeah, at the very least, no one alive. There we go. I already paid attention to that. But you know, Why did he say no one alive? Is that all right? I believe he was hinting that a dead person wouldn't be considered to be breaking the rules. Exactly. Which means it is possible that a dead body was in the gym or the pool at night time. You know, so there's a chance Ryoma was carried to the gym after he was killed. But you know, there's no point in carrying his body there if you can't even get it in. Oh, I don't know if it's safe to say. There was no point. Wait a sec, what's this? Huh? Hey, so... Yeah, there's some weird scratches on the window frame. You're right. As if it's something scraped against it. The marks are similar to the ones that were, uh, were in the, uh, the gym window's frame. I'm positive these marks aren't the result of opening and closing the window normally. This window frame is sturdy as well. The gym's window frame was the same way. It looks like it would hold, even with a lot of weight on it. Shuichi. Now you understand. Now you understand, right, Shuichi? Huh? What? Got it. How amazing I am to have noticed such super and ultra important clue. Uh, Kaito Momota, luminary it's all days in the work of Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. I mean, I found a pretty important clue too, but I won't say that. So is there anything else I can investigate? So there's a sink. It's a pretty big stone sink. It could fill up. It could fill up with a lot of water. Hmm. Huh? What's this? Hmm. Scratches on the stone, like something was scraping against it. So... You're right. What made them? Hmm. Scratch marks are not natural. It's about to be made by some kind of metal. Okay, so basically, this is where uh, was uh, this is where was Ryoma. Basically, was like trying to scrape off the the handcuffs. This is interesting. Uh, we came here to confirm my suspicions about the handcuffs found in the tank. We found even more important clues than I expected. Together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab, there are too many points of concern to be uh, to uh, to be mere coincidence. It must be very important evidence. Hey! It seems like you figured something out. You seem more confident. Alright! All right. Then on the night until the next place. There's no point staying here. Okay. Right. So is there anywhere else I need to go? Anyway, Ursan, welcome to the stream. I'm actually currently very, very focused on, on the investigation right now. So, uh, actually, Arsene, you should actually turn back, because I'm doing the investigation. I am doing the investigation right now, and basically... Get out. <laughs> there they go. Uh, I, I, I do apologize, though, that I, that I have to, like, uh, push you away from this, because uh, I do know you want to play Danganronpa. I'm in the middle of the uh, investigation, so yeah. Uh, I guess you could just lurk, it's fine. Like, don't look as well, because, yeah. Alright, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! As he came out of the shower room, Ka Kaido and tripped and fell to the ground. Hold up! What? Something caught on my leg! There we go! There we go! I have confirmed! I have confirmed my theory! Here we go, here we go. Okay, I think this is where ultimately it's going to be revealed. How he got killed. Okay, here we go. That's... Zuku, welcome to the stream. Looks like a cable. Is this for tennis? Man, whoever left this uh, left this here should have put it in the corner. Wait, the tennis net? Hmm. I see, so that's why the room fell on. Yeah, the reason why the room fell on is... Um, 
It's uh, it's because uh the the tennis uh uh the tennis uh net wasn't really on. But anyway, dude, Zuku, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much for raiding me. So yeah, here we go. I should investigate this in detail. There we go. I want to point this one. Hmm. The reason I, I thought this room felt off is because of the net. When it came up here last time, the tennis net was up. Okay. But how? The cable has been removed. Huh? So like, someone took the cable off. Why would they do that? Hey, Kaito, can you help me? I want to measure how long this cable is. No need. It's just about 50 feet long. Huh? What? Ah. Oh, I was in a tennis club till uh, uh, I was in a tennis uh, tennis club till middle school, so I know how long the cable is. Uh, um... You were in a tennis club. That's right. That's that's why it pissed me off so much that Ryoma was acting like that. Hey. Did you know from Ryoma from before? Ah. Never met him, but I heard but I heard a lot about him. You know. I mean, these days. There's no one who's been uh, who's who's played tennis that hasn't even heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He was like he was like a hero to every tennis kid. Jeez. And then once finally got to meet him, he became a coward. That pissed me off so much I ended up being too hard on him. Damn. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. Man, it's sad. So... so what's suspicious about the length of the cable? There's something, uh, there's, there's something about it bother you? No. No, nothing specific. I was just checking. Hmm. Hmm, so detectives get bothered by small details, huh? I mean, <laughs> as well, it's not about getting bothered, but it's about noticing, you know? <laughs> like an overbearing uh, mother-in-law nitpicking a young wife. Uh, um... What is that analogy? <laughs> yep. Guys, we're going to trial. Oh, uh, hold on, I'm gonna be... Investigating? Oh, you've been tired of it for a while now? Yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, alright, I guess I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna wait for Kenji to pop uh, uh, pop out in the stream, so yeah. Well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, Anyway, um, see? anyway, Zuku, uh, how, uh, how was stream? And also, what did you stream? I mean, I, I guess you probably streamed Genshin, but, uh, yeah, how was stream there? Uh, so far, I've racked so many fucking theories, and ooh lord, I have some pretty good theories for this. Let's just see how it plays out. Let's see if I'm right, uh, right on the money. I do want to rediscuss my theory, so my theory is that he was murdered beforehand, because the way he died is that he drowned in the fish tank. He, he died, quote-unquote, uh, it was said that he died of drowning. It could be possible that he died of drowning, but not inside the tank. But he could have died drowning on the pool. Uh, it's pretty mysterious to me how it happened. But once again, there was signs. There was signs of struggle. He was cuffed, which I don't know how the fuck he got cuffed. But uh, yeah, that's probably something that happened. I don't know. Or or what what probably happened? As uh, once again, I'm still going with the theory that he was hit with blunt force. He passed out. He got cuffed, and then he got thrown into the pool. I'm guessing. But it's a necessary step before we can move on to the main event. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect porno video. <laughs> In fact, some people think the search is the best part. Weird, huh? Anyway. Nah, that's not weird. The class trial is starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. <laughs> See you later. <sighs> okay, guys. Shuichi. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the same, very, very same thing that I did uh, last stream. Is that I decided. To end the stream and basically just go on ahead and basically do two separate streams on two separate occasions. Because to be honest, I just don't really want to have like an entire long ass VOD. Uh, but man, at the same time, it could be efficient that it's gonna be just gonna be one VOD. Actually, no, 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 let's do that. Let's just go all the way. I don't care. Never mind. 
Never mind. Let's just go, let's just go all the way. Let's just go all the way. Uh, okay. Yeah. Dumbass. Hey, why do you look so worried now? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You can do it. I believe in you. Believe in me. Why? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaido? There's a chance that I I'm the cult. Idiot. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? Huh? What? Listen up. Is that why you believe in Kaide? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the in the end, but I believe in you. if I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Shuichi, Shuichi, we're still young. I can't die before I had my first drink or gone to space. Let's do it. If you're not going to get yourself in gear now, then when? Now's all you've got. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Kaito, I know. Keep your chin up. Yeah, that's the that's the expression I wanted to see. <laughs> that's my sidekick. He's right. I just have to do it. I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do this. I'm going to survive. We're going to survive together. That's it. Maybe I don't really need to understand it. Maybe I don't have a reason. What's going on? What's going on? I. Don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. No! I want to live! I want to live a long life! I don't want to die! I can't die in a place like this! Never! No, 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 no! Okay, no, the thing is, Arzenite, this entire stream that I'm doing is basically a spoiler. It revol- this entire stream revolves on everything, or basically in the entire murder case. I got, um, you know, I got, oh, what you call this? I, we're doing the investigation of the murder, okay? Here's the thing, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now, I, I, I don't even hear, I, I, are you even listening to me? Anyway. Just in case if you're listening, I'm doing the investigation of the murder, the murder already happened, and I'm going to be doing the trial regarding the murder, so please, turn back right now. Turn back. You could, you could, you could basically, yeah, just basically don't take it off. <laughs> don't take don't take off that blindfold or whatever the fuck you have right now. Uh, let's go. Let's go, guys. Oh. <sighs> Here we go. Let's go. Whew. Here goes on me now. Let's do the trial. I don't even want to teleport, I just want to walk there. Let's see if my theory is right, guys. Let's see if my theory on the way he got murdered is right. I'm a little worried. But let's see. Let's see if we hit the mark. Don't worry about it. Thank you, Kaido. Thank you. All right, let's move. <sighs> Just listening to some eerie music. Everyone, is everyone okay? You're... Ready? Not like we have a choice, right? <laughs> You are quick to understand, as it's as thought Monokuma has trained you. What? We got nothing to worry about, right, assholes? We figured out the culprit, won't we? Don't worry. Of course we don't need to worry. The top suspect is super obvious this time. Hey. Right, Himiko? <sighs> How dare you bully Himiko, you degenerate! You want me to Aikido chop your head off, huh? It's not even Aikido anymore. Either way. This matter will be discussed in due time. You should save your arguments until then. That's right. Yeah, let's put an end to this at the class trial. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Let's talk to everyone else before anything else. Certainly. Himiko's so suspicious. She's gotta be a red herring, right? But I don't even know where to start unraveling the truth. Aww. Aww. I should have played more point-and-click adventure games. 
Okay. This case will be so easy, especially with the how obvious the top subject is. Right, Himiko? Mm -hmm. I hear males pick on girls, uh, they like to get their attention, which means Kokichi must like Koki uh, Himiko. Oh? Huh? How'd you know? <laughs> Actually, why don't we focus on the class trial and save that conversation for later? <laughs> this, tur this is turning out to be not so boring after all. I swear this kid. What an asshole. <laughs> Go to... Not... Want to suspect friends. Angie, you're very sus, actually. <laughs> but at the same time, you were with us on the fucking insect and meat thing, so yeah. Kazatua is watching over us. His divine deduction will solve the mystery right away. Hey! Well, yeah, basically, Mew is like the only one, like in the only one that actually doesn't have like an alibi ass alibi, you know. Hey, detective dumbass! You've pinpointed a possible culprit, right? Listen up, Shuichi. Before we head over, let me give you some advice. Hero to sidekick. If you want to give up, wait until you've done everything you possibly can. Of course. Wait, no, that's still not good. Okay, I won't forgive you if you, I won't forgive you if you give up. You got it? Okay. Yeah, got it, Kaido. He's right, I can't give up. I made a promise to Kaide. Say. This murder was also triggered by Monokuma's motive, was it not? Which means there is a reason the culprit was desperate to live. Yes. And Ryoma, who became the victim, had no reason to live. Correct? What are you implying? So. To kill because you have a reason to live. To die because you have no reason to live. Which I wonder is correct. Jeez. They're thinking too hard about it. Living, living things just gotta live. No, shut up, Kaido. He does have a point. Anyway, no matter what happens to us, we gotta live. Right? Yeah, you don't really need a reason to live. That's just icing on the cake. A reason to live. No, like, these fuckers are annoying because the thing is, he's different. Like, fucking... Ryoma's different from the rest of the people. Like, he has a reason, like, the thing is... Here, here's the philosophy behind it, and here's the reasons behind it. Like, the, the reason why some people can't really settle for simplest things in life is because they suffered. And suffering makes them, you know, depreciate and make them, you know, just really not think about, you know, the most simplest stuff anymore, you know? That's what suffering does to a person. Like, a reason to live is like their hope. It totally makes sense. Well... You guys don't understand Ryoma, God damn it. Sorry, but I don't know anything. If you think a child caregiver can solve a murder case, then we're all in trouble. Shut the fuck up yourselves. Do you agree? This matter will be discussed in due time. We should save our arguments until then. Yeah. Yeah. This whole thing is shaking like a big old vibrator. Yeah. Shut the fuck, oh my goodness. Quit looking at Himiko like some kind of degenerate male. Kibo. I did not calcul calculate that we would gather here under these circumstances again. What would Kaede say if she saw us right now? Yeah, exactly. No. Himiko, uh... <laughs> okay. Himiko is not the culprit. No way, no how. I know Himiko better than anyone. I know all her secrets. I know her gender, her hair color, even her height. None of those are secrets. Hey okay, guys, here we go. <claps> Trial. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna be changing the stream title. Here we go. Title. Shut the water. It's okay. Uh, here we go. Uh. 
Hold on. Here we go. Change the title. There we go. That's our new. Uh, that's our new stream title. And uh, yeah, I guess let's just go ahead and do this. Okay, here we go. Let's go on ahead. Let's do this. Trial time, trial time. Here we go, trial time. Oh, we don't really need this cutscene anymore. We've seen this a bunch of times. <laughs> Water physics. Oh, it's so janky though, seriously. The door appeared uh, before us with a, uh, with pomp, as if sending heroes off to war. After a pause, we all stepped for, uh, toward the door. We were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing. Just as we passed through the door... It started up again. Normally, I wouldn't mind the shaking, but I'm feeling especially sensitive to it now. Each of us felt that trembling through our entire bodies as we sank further still. Without sure footing, I'm positive I would have fallen as well. My breathing was becoming more ragged. My heart pounded harder and harder. It's just when I thought I was past that I was. That would pass up from the nerves. The elevator came to a stop. But this wasn't the end. No. It was just the beginning. Welcome! Welcome! You've hopelessly arrived once again! Hmm? Did you want to come here again because of how wonderful it is? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort on onto building this place. It should be a monument. Aww. Actually, we're the ones who used the access house to build this courtroom. But Father just took all the credit. Wonderful. But I am happy to be used as a slave by Father. What are you saying? You idiots are really coming into this henchman bit. They are so cute. You guys are just so cute that I can't help working you to the bone. <laughs> you put a lot of elaborate detail into this courtroom. Almost like it's for the show. Oh. For show, huh? That's an interesting way to put it. Mm -hmm. Is this just for show? Are you showing this to the people outside and... <laughs> <laughs> Those people aren't with us. So you don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not with us. As in, they're not longer with us. You know what I mean? In other words, you 13 are the only left in the world, lies. Now show me just how you intend to bargain for your lives. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Class trial. Ryoma Hoshi, Ultimate Tennis Pro. After falling from his former glory, he told us that he had no reason to live. But even so, he said that he wanted to fight beside us, to get out of here with us. For that, he was trying to find a reason to live. He might have been a little stern, but it was a but it wasn't a cold man at all. Exactly, it wasn't. And the person who killed him is right here, right now. All right, I'm gonna take uh, every single uh, a picture with uh, all the CGs. I want to believe. I want to believe that that's all a lie. I don't want to believe it at all. Okay, hold on. But... If this is where I find the truth, I won't avert my eyes anymore. Let's go! That's a really good character development on Shuichi, though. Freaking love it. Anyway. This 
is the wish she entrusted to me. I will find the truth to get out of here with everyone alive. Oh, look, he doesn't have a hat. Really nice. I'm going to survive. I can't die here in order to keep my promise to her. I will fight. I'll fight for my life in this trial of truth and lies! Here we go, guys. Yes, very. All right, let's go. Let's get down to business. Change difficulty, we do not need to change difficulty, we're in me. Skills, here we go. Alright, let's use uh let's use some skills, shall we? Wait, did I actually even use any skills the last time? Or I don't really think so that we will be able to do it. Anyway, let's try to use a Tenko skill, the one that we received from Tenko. Which I believe it was uh, Was it Laws of the Globe? Let's the move uh let's the cursor move freely no matter how far the opponent has pushed. Yeah, I think it's this one. So yeah, let's use that. Okay. And increases the speed of the f uh okay, yeah, yeah, let's definitely get that. I do need that. Um slows down the speed of the reticle uh effective during the loss of the weight. Can't be combined with upshift. It was the speed of the reticle, effective during okay. So the speed down of the reticle. Hmm. I've kind of won. Uh, I've kind of won a, a faster. Uh, fragments is required. Yes. Oh, we just bought it. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay. Saint Miko's uh, silences all conversations except those. Uh, those on the reticle. Uh, uh those reticles on. Um, sounds is all conversations except those radical zone. Okay, um. I think this is a good one, so I might use it. There we go. The key word in the first speaker's argument will be shown from the start of, uh, effect, uh, effective during, uh, debate scrums. Okay. Uh. Nah. Entire screen will light up more frequently. Uh, sure, why not? Let's get those. That's useful. Give me that. Uh, laws of the globe, high tension. Safe first removes the time penalty for breaking a non erasable piece. Okay, I don't know what this is, but this looks relevant, so I guess I'm gonna use this go. Is there anything else we can use? Laws of thought slightly increases the time limit in each phase. Effective during all part. Okay, we're definitely. We're you know what? Actually, I do not mind. I know this shit is supposed to make make me uh, make me you know. You know, make make things easier, but I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to at least to have as less time as possible that I can ever have. If I fail, I fail. So let's go. Ex uh, let's go get an extraordinary focus. And I think that's the last skill I'm gonna get. I think I'm good. So yeah. Uh, view handbook. Let's go over the facts again. Alright, truth bullets, let's go. Monochrome file. Basically, this is also an anomaly because... Because, uh, what you call this? Because not a lot of things were confirmed. I guess what really does is confirmed is that he drowned. But in the same time, I kind of don't want to believe that, you know. And, uh, basically, the, uh, the injuries on, uh, are going to be, uh, confirmed on notice. Scratch handcuffs, we pretty much know that. Crammed piranhas. So it was crammed, so we could assume that something was added here. But what is? The, pira the piranhas could probably already have ate, uh, eaten, um, uh, Ryoma if he was there. Because I actually assumed that he was there, but not really. I wonder why. I actually have no idea why. 
Oh wait, 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 hold on. What if... Hold on. What if Ryoma was actually hidden in there? But there's like another container within it. Or like there's like... Uh, there was that other glass. Like this, 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 this. this. There, there was this other glass plane. Which probably kind of separated the piranhas and him. Piranha tank, the, uh, the tank of the piranhas inside. Uh, yeah, basically, there was, uh, the only side to the glass is basically the one at the front, so yeah. Marked window frame. Yeah, we got that. Go to this account. Basically, he said that, um, that I noticed, uh, anyone, uh, inside the tank as soon as the piranhas was released. So, yeah. Insect meet and greet. Basically, it all happened in, uh, uh, 8 p.m. So at 8 p.m., this is the amount of people that we have. Around 8.55, Angie and Himiko were suddenly here. And uh, Kokichi left around 9 at 11 p.m., which he has an alibi for 9 to 11 p.m., which, uh, yeah, he was scolded by, um, by, uh, by our ultimate maid. What staircase? This seems very peculiar, so we could, uh, we should take account of that. The approximate height of the, the 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 rope is like around 60 something feet, if I believe. Kokichi's account. Yes, so basically, this is him. After he went to the dorms and returned to the ultimate entomology lab at around 11 p.m. So basically, okay, here's the thing. Yes, once again, Kokichi can be sus because he has at least an hour of time. But once again. It was nighttime, so I guess he couldn't really do as much sounds. Yeah. Okay. Water tank trick. There's a little hatch near the top of the uh, that opens on the water, uh, on the water, uh, on on the escape tank, and we could assume, we could assume that Ryoma was put in that way. So yeah. Piece of cloth. Pull rules. Last person to, uh, saw Ryoma was Gonta. And Mio saw Ryoma 30 minutes before that. So 7.30. So with Gonta, he saw... Uh, was last seen with him around 8pm. And Miu is another person that saw him... Around 7.30. So yeah. Maki alone. Apparently, she was just... There. But in the same time, she did say that she showers every single time uh, she returns to the bathroom. Which the thing is, nighttime is also one of the times that he, uh, that a Ryoma can be possibly killed. So yeah, scratch synced. There we go. Around fifty feet in length. All right, all right, guys, let's get over this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's begin trash class trial. I'm clicking this in three, two, one. We are starting the trial. Let us go. <sighs> Man, it's gonna be a doozy. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. All right. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is, and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Now. Let's get this crazy, awesome, crazy awesome to the max! Alright, let's do this! Let's go! I think we all know who the most suspicious one is. It's... Let's combine our power and work together, everyone! <laughs> um... The person who's most suspicious is... Now lend me your energy, everyone, so we can catch the culprit! Shut the fuck up, Tenko, for one second now. Because the murder happened during the magic show, the culprit can only be... Yeah! I'm in top form today! <laughs> Tenko, 
Why are you interrupting me? We can't have a good trial if you talk over me. <laughs> oh man. Huh? I'm not interrupting you. Whatever you have to say is probably worthless anyway, because all males want to talk about is S E. Shut the fuck up. Kimiko seems suspicious. Damn, just threw her under the bus. <laughs> like, they're literally doing this as a collaborate effort, and she just threw her under the bus. Oh, man, that's funny. Hey! Angie, how can you accuse Himiko? Aren't you her friend? Um, I'm just telling you what Atua is telling me. Man, I freaking love her voice. <laughs> he is using his divine, divine knowledge, knowledge to show us okay. the way to survive. You should thank him, lest he pour his holy wrath upon you all. Screw Atua! That guy's got nothing on me! Oh, goodness. I'll protect Himiko! Shut the fuck up, well, guys. Let's point to Himiko being the most suspicious. Ryoma died during Himiko's magic show. His body appearing in the water tank leads one to think the escape trick played a part. It's only natural we suspect Himiko. Yeah, exactly. She was the one performing the trick. No, that's wrong. The underwater escape wasn't a trick. Himiko, please stop saying that. Come on! I mean, probably she has her reasons, but please stop saying that. It was magic. Fuck off. It's not the part you need to deny. You gotta tell us you're not the culprit. Magic, huh? That's so cool. What a mysterious miracle. <laughs> My goodness. Now, did you kill Ryoma, Himiko? Atua will hear your confession. Oh my goodness, Angie! Yo! Yo, Angie! What the fuck is going on with you? Stop it! There's no way any of that is true! Oh, please be logical, guys! Remain logical! Come on! It's true, though. Himiko used the underwater escape trick to kill Ryoma! <laughs> Ikokichi's just pretty much too much straight to the point. But I still don't have a clue how Himiko did the trick. But there's no trick. That really was magic. You know, maybe it really was magic. No, no, don't touch it up. <laughs> oh, stop it. If you don't reveal your trick now, then we'll vote you as the culprit. Stop picking on Himiko! A cute tiny flower like her couldn't kill anyone. Uh, looks can be deceiving, Tenko. To be honest, okay, here's one thing. I do not like the canon version of Tenko. But I do like the version of her when we got close to her during the Hangout events, basically. During the Hangout events, I, I, I really like her. But this part, no. I don't like her this way. I get that you want to defend her, but that might be a bit much. I can't let this case get derailed by misunderstandings. I'm the ultimate detective, so it's up to me. Alright, non-stop debate, uh, right off the bat, let's go. Let's see my truth bullets. Wanna come with fun, scratch handcuffs, squ Okay, got it. Has blessed me with an epiphany. The Wait, actually, <laughs> but actually I forgot the- okay, aim. Silencer is left click, uh, truth bullet. Okay, I hold it, I hold the truth bullet and then uh, to turn it to a lie. Truth cylinder is Q. Well, I think I think I could just switch. Okay, no, the there we go. Trick okay. To pull off a sneaky switcheroo with Riona. Wait, actually, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, silencer is uh yeah F, and how do I concentrate? Uh E and then Q and then uh. Okay. It's E. Uh, it's escape and okay. It's escape and cure. The tank above Ryoma opened and piranhas came pouring out! Ah, and he was eating alive! Oh wait, wait, uh, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Okay, we, uh, we, already, f we already found, um... Uh, let's go with... No, let's go with Monokuma File 2, okay. Okay, we, we spawned it, we spawned it. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 exactly. We we spotted the uh, that one thing that is already wrong. So. After that, the time ran out. The tip of Ryoma and the piranhas came pouring out. Yeah, you're not wrong. 
No, 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 oh, I fucked up, I fucked up, no, okay, let's speed, let's speed, uh, 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 wait, wait, how do you, wait, how do you speed, wait, oh, there, it's E, god dang it, fuck, I fucked up, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, it's E, it's E, it's E, after that, the time ran out, okay, the tank of Ryoma opened and Piranhas came pouring out, and he was eating the <laughs> the delivery, though. There we go. Marco Faltero. Yeah, he wasn't even alive. He he drowned beforehand. Or maybe not. He, maybe he didn't even drown. Who knows? Death was not caused by the piranhas. But once again, the exact way of he was killed is this for me. This is my theory. He was hit with blunt force. He passed out. He's not really dead from that point. But then he got thrown to the pool, and that's where he drowned. Basically. The Basically, the no, that's the bottom line. So it wasn't the piranhas then. He was drowned. Ooh, I see. I haven't checked the Monokuma file yet. So Dude, you've been investigating without the Monokuma file? Oh my goodness. You, you lying little brat! Telling lies is what turns you into uh, a degenerate uh, male. No, it's not like he's telling lies. He just doesn't know anything. <laughs> so what? Ryoma drowned? Kimiko changed places with him, and then the piranhas ate him, right? No, Kimiko only had 60 seconds to escape from the tank. Even if they changed places at the start of the show, that's insufficient time to drown someone. Yeah, exactly. If that is the case, then when did he drown? Oh, okay, we 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 we, we know uh, we know um before uh, b before the show uh, was started. That's it. Yeah, before the show. Yeah, that's for sure. Ryoma was already drowned before the show started. Yep. <laughs> Agreed. Before being eaten by the piranhas, he made no attempt to escape the water. Yeah, exactly. To be precise, he made no movements whatsoever. Yes. By that point, he had already joined the ranks of the dead. Ugh, that's really sad. Could that mean his body was hidden until the culprit made it appear in the tank? Hidden? Where? The culprit would have had to hide the body near the tank, and then show it during the act. Oh! Then the little puddle earlier that we saw was basically Ryoma's spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so... This is actually really convoluted now. Because it really could be Himiko. It genuinely could. But I don't know what is Kodaka's plan with this fucking, uh, with this fucking uh, chapter. I really don't know. Because all the signs are just going towards the Himiko. But, yeah, but then again... Huh. Okay. Okay. Than done. Was there a place on stage where the culprit could have hid the body? Oh wait, Himiko should know since she performed the underwater escape trick. Around the backstage, there is. Himiko, why won't you just explain it to us? Cause it's magic. Himiko, sh oh, this is actually, this is actually pissing me off. This is actually pissing me off. I'm so pissed. Really Shut was. up. Shut up. Yep, exactly. Thank you, Maki. <laughs> Himiko is committed to her act. But those who deal in dreams are oft liars. Why is everyone still picking on Himiko? You're all worse than a drunk dad's ramblings. Shut the fuck up, Tenko. You're not helping. We should let him vent. After all, it's tough being the man of the house. Oh, you're not helping, too. Man. We gotta figure out how the trick works to find where the body was hidden. But Himiko does not wish to tell us how she performed her act. Then let's work together to reveal the secret behind Himiko's trick! So, not real magic? No, it was real magic. God damn it. Magic. Magic. Fuck off. Ruse bakakusogakida kusu. Shut the fuck up, you guys are not helping! Aren't incantations 
actually more um complicated. <laughs> anyway, we need to, we we first need to determine how Himiko performed the trick. We can't figure that out. This case is going nowhere. Okay. I think I already know what the clue for that is, and it has to be the the other tank, right? Yeah, uh, going to water water tank truck. There we go. Water tank truck. There we go. Maybe she just climbed out and no one noticed. Nah, she definitely would have been caught. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. Uh, that's not an agree statement, so we can't really use that. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? Maybe the tank had a secret hatch. Oh, 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 oh we agree here. No, no, dang it, dang it. Oh, man, that was an agree statement. Dang it. Oh, man. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. How did Himiko escape the water? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nah, there, there was an agree statement. Okay, we, we're definitely- Okay, yeah. There's a secret hatch. Okay, so we could definitely agree on that statement. Okay, let's go. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, agree statement. Let's go. Well, she's actually being helpful in this tr uh, trial. What the hell? There was an escape hatch on that tank. I see. So it did have one. That's right. I discovered a similar tank in Himiko's lab. There was a panel on the side that could open. That was her escape. Mm -hmm. Mind over strength. Oh no. What the fuck is going on now? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no. oh, wait. The logic is all wrong, Shuichi. I, I sh shut the fuck up, Tenko. No, 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 no. I don't have time for you. I don't have time for you. Oh, uh, okay. We, I, I just realized we need to look out for the... Uh, for the... We seriously actually do need to look out for... That one... Uh, that one Monokuma we have left. During the first psych taxi. There we go. So that's where we find out. And you don't even know why you're wrong either. Typical degenerate male. Shut the fuck up. Come on, man. I'll smash in your face with my fists of hot burning steel. If we don't do this shit in trials, come on. Tenko, Tenko, Tenko. I have got the controls of this one. Uh, let's see. Move blade, cut, push back, truth blade, cut, and uh, yeah, okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Basically, same. Okay. I know she didn't do that. And now, I'm gonna punch you! Okay. Before you punch me. <laughs> makes you so sure she didn't. Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. Okay, good point. Water everywhere. Um. Oh no! I fuck it. Oh man, it got blocked. Damn it! Wait, what? Wait, what do you mean? Wait, because that. If she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. That wouldn't be magical at all. Okay, so apparently that's not it. The whole trick would be ruined. Oh, well, hold on. With that out of the way, I'm gonna punch you. If I figure out why the hatch was in that exact spot, I'll know the reason why. If she escaped from a hat, the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. That wouldn't be magical at all. I guess we could use the oh, wet staircase. With that out of the way. Okay, 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 okay. Never mind. Okay, I really wanted to re, uh, re uh, evaluate. Wait, wait. Am I gonna go with the right response here? But I think uh, I think I know what uh, which response are we gonna be using. If she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. There we go. We got it. I'll cut through your words. Yeah, there we go. 
Man, I, I I can't believe I, I I lost a little bit of health there. That's not good. There was a reason the room wasn't flooded with water. The staircase that was attached to the water tank. Yep. Try to remember how the staircase was positioned. It was aligned perfectly with the tank's escape hatch. Yep. Meaning the water tank was connected to the inside of the staircase. Yep. Inside staircase? His body was in stairs? That's possible too. That's also possible. Basically, from the point that, that, that from where that is, it's basically very, very basically possible that his body was also hidden there. So yeah. Knowing that, it's clear how Himiko made her escape from underwater. There was a curtain covering the tank during the performance. Allowing Himiko to enter the staircase from the hatch undetected. Wait, is this how it looks like them? That means this could be also... This also could have a lot of flaws. Because how is he gonna... How is she gonna get the body in? Any water that spilled out would have simply funneled into the staircase. Yeah. So how do you get out from the staircase? The staircase also has an escape hatch. One facing away from us. It's placed so that the water would not drain from the staircase. Uh -huh. In which case, a person could exit and leave water inside the staircase. Yeah, I guess. But I guess the water that we actually end up finding uh, is from Ryoma's body, basically. And basically, that's where there, that's where was that is basically where his body was in standby. So yeah. However, that person would be soaked. Meaning that some trace should be left. Yeah, exactly. Car looks good. Nice. Explain why there was a puddle around the stairs. Yep. So when Himiko came out from the stairs, her wet clothes dripped water all over. Yeah, that's one thing. Haha, <laughs> bitch! Caught you soaking wet and red-handed. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> Mew, we we don't we don't we don't we don't have we don't have any fucking confirmation yet. Okay. Judging from Himiko's reaction, you hit it right on the bullseye. But Himiko's clothes should have been wet when she left the water tank. Okay. Her clothes were definitely not wet. Of course. That's because my underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. No magic had nothing to do with her, with why her clothes weren't wet. She changed uniforms. That's, it. That's what happened. It's because she changed her uniform. The dormitory is stocked with uniforms. Did you hide one behind the stage in advance? I remember seeing Himiko go to the gym this morning. Morning, okay. And a towel. Okay, there we go. You're getting exposed. Ah, why would you say that? Oh, 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 what do you mean? I see. She had a towel too. She may not have had time to fully dry her hair. But her short hair and hat ensured we were none the wiser. Yeah. Himiko can't get wet! Because her body repels water! Tenko, you're not helping! I seriously hate this version of you that we didn't get to hang out with you! Man! Huh? Like a duck? <laughs> Himiko, come on. Give it up already. Fine. You win. It's just like you said. The water tank and staircase both have mechanisms. That's one that's one thing down. I mean we kinda of so pretty much already know that. But but that doesn't mean I use them. I didn't need them. Cause I used my magic. <sighs> Again with the magic crap. Were you dropped on your head as a kid? <laughs> that's a good question, actually. That is actually a good question. Now that we understand how the trick was performed, let us move on. Let's go. Yes, let us proceed. Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? From our discussion earlier, his body could have been in the space inside the staircase. Especially in how small he is in the same time. 
But that's where Himiko would escape from, right? There, once again, there is a... There's like some space. You know, there's some space uh, there. So Himiko went in the stairs with the body? What kind of kinky shit is she into? <laughs> what the fuck, Mew? That seems unlikely. There isn't enough space for two people to fit in there. Yeah, the stairs are pretty cramped. It'd be hard to fit even Ryoma and Himiko in there. Who says they went in together? She could have made the switch as she was leaving the tank. Good, good sir. At the same time, she could have pulled out the body from the Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Good point. Yeah. That way she'd have room to put herself in there. See how easy that is. Uh, I wouldn't say it's easy. I think that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. But wh why? Angie's a little bit suspicious too. It's like, wait, why is she all of a sudden like fucking? Am I late? Going like, why is she suddenly pursuing the idea of actually framing her now? Like, even despite working together, it's, it's actually amazing. Also, welcome, Kenji. Hi, um, the curry is still uh, boiling. I mean, like simmering. It's on the final stages, but it's. Uh, how, oh lo how, how long? How how long? How long are you gonna be simmering that beef? Because typically, uh, if I do curry, I do like three hours or four, just oh, so it's really, really, wow. really good. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's thin beef. Ah, uh, so. thin beef. Okay. Yeah, and also I already seared it at the beginning. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. Wait a minute! Uh, how far Why are you, you into the trial now? Assume it was Himiko? Oh, we've been to two the uh, well, we've been to two debate, non-stop debates, and one rebuttal show. So okay, basically, so not that far, not that yeah, far. Not that far off. All right. Who else but Himiko could have uh, done it? At least I don't have to voice act anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're in the right time. Uh, Angie. You spent more time with Himiko than any uh, of can us, you so why are you me, accusing her? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, exactly, Tenko. You you are totally not wrong. Yeah, like what? Did, why? <laughs> why now? Indeed. <laughs> why now? Why you why why you flip switch? Why you flip switch, know. bitch? Anji is just weird. Hopefully uh. my curry will. Uh, hopefully my curry will be a curry. You may think you're protecting you Himiko, <laughs> but what if she really is the culprit? We'll all die. And it will be all your fault. Atua will lose precious devotees. Are you okay with that, Tenko? I'm totally fine with that. What? I don't care what anyone says. Himiko would never murder someone. That's what I believe more than anything. Yeah. Well, for me, no. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh... I want to believe in her, no matter what. If I can't do that... Oh, good delivery. So until this body takes its final breath, I'm gonna keep believing in Himiko. Good voice acting. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hello? God, stop the bait. Here we go. So I don't know. I I don't even know what the, the fucking topic was. I remember this trial very well. Is Himiko herself? For reasons I will explain later. When Himiko was yeah. escaping the tank. She dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Okay. And simply switched places with it. Okay. Are you telling me you saw that happen? No one could have seen that. It would have occurred in the middle of the show. Yeah. When the tank was covered with a curtain. Mm -hmm. So basically no one saw Wait, is it Wait, wait, so is the glass here actually? Gold does a count, but then it's a wet staircase. No, oh. <laughs> Quit lying, you donkey lip con artist! She's not lying! She's not lying. And she doesn't have donkey lips! Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. It's possible it, 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 that Himiko game. and Ryoma switch places in the water, but. You were talking about that the last time, the right? About where I heard the donkey lips Ryoma's part? So it was here. Wet staircase. <laughs> When Himiko was escaping the tank, I actually forgot what the answer is. She dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Wait, what is going to account again? Wait, hold on a bit. Can I check? Can I check? Wait, hold on. Yeah, you can check. You can check. Going to account. Uh, it's like making great. Oh yes, yes. 
We actually no no no. This isn't much of an alibi because we are trying to talk about the one. Yeah no no. no. We're talking about. We're uh, talking about the. Magic the show. Yeah, the magic show itself. So, Monokuma file. Victim's body was discovered. I don't really think some of that has anything to do. Um, I thought the glass, pl uh, the glass pane is cur is a current thing, but I guess not. W what's Kokichi's uh, thing again? Uh, that doesn't matter. Yeah, oh I'm yeah. Oh oh oh. Yes 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 yes. Okay. Never mind. I'm gonna use Gonta's account because according to Gonta, within the 20 seconds, he didn't see anyone inside the tank. So, okay. I'll, I'll use Gonta. I'll use Gonta. And simply switched places with it. So yeah, go, uh, basically, I need. I think there's an Tell agree statement that uh, that, I, that I could uh, that I could see. No one could have seen that. Is this a slow down? Yeah, yeah. I think there was an agree statement earlier. Which is, I think, I think it's with Tanko, and I'm gonna be firing this bullet instead. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So basically, no one saw anything. Oh shit! I was shooting the wrong thing. <laughs> Yeah, no one saw anything. Yeah, she's not lying. Wait, what? That's wrong? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Tingles earnest feelings to touch your heart. Kind of detected so easily. No, shut up. Oh no. Wait, okay. Oh, no. I guess not. Huh. Okay, I remember the answer now. I think in... probably. So no one saw anything. Oh no, dumbass! Oh, I should have shot that. Yes, because uh, Gonta was there. Okay, no. Okay, okay. I I'm so dumb. Okay, I should have went with that. Okay. It's not. It's not about. It's not about. It's not about being. It's not about. Uh, an agreed statement. I actually. I actually have to. Um, fucking got rid of that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, never mind. I. I have to shoot uh, Kokichi's thing. I have to shoot Kokichi. Are you telling me you saw that yeah. happen? No one could yes, let's that. shoot Kokichi. It I agree. The curtain middle of the show, <laughs> when the tank was covered with a curtain. So basically, no one saw any. Oh no. What's uh? Yeah, there we go. You did yeah, not so hit the V. <laughs> no, wait, didn't I hit? Oh, come on. No, you didn't. When, when you hit the V, there's a V symbol and a really, so really sharp sound. <laughs> It was good. No, I, I mean, I know, I, I hit it a couple times, but I know I was already aiming at it, but I guess I didn't hit it. Yeah, Dang it. that's weird. Yeah, Gonta. Exactly. Gonta. Gonta yeah, yeah, I'm a dumb. Um, was it wasn't an agree statement. Isn't that right, Gonta? Yeah, Gonta saw down into tank. Gonta is... No, not Gonta. I mean, uh, it's, uh, Shuichi's so chat now. Let's go. He upgraded to from Omega and to Beta. Is someone dying? Yeah, no one. <laughs> Is that clue no good, huh? No, that's actually character a development. Clue because <laughs> if Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, Himiko would have had to pull them out before she went inside. Yeah. There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means if the tank was empty when Gonta looked. Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. It really has. It probably has to what do something with that glass plane. With Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught. No, Mayor. No. <laughs> she had no need I mean, they're to both small. Her at that point. <laughs> yeah, but they, they. But they did. They did. They, they, they did describe that. Even though well, it's both of them, that. it wouldn't fit in either way. Yeah, because it's perfectly fit for size. Yeah. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster, and seems more rational too. Then, Ryoma's body wasn't hidden in the stairs. I still really don't know what the deal with that glass plane, uh, glass plane is. Oh really? Someone okay. better say where the fucking that's, that's body was hidden, I figured or I'm gonna out almost immediately when I did this trial. Cause um, yeah, when you realize it, it's pretty obvious. It's it's fun. <laughs> What, what, what do you mean? In which part? Like, uh, how Ryoma's body was hidden? Uh, I have a theory. Spoil that. Okay, what's your theory? I, I, I have a theory, but okay, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I think I want to mention that later instead. When it gets actually yeah. a little bit more relevant. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. But yeah, it definitely has to do, it definitely has to do with something with that fucking glass pane. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. Sure. Well, how 
How about behind the curtain? There was a way to enter the tank from there. Then it would be plausible. Or maybe the body was in the tank all along. But we just couldn't see it. <laughs> That's impossible. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what if the tank can Oh, top-notch. Okay, top-notch visual effects. No we could use that. Put a body in there. I could be wrong, but I want I want to try that. It's a bit it's a lot of agree segments actually. That could be a thing too. Correct. That that's also one of the okay. Yeah, basically it's either quote unquote the glass pane could be used as a reflection, but it, I guess in the same time it's transparent, so not really. But in the same time, um divider. Divider. I just realized the uh, pattern here. So, Dragon Wampa Games has patterns, right? Yeah. Thir thir chapter 3 are double murders. Chapter 1 is a murder where you won't expect where the body was. Right? Right. Yeah, right, 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 right. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, the pattern I'm seeing now for chapter 2 is uh, it's convoluted as fuck. <laughs> it's convoluted as fuck, yeah. It, re <laughs> it really is. Uh. Okay. There are two shots that I have here. Actually, I think I kind of want to go. Okay, I guess we got we got a clue from Shuichi's que uh, line of questioning here. I, I, I know the answer Where for were this you one. Hiding I'm not yeah. Say oh no! Fuck. Really uh, that, wrong, wrong uh, button. Yeah, I think I think I got the answer too. I'm really. I'm really. Uh, what the fuck? I'm accidentally clicking right click. I mean, the answer is obvious. Mm. It's it on the meat bone. Can you shut the fuck up? But we just couldn't see it. Impossible. You need top notch visual effects to pull that off. Okay. What of the tank containing the piranhas? Really? Okay, there we go. I think here's my cue. If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were still Wait, why is it there? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, exactly. Not hit it again, what the fuck? I hit it, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it. It, 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 it made and made the V and it... Wait, really? I didn't see. Maybe it's the frame rate. Yeah, maybe it's the frame rate. Okay, I figured, okay. I had two theories once again. For right. okay, there was there was this video that I saw uh like that one time where there there, there was this kid like hiding uh like in front of people. Um, uh -huh. like, and there was like a, there was like a mirror, basically, and basically it's just using the reflection against them. It's like, wait, where did the kid disappear to? But in the same time, I just realized it's transparent. And then I was already paying attention to Angie's, um, testimony earlier, saying that, I guess ever since yesterday, the piranha tank was a lit, it, uh, it was a little bit more, what you, uh, crowded, basically. And so, yeah, I figured, okay. Yeah. Then his body would be there, but then I think again. Wait, so it could have been eaten. But then I went. To, uh, I, I looked at, uh, at the glass pane. It's like, oh, okay. So that's how. The using the so there we go. Pain found in the tank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just as I Let's go, Kyo. Actually, me and Kyo have been on the same page for like this entire chapter. I'm actually pretty happy. Kyo is more. Using that glass pane as a divider, a safe space could be yeah, yeah. created in the tank. It is in such a space that the Oh yeah, and in the same time the tank has also designed uh, designed that um the front is being shown. Uh, only only the front pane was also being shown. Wait. Angie's sus. Wait, Angie's very sus. Wait, what the hell? I, Angie I don't know. is indeed sus. Angie's very sus. In, in, in many ways possible. Riyoma's body fell into the water tank with the piranhas? No, that's not how he drowned. He drowned in the pool. That's what I think. Go to knew it. What is Wait, it you think he, uh, Ryoma drowned in the pool? Yeah, what? he probably drowned in the pool. Is it, is it in the Monokuma file uh, that his... Uh, the, the, uh, there is no location. Uh, specified. The, the, uh, it literally uh, only. S okay, here. It's literally. It only shows that it, that he that he drowned. That's it. Okay, so the cost is. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, I remember now. Okay, I remember everything now. All right, I'll shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Gonta was above stage when piranhas fall. That's why Gonta sees something no one else could. Yeah. 
When piranhas fell, going to see some big thing fall into water tank with them. Okay, nice. And then <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's also the visual. It's amazing that that, that glass pane didn't even break. What the hell? It, it's, it might be tempered glass. Probably. Or or it, it fell flat right, so I guess it wouldn't fall straight like straight ahead, so yeah. Or, or yeah, or um, the impact, or, or the piranhas like, caught it. Yeah, yeah. So it's water. Yeah, Why water. Not? Yeah, might have uh, like if it momentum. if it fell on like like straight to the edge, then it probably would have broke. But since yeah. it's flat, it might have just you know slowed down a bit. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's cool. No, now that going to think about it, going to maybe see Ryoma's body. Man, so when the piranhas dropped from the tank, I thought I saw something bigger drop as well. The water tank Look on the bottom dog. is made completely out of glass, correct? What? <laughs> you can see what's happening heard anything. through the glass. <laughs> can you really hide a body in the tank? Even in murky water, a dead body would still be visible in a glass tank. Unless a certain something was used to obscure the body. The Perchnes. <laughs> we all agree that the glass pane was used to separate the body from the piranhas, correct? Well, that method has the added benefit of hiding the body from view. Yep. Yeah. How could you hide a body like that? How was the culprit able to conceal the body in the piranha tank? Uh, he... Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess crowned piranhas. This is it. This is it. Crowned piranhas. The piranhas. Finanas. The piranhas were obscuring the body. Huh? The piranhas? Why are you guys surprised? What the hell? What Angie said during the investigation? Yeah, yeah, I really took note of this. Very, very much. More piranhas today, but it was only crowded. They increased that significantly? I didn't know piranhas fuck like rabbits. <laughs> it seemed that way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. The glass pane divided the tank nearly in half, right? The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. Man, the poor piranhas. Yeah, yeah that, that would cause a lot of stress. Yeah. Yeah. The harder it is to see past them. But yet again, I really barely feel any sympathy for these fuckers because these are movie piranhas. They don't even exist. <laughs> Man. That, it was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. That glass pane was the lid from the piranha tank. It was really easy to detach that lid. So it's no wonder they used it as a divider. Gee, thanks for telling us that useless detail. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, Kokichi? Shut up! What the heck are you saying? That detail was super useful! <laughs> sure, the lid looks a little big, but if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. So that I. Nice job, Himiko! Your explanation was awesome! <laughs> Tenko is freaking treating her like a sp Oh, man. This much Tenko evidence, was it seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you! Mm, really? Yeah! Because if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him! Yep. It only means we now have other suspects. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Okay, but still, that's way better! Man, Tenko. <laughs> that's a news, Piranha that's equals so dead guy. Yeah, that's basically movie logic. Oh wait, no, no, greater than that guy. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Man. Apologize, Angie. You and your Tua better tell Himiko you're sorry right now. <laughs> God. Have you watched that movie, by the way? Nah. The Piranha movies, it's so stupid. Like, it's actually so dumb. <laughs> what a petty-ass god. Ha 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 ha, No, it's 
okay. We shouldn't be mad at Angie. We should be mad at this class trial. At this killing game. Not oh, sure. Himiko! Bless oh your God, sweet God. Heart. Oh. <laughs> Chill out. I don't I don't like you like this. Where's the one that I hanged out with? Igusim Tanko. Himiko's still brainwashed. But I'm not giving up just yet. This is gonna be a breeze. You better remain alive, okay? Fucking Tenko, hey, come on. Now what are we gonna do? We're back to square one. And why are we back to square one? Because any of us could still be the culprit. Jeez! Man, I've already cleared a, a couple of people. School or something. Nuh uh. Not everyone. Nikokichi's cleared. We can narrow it down to people. Uh, people in the the quote unquote insect mean and greed is definitely cleared. Eh? What alibi? Basically, oh, basically okay. 11, 11 p.m. is uh, like ten to eleven p.m. or eight to eleven p.m. is basically the murder hours. It's around that time. I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. Shut so the fuck see. up. Who you calling a dumb? If there's this much evidence, then there's no mistake the body was hidden in the piranha tank. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hmm. I think it's. Is it before night? I think it's before night time. Uh, during night time. Oh no, I'm dumb. Before nighttime, yeah. Damn it! Nah, never mind. What do you want? Buckled on it. Before nighttime. That's it. Wait, nighttime is counted uh, as 10 p.m. right here. Yesterday, before nighttime. I think. Ding, ding, ding! The ultimate detective gets it right again. Oh, wait, how do you know it was before nighttime yesterday? Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have been solved with the process of elimination. Jeez. Fine. I'll explain it to the. My NBA God, Kokichi, you ass. Bitch. <laughs> she liked that. God dang it. First, the gym was closed during nighttime, so no one could have entered. Because if you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. Okay. You talking about my butthole? <laughs> what? No, she what? means the alarm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> After nighttime passed, morning came. But hiding the body before the show was <laughs> impossible. Himiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announced. The curry is ready. I will be nice. there. Which okay. leaves only one possibility. It, it was, was done, done before, before nighttime, nighttime yesterday. yesterday. Okay. Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitch lit over there. God damn it, fuck it. <laughs> She's liking this. So the culprit placed Rio's corpse in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday? I don't really think so that's the case once again, though. I don't really think so that his body was already in the piranha tank. Which means he was also killed during that time frame. He was killed during the time frame of before nighttime. But the body wasn't hidden. Like around hey, that time. Now we know what time the crime happened, right? I still don't really get it though. Can we narrow down Yeah, exactly. The 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 there we go, Kaito. Yeah, that's really what I want to know. Uh okay. Uh yeah, insect meat and great. Yeah, what's Oh wait, no. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, one was a not Okay, right. I was wrong. I mean, that could have. That actually could narrow it down because it narrowed down like, uh, like who's not there and who's there. So, uh, go to this account. They didn't notice. Scratch handcuffs. No. Cramped piranhas. No. 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 Marked window frame. No. Go to this account. Mix up insect meat and great. Uh, we're trying to narrow down time, right? So, huh? 
Oh, we could go down. Okay, god dang it. I didn't know we could do go down. I guess we could use this. This is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could use this. Yeah, this one. I thought you couldn't go down. If we can find out who last saw Ryomo alive. We can narrow down the time of death. And uh, we basically know that it's 8 p.m. I I put that in my mind. 8 p.m. Hiromi, you were asking everyone when they had last seen him, right? The thing, the the bad thing about me when it comes to like uh, investigating stuff is that I am very very like um. I wouldn't say narrow, but I'm really broad with what I think, but in the same time, it's all still uh, specific, because uh, technically when you think about some certain solutions, they can actually just help with something. But uh, I guess it's I'm still negligent about that, because uh, technically, yeah. Uh... Yes, Gonta was the last person who saw Ryoma. What? Really? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Um... When Gonta was inviting everyone to insect meet and greet, so Gonta think that was maybe 8 p.m. If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began, then we can assume the crime took place between exactly. 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly my estimate right there. 8 o'clock to 10. Uh, 8 o'clock to 10. That's exactly my estimate. So all we must do. He's find someone with no alibi for that time period, yes? Yes, Kyo? Yes. Very good. Simple enough. After all, most of us were detained by Gonta then. That's true. If I recall correctly, the only people that weren't there besides Ryoma... Kaito! Maki! Myself, Kirumi! Mew, and also... Mew! Maki. There we go. Well, Kirumi, you would tell the truth. Even if it screwed you over. <laughs> Kokichi, shut the fuck up. I do this for everyone. It is my duty to unveil the truth. So I do not care if people suspect me. Oh, beautiful! Your spirit of self <laughs> Let's go, is just so beautiful. <laughs> I will also say this. The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. And I was at the gym during that time. Oh, wait, 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 what, what did she say? Wait, hold on. Wait, was in the gym. In that time. Wait, what? But, I was only there for about five minutes. Five minutes. Why would you even say that, though? You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. No, it's not I her. Think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Ryoma, didn't you? Why would he go against something that goes against everyone's wishes? Like, uh, it, no, that's not her character. No, unless it's if she was ordered. To tell. We should hear what everyone has to say, right? Fuck that noise. <laughs> but Mew, you don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? Yeah. You think I'm suspicious? Uh, I don't even know where the gym is. Shut the fuck up. Doesn't telling such obvious lies make you more suspicious, Mew? The other two without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear your testimonies. Yes, what is it? I was in my research lab the whole time. I didn't go to the gym. But that cannot be proven, can it? Exactly, because no one's there for you. What about Kaito? Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches and goatees. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? What? My goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous celebrity vibe. You're not wrong. <laughs> anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? Wait up! Why are you guys suspicious of me? I've been helping the whole time! Nah, uh, that doesn't prove anything, Kaido. But wait, I remember now. I do have an alibi. What is it, Mew? You will see whether or not I am suspicious as the trial progresses. No I'm not way the I'm the culprit! Oh, fuck. Okay. Mass panic debate. A tutorial. Uh, loud voice. 
time gauge influence focus so there's loud voice dialogue okay that's cool oh that's so cool so basically so basically it's a statement that you're supposed to shoot, but it's like currently it currently nullifies any truth bullets. Okay, that's cool. That's a cool thing. That's a cool thing. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I'm actually going to have to like shoot things. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, let's go with. Uh... I tried hiding in the classroom. When I, he knew. Bathroom. Well, they left with Gonta. What's Maki's alum? Then right before night. Thank you. I didn't run into anyone. In the girl's bathroom? Are you sure you did not stay? No, in my own room. Jeez. Huh. I was only alone in the gym for about five. This one's actually really difficult, actually. Others were with me. Till they left with Gonta. Oh. Uh... Before 9 p.m. Hmm. Did you really leave the gym? Even inside the bathroom. Or you did not stay at No, in my own room. Jeez. Uh huh. Hmm. This one's difficult. Huh. Huh. I was only alone in the gym for about. What is your alibi? Room. When I was running from ghosts, things got a little heated if you catch my drift. What's Monkey's alibi? Before nighttime, I fell asleep. In the girl's bathroom? What? No, in my own room. Jeez. <laughs> Hmm. This is actually this shit actually confuses me. Hold on. So I was only alone. alone. Kokichi Gonta pool rules Maki alone. Five minutes. Okay, hold on. Let me go over again. So Gonta, okay, Kokichi, basically the time frame. Uh this also involves Kirumi. Okay. What's this music? Oh, I remember. Heavy metal down on Ron Pa? I'm kidding. Uh, it's probably this. Right, it's this. Himiko and the, the others were with me. Until they left with Gonta. Alright, I'm going with this one. What's my that was five minutes before yeah. 9 p.m. Five minutes before 9 p.m. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not stay? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, let me shoot that. Oh, no, 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 I missed the fucking miss. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, I fucking missed. <laughs> dang it, okay, that that was it. I know that that's it, but fuck, I fucking missed. Are you kidding me? Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes. Himiko and the others were bathroom. Bathroom. <laughs> that was five minutes before nine p.m. Okay, I got. I gotta be prepared for. Did you really leave the gym at nine p.m.? Are you sure you did not stay? No. There we go. We did it. Yeah, I basically. I don't know. I was actually being distracted with a lot of shit. And I, uh, I didn't really get to narrow my thoughts down, okay. but yeah. I sent the uh, Curdy on IRL chat if truth. you want to see. Okay, Kukichi sure. Story proves it. Right when I got to the entrance hall, he really spotted me. That was right after I left going to stab, so it was around 9pm. She started throwing questions at the left or right. Uh, 
<laughs> it's amazing though that uh that Kirumi actually took um Kokichi's uh, favor or request. <laughs> he just began acting like a mom. That's funny. A whole hour. Yep, basically a whole hour. Kirumi at 9 p.m. and they were together until nighttime. Oh. Gonto went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie five minutes before nine o'clock. Well, there you go. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. Kokichi is actually low key helpful in this fucking chapter. Like, instead of, like, you know, instead of chapter one, actually. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till nine o'clock. This information could have been told to us beforehand. Sorry, forgot. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. <laughs> well, that's okay. Forgot? It seems far more plausible that you are telling another lie. Unlike Bruh. robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. <laughs> Was that supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. <laughs> it's a good response. Culprit, that would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes. That's possible. Transported him to the gym and hit him in the piranha tank. Never mind, it's not. <laughs> if you called oh, Ryoma out to the gym and killed him there, you wouldn't need to move him. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Gonto was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that would be pretty difficult. We should probably look at other possibilities. I mean, once again, we got the window to his freaking, uh, to his freaking, uh, laboratory. We got that. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. The only ones that could be a thing. Of that are the other three with no alibis. Yep. Mio, Kaito, and Maki! Yep. <laughs> wait, 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 these th Wait, hold on. Hold on a bit. These three are the ones that I hang out that I want to hang out with. And now they're very sus. So basically, one of them at least I'm not gonna be able to hang out with. Fuck. Maybe you, you are sus. Maybe I'm sus. Maybe Ryuk and Izumu actually came to the realm and killed this motherfucker. No, I'm kidding, but no. <laughs> Wait, was it again? It was uh, Miu. It's the three guys I want to hang out with. Miu, Kaito, and uh, Maki. Fuck. Oh, 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 it actually is. All it three actually three. is. It's, it's all three of them. <laughs> Fuck. F. Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. <laughs> Say who it is already. <laughs> It could, uh, to be honest, Shuichi. <laughs> it's Shuichi. It's not even mentioned. One person can be eliminated as a suspect according to Kokichi. Uh, wait. According to what he said. She must be talking about the figure he saw. He certainly uh, would have an alibi. I'm guessing this is uh, Maki. Because she did uh, tell, uh, she did say her testimony about. Uh, she goes to the dorm room every single time just to shower. And shit like that. Oh, wait! No, 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 no! Then this is- no, no, th th this has to be Mio. Because we're- we are taking, uh, Gonta's, uh, statement into a- uh, to account. Uh, what the fuck, I can confirm. That's it. Yeah, 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 it's Mio, it's Mio. That's it? Because it's like, uh, the- the- the, the quote-unquote woman technique or whatever you, the fuck. Right? Whatever the fuck she what is there. What? Mew? Mew? Yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. Yeah. Booyah! Suck it, nerds! Wait a sec. Since when does she have an alibi? She does, she does. I remember I remember the Gonta tes testimony earlier. If you compare everyone's statements, there's... To no the point that uh, the, as soon as I actually got to Maki's investigation, it actually almost went into a tangent. Like, oh wait, shit, this could be Maki. But in the same time, I remember going to statements like, okay, never mind, it's Miro. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the lady <laughs> technique or whatever the fuck you call it. Hold on, <clears throat> Valley Girl voice. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing me. <laughs> something odd. <laughs> I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. A girl walking around half naked. Who <laughs> 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 But the horny exhibitionist Mew. Oh, of man. course. 
We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow. Hurry right now because I'm gonna eat. Okay, sure, sure. It's an IRL anyone account. walking around in women's underwear? Even me. Well, I mean, you, you, you don't even. Okay. What the fuck's what wrong? Mean, what's, what, what is? What's wrong with you? Oh, that's beautiful. That's nice, nice color. Like, wait, what the hell? Someone's calling me. Really nice color. Where? That's a really good color, man. Holy shit. Is it, wait, uh, what's like a what's the spice level? Um, it's not that spicy. It's actually pretty sweet because um, uh, I invited my cousins to eat. That's oh, why that's I didn't why. Make it spicy. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to make it very spicy. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my uh, I'm actually punishing my brother when it comes to eating curry because, he, actually, it's been it's it's Punishing. been it's been so long actually that we've known each other. But I'm actually I just discovered that he's actually pretty bad with spicy food. Like I I, I just recently knew that like as soon as Wait, he came home. He's bad with spicy food. Yeah, he's bad with spicy food, and basically really? I made the curry mild, <laughs> around so mild. So that's why he didn't use my my chili oil when you. Yeah, were yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why he that's why he did it. He's bad with spicy food, and uh, and when I fed him the curry, he was eating it. He, he said it was it was good, but he was literally coughing while he was eating it. It's so funny. It's like, oh shit, I, I never knew. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that's, that. That's, that's funny. It's All right, I'm gonna go eat. All right, uh, have a ha have a have a good meal. Bye. Oh. Go to see Mew, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta can uh, no can bring her. Yeah. If your face got hot, you mean hot on her trail, right? No. Um, she used her what you call it? Seek. Oh, there we go. Secret woman weapon. There we go. Secret woman weapon, and then. Oh. Um. Well. Yeah. Yeah. This response as well. I had, to, I had to use my secret woman weapon, and let's just leave it at that. Man. <laughs> I see, I see. It sounds like Gonta got an eye for I wish I'm Gonta! <laughs> oh, dang it. Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? I mean, try asking her. Well, <laughs> She's half like it. You know, I'm pretty stacked, so. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd take my clothes off, so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. Big brain. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, I I'm gonna to take it. Both of Gonta's heads, cause he got super embarrassed. I mean, you too. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a photo of this CG. I like this shit. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love this CG. Gonta got weird feeling. <laughs> so, Gonta ran away. Well, when he got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. Shut up. <laughs> I show my panties to the boys all the time. Shut up! <laughs> You're definitely a virgin. Shut up. And I mean all the time. No, no, not virgin says that I flash my panties all the time. Nobody says that. <laughs> what the fuck? So you're welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next tug session. Tug session. <laughs> oh, I wish I'm going to though. I really do wish I'm going to. Most of that was unintelligible nonsense, but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. It's very anime. Yeah, it took a while, but at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. <laughs> All right, there we go. Alibi for yesterday has been recorded to the monopad. Oh yeah, I do, I do forget that you actually do gain uh, truth bullets in the middle of trials as well, and it makes sense. So yeah, 8 p.m. We got a new we got a new thing. Alibis for yesterday has been recorded to the monopad. That leaves Kaito and Maki as the only ones with no alibis. Yeah. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder. Angie. Hold up! Don't decide just yet. <sighs> Two prime suspects, Kaito and Maki. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaito. I want to believe Kaito until he's proven guilty. I will trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit. 
No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. Shut up! This is not fun. What? We narrowed it down to two people. And one of those two is the culprit, right? Okay. Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. You're not wrong, Kokichi. You're not wrong. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. And what is that? And what is it, it better make sense, or else I'm gonna fucking hit you. If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, okay. Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Yes, true. There we go. Yes, that is true. Yeah. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. There we go. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. Damn. Okay. Okay, Kokichi. That is actually a very plausible suggestion. Okay, hold on a bit. <laughs> I'm actually seeing a little bit why some people do like Kokichi. I... I... I, I can actually see why. Okay. Like, in a sense, I may not like him as a person, but in a character of this story, basically, once again, it's basically one of those situations. I like him as a character of this story, but I do not like him as a person, definitely. So... That's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, I like that. Work harder. Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? No, no. Someone is eventually gonna slip up. I'm telling you, someone's gonna slip up. And. And. Huh? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. You're too scared to point your fingers at others, so you hide behind the word, the word tr trust. Okay. Hold on a bit. Hold on a bit, Kokichi. Hold on. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? That's true. Sure. If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit! Good delivery of that line. Damn, that's good voice acting. If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. So let's host an argument that's totally not boring but super fun! We'll catch the culprit in their lies when we find a contradiction. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, there we go. If one of them slips up, we'll know. Interesting. We'll scare the culprit until they screw up. That's how a good class <laughs> trial works. Damn. Yo, okay, Kokichi's voice acting is so good. Damn. That is good voice acting. Hold on a bit. Right, Monokuma? Yeah, like definitely. Okay, here's the one thing that I that I that it's been in my mind for quite a while. Well, I'm actually, you know. Uh, trying to go over Kokichi's dynamic with Miu is that Kokichi's basically S and Miu's M. <laughs> it's an S in their relationship. And I hate that whenever and I hate it every single time I see it. Oh my god. <laughs> a development like that would liven things up a bit. Yep, I totes agree. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? The thing is, ah, oh, he's so interesting now. Because basically what he does is that he does genuinely want to good do things, but his method methodology is uh, different. And in the same time, it's starting to really make sense now why he's called the ultimate evil supreme leader. It actually, it's actually making sense. That's This is pretty cool. That's really nice. I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. A hot debate to smoke out the liar. And how do you expect us to start? Like, it, yeah, like it's logically, it's a good method. When you think about it in, a gra in the grand scale of things, it is. It is. If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. Our first topic is oh. this. Oh, oh, 
shit. Wait, hold on. I might actually use this as a thumbnail, holy fuck. Damn. Yeah, guys, I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm actually going to be separating the, the Vons. Um, so basically, yeah, I'm gonna be cutting, uh, cutting the Vons in half on this one, so yeah. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Not just any Cubs pad, but the one given to our latest victim, Ryuma. When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow it. So basically, he got it before so, us. It wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. Yeah. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... Because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun! Wait. Wait, hold on. Hold on a bit. So, this is Maki's video. This has to be Maki's video. Because we basically have... We basically have, uh, have, um, yeah, we do have his video. So basically, this is Maki's. And this pretty much says, uh, pretty much says it that basically Maki's the culprit now. We could be wrong. But this, the, 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 this is Maki, right here. This is Maki's. Okay. One of these two had it? No, Kaito. Kaito, we have yours. But at the same time, I don't think so is the best time to say it. Ah, oh, that- Man, Kokichi! You're actually pretty good in this chapter, my goodness. And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this- I already know who- I, We already know who, uh, who- who it belongs to. Because we have Kaito's. Take a guess, everyone! Whose motive video did Ryoma have? It's my. Neither. I mean, it has from from this situation. It has to be Maki, yeah, because we have his. It was Maki's motive video, right? Wow! How did you ever guess? Ooh, I know, I know. It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Exactly. There, there we go, Kokichi. Process of elimination wins again. Yeah, pro yeah, it's sure though. Process. Of, that's exactly. I mean, that's literally like one of the one of the things that you always do in detective work, or basically in problem solving in general, is that it's process of elimination. Yeah. Is that true, Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. <laughs> Finally, you said something. But once again, this is a little bit uh, convoluted now. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. Remember, if you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear off the other's lies, rip each other apart! Man, Kokichi. Damn, you popping off, man. Wait, just a minute. What are you trying to- Quit screwing around! We don't need to debate who's a culprit! I'm not the culprit! That's for sure. Which means... Kaido, wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he- But Maki isn't a culprit either! Okay! Hold on. Huh? What? Huh? Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Okay, okay. Give me something to say. Give me give me something to say. Give, then give what me something would be to the say. Point of this whole Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. Okay, Kaito, Kaito, reasoning. Give me reasoning. It's just a hunch I've got. <laughs> God damn it. God fucking damn it, Kaito. <laughs> uh a uh, hunch? Are you being serious? You this is why Kokichi is my favorite. <laughs> here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Huh, you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. This is an official hunch from the Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. What? How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. 
Nah, nah, Kivo. Kivo. He absolutely makes so much logical sense, but at the same time, yeah. You're totally not serious. You can't be that. But, but the thing about Kokichi is that you know, like he's very, like logically, like you no, know, he doesn't have flaws in his logic, but at the same time, it just really disregards all human rights <laughs> or any right to like any human emotion. So that's why it's pretty conflicting. When it, you know, like his ideals is very conflicting, and yeah, this basically just really sheds a light to what his, to why his ultimate is really exactly like that. You know. No. He might actually be that stupid. I don't know just calls him stupid. Idiot. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. What's going on? Oh no, he's gonna get pushed to the edge. Hey, don't call me an idiot. Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. Kaito, we can't just go with that. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. You what? You believe in her? But based on what? Based on what, yeah. Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything, no matter where the clues point. In the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? Uh, to be honest, man, dude, I am not really a big fan of this shonen shit. Come on, please don't give me the shit, my god. Whether I believe or not, whether I want to believe or not, that's the only thing that matters. Man. So, you do not have any evidence. Only baseless conjecture. Unfortunately. But I totally get where he's coming from, because I want to believe in Himiko too. Himiko's cleared, so we we have evidence to back that up. So it's fine. She's fine. It's not her. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act. Yes. Yes. However, it is a sentiment that has no place. Exactly. In the exactly. He's an idiot after all. <laughs> You're the one who fucking talks, Himiko. God damn it. It's okay to be idiot, as long as you believe in people. No, don't tell no. Sometimes it's not. Guys, I said don't call me an idiot. It really hurts my feelings. <sighs> it's true. It's not what a class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. It's absurdity. Total absurdity. But then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Why do you trust me, Kaido? There's a chance that I'm actually the cult. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other? Uh, do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that why you believed in Kaido? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but if I worry about that, I won't be able to. I won't be able to live. Uh, believe in the people I want to believe in. No, but what the fuck, your Shuichi's voice is amazing. Thank you. If I could trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaido's feelings, too. Yeah. It'll work out in the end. So. I'll believe in Maki as well. What? All your voices are amazing. Thank you. Hey, I, 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 I put a lot of work in, you know. I, I love voice acting. It's definitely one of the, the things I really love doing. And, hey. If I have the opportunity to voice like at a game right now, then I would do it. Yeah. That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. You too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? This is so fucking anime though. There's no proof linking Maki or Kaido to this crime either. Exactly. Okay. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. Yep, there you go. Now, they are innocent. Yep, true, true. Right on, Shuichi. I knew I picked a good sidekick. <laughs> God. Uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he has. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, I'm not a real detective. <sighs> that face. How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary. These two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Wait, what? Huh? What? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. But that hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously, enough's enough! Stop calling <laughs> me an idiot! <laughs> what are you trying to say, Maki? What is going on right I now? I don't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. So I'll tell you. Tell us what? 
I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. Okay, hold on. Hold on a bit. What if this is assisted suicide? But in the same time, no! No, that's wrong. That's dumb. That's a dumb idea because once again, Ryoma around chapter 2 has already said that, Hey, I'm looking for a reason to live. So, hey. I don't really want to die or anything. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At nighttime? So Ryoma was still alive at nighttime? I, I, I kind of did figure. Because once again, hey, we got to remember that there's the window, which is an indirect access to the gym. We got a, we got that cable thing that we could basically use to, uh, but at the same time, it's in the room, but I don't know. I mean, we did get, we, we do have that rope that is like, uh, like on the other side of the, the, the stairs or something. So, yeah. I thought the crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. Wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during nighttime. I d actually my initial um my, my initial um uh, what you call this um uh, estimate actually um uh, yeah my my in my what what do you call this my initial uh estimate of the murder is actually around eight to eleven. So basically, I actually took account of like. The uh, night time as well because once again I thought about the indirect access to the room. So yeah. If that's true, then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's right. Everyone suspected them because they know have alibis for those times. That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Uh, I don't know about that. Quit fucking around. You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Sometimes you are. <laughs> yes, this seems too convenient. But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? <laughs> it's totally obvious. Maki. So yeah, and we gotta do remember that we do lie. that we are like we do lie in this game. Was that a lie? Did Maki lie to us? It's true. We don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that now? Of all the times. <sighs> if I trust her innocence, I should believe her statement. But should I? Oh, it's an intermission. Oh my god. Oh, this fucking... This fucking trial is a fucking pain in the ass. Yes, let me save. Let me fucking save. Um, we're not ending. We're finishing the trial here, guys. Just so you know, we're finishing it here. We're not going anywhere until we finish it. Um, let me just drink some water, because I, I am a little bit parched. Hold on. I'm going to look for a bit, because I, I'm, I'm being a simp, and I'm writing a song for someone. Oh! oh that's sweet. Hope you, uh, hope you, uh, get to... Uh, have a uh, have a have have some good lyrics in it. Make sure it's really nice and sweet. Don't make it cringe. Yes, I am warning you. Don't try to make it cringe. Actually, make it really make make it impressive or something. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good luck, man. Good luck, Magenta. Good luck. Anyway, <sighs> I'm gonna drink some water. As soon as I stop drinking water, we're continuing. Oh, you got a beat. That's cool. I just need the lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Pop, pop, pop off with those lyrics, man. Pop off. All right, let's continue. Here we go. Oh, goodness. Now then. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Wait, wait a second. What result? Voting time hasn't happened yet. Aww. Yes. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yes, it has. Don't re don't you remember, Monosuke? No, it hasn't. You're the one who doesn't remember, Monotaro. Uh -oh. oh, man. You're right. Silly me. I'm so forgetful. Yeah. Wow. I didn't expect you all to get so worked up over such a small lie. You kids are pretty <laughs> Huh? Now then. Well, 
Anyway, let's just skip this trial and jump ahead to Chapter 3! <laughs> Uh, wait a second, we don't know the culprit yet! Aww. You got any sus on anyone yet? I mean, I'm in the middle of the trial. And, uh... Once again... Here's the thing, I'm very logical. I don't really just go with my feeling. And based, uh, based off from the logical basis that I have. is It's either... It's basically anyone who's... Either... In the very suspicious time frame that we have. Or the people who worked on the... Uh... The, the stage itself, so yeah. But I do have some people who are already cleared, and it's been it's been going through the investigation. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, who killed Bantaro? Oh, oh. That was Chapter 1's case! How can you be this forgetful? Mono damn. <laughs> the fuck is this shit? But my initial susses was basically... Um... Kaito, Monkey, um, Another shocking truth revealed. who, like, who else did I sus? And, uh, like, uh, let's see, time frame, time frame. When, we, when we're thinking about time frame, uh, and I'm also quite sus, uh, a little bit sus with Angie, not gonna lie. But in the same time, according to them, in the morning, um, him, uh, her and Himiko were waiting. But either way, to be honest, I kind of just really want to see how this plays out, but I've done all the predictions that I ever can. This shit is very convoluted, but my initial theory on how the murder happened is basically... Uh... You know, if you guys noticed from the clue that we get, basically from the Monokuma file, no other injuries can be confirmed from this point. Basically, what I'm thinking is that he could probably, probably dry, uh, drown in a different way. Like the thing is, you could knock someone unconscious, but they're not really dead. So they didn't die because of blunt force trauma, but it's because they passed out, and then they drowned while they passed out, and thus they died from there. And I believe that he probably drowned in the pool, or maybe he, he is already passed out, and he was just put in the tank. That's, that's my theory. So yeah. by the competition. <laughs> God dang it. After that terrible movie, they had no other choice. I don't get the reference, God dang it. Wow, what does that mean? It means he doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument. Like this. Sorry, I had to cut you off. <laughs> we shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just gonna throw out more lies. Yeah, but once again, this really has no basis. Like, uh... Maki just said those uh, that uh, logically okay. Maki said this out, out of the blue, which it should have been mentioned earlier, and in the same time, no one will be able to back this up because the one the person that she's talking about that she met up with in nighttime is someone who's already fucking dead. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do from but this if point? You don't ask her for more details. How will we know for sure? <laughs> Let's go. I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Really ironic, but yeah. You're one to talk. Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been a little after midnight last night. He visited me at my research lab. He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Oh! My theory was right from the literally from literally the beginning where the motives were being shown. Cause I back then I theorized I wonder who's gonna be having um like okay basically I talked about Maki right Maki uh on Maki's side she basically didn't really want to see her motive right. Maki did. Maki didn't want to watch her uh, watch her motive, and then I noticed, you know, a bit, you know, I guess when it comes to Ryoma, he's a little bit death flaggy on this chapter, which, to be honest, he's pretty much every since ever since like chapter one, he's always been like that. But he was like especially death, um, death flaggy on that time. So I, fi I really wanted to theorize. It's either Maki is gonna be having, uh, having her, uh, her motive, 
Or it's either, initially I thought Kibo is going to be having her motive, or it's going to be Ryoma. I don't know if this is where uh, th this is where it's exactly going to, but that I just really want to point out that that was my uh, my theory back then when we were just starting the chapter. So yeah. Motive video. If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? Maybe. I actually didn't check yeah, yeah. when I got, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cubs pad. Yep. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then, who was it that told Ryoma about his cubs pad? Who told Ryoma that Maki had his uh, motive video? So someone who know who knew is basically it's basically Ryoma, not Ryoma. I mean, it's basically it's basically Kokichi. Where's Kokichi? Yeah, it's basically Kokichi. Kokichi's the one who said that, cause he knows. It's you. Yeah. That would be Kokichi. Cubs pads, gotta catch them all. Even uh, I even got the pads belonging uh, to the people who aren't here. I really can get. I really cannot get Kokichi's uh, voice. Basically, I'm just doing this on my own. <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video. So you saw the motive videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? I'm back. When males get this quiet, they're either uh, things, or thinking yeah, 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 things got back to square one, basically. <laughs> what happened then, Maki? What happened? After Ryoma asked you... Basically, Ryoma. Maki finally showed her, uh, finally shared her testament, finally. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Wow, oh, Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? Wait! Wait, hold on. What if this shit's really a suicide, though? I'm actually starting to think this is a suicide. I mean... It is Ryoma. <laughs> it is Ryoma, but but here's the thing. It's starting to app up. So... Yeah. Ryoma... There we go. He basically has indirect access to the lab. Which he could pretty much just go through... Uh, no, not, not to, the, to the lab. To the... To the gym, he basically has indirect access to the windows. He has a fifty. He has a fifty feet. Um, what you call this? Wire thing that he could use. But yet again, the wire is like inside the room for some reason, so it's not really there. I mean, there is also another rope in the same time. Uh, but once again, he drowned. There's a lot of shit in real. There's a lot of shit. Yeah, and in the same time, we could. It's like. I mean, I don't really- I seriously don't want to rule it a suicide, because someone has to die here. But, uh, how did he end up in a tank? He go- I guess he- it's possible that he just really went there by himself. Because the thing is, there's like the scratch marks. <laughs> let me just eat myself here. <laughs> yeah, let me just eat myself in here. But in- uh, but in the same time, yeah, how could he use a divider? I don't know how think about it. Like, I mean, he could do it himself. Yeah, yeah, because like- Because the lid's on top, yeah, he could do it himself there. But in the same time- um, there was like scratch marks, and, and, and at the same time, I guess it's really weird that you're just cuffed at the same time. Like, who who else can basically do that under than yourself, right? Like, he cuffed it, he cuffed himself, and then there are tattered marks. There are scratches on the on the sink, um, the words which um, of, um, one great Neo Iruma. What kind of kinky shit is he into? <laughs> God damn it! And uh, and uh, he he had his cuffs. And then he like tattered it against like the stone thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. So, so, if there's a sign of struggle, it, it couldn't be suicide. Yeah, yeah. So, wait. So. Did, did I do it? Did I do it? I, I don't know. Let's just see it. And then what happened? Let, let's just see it. Let's just see it. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't know what happened after that. 
I'm not even sure if he saw his motive video. Yeah. When he asked me, he said that he would show me my motive video in return. I forgot Ma Maki sounded like this. I wasn't this. interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap. If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. If that story is true. If that story is true. There we go. Yeah, exactly, Kyo. I really love Kyo, though. Dang. Like, he's the... For me, he's like the most rational person besides Shuichi in this fucking place. Goddamn. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. <laughs> Maka, what the fuck, Maki? Come on. Suspected. Literally, er, literally everything that she does is goes by, uh, goes by, uh, really just goes by her mood. Kirumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. And that's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. Not sure. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? <laughs> it's so funny. It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Mach. Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! Bakero! <laughs> no, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Mm. Huh? What now? <laughs> there we go. You never yes. answered my question. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Is that really important? Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. Yep, true. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Let's go, Suichi! Let's go! Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then Man, you better Ma tell us the truth. The more I just look at Maki, she, she just really starts to look more like a fucking Uchiha. God dang it. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Okay, it's true. I told Ryoma. I told Ryoma. <laughs> Just as I thought. <laughs> That's not shit. a bad thing, right? He wanted. I mean, him, so I told he is—he is the ultimate evil supreme leader, after all. He's literally just doing his shit. <laughs> but yeah, he—he's an ass. No, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted like a movie screening party. Yes, like it's like watch party Wednesdays. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I just checked who Speaking had the so I could give them back to everyone <laughs> after. Sea of Thieves tomorrow. <laughs> oh, are we actually doing Sea of Thieves? Nice, let's do it. Yeah, hopefully Sea of Thieves isn't... I basically... If you saw my schedule, I marked it as a collab day. Because okay. we're always not really sure what to play, so yeah, I decided to mark it like that. Sea of Thieves isn't as to our stream, stream schedules. Yeah. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. Good point, good point. So you still suspect me? I am saying it could still be a possibility. <laughs> ba basically that. <laughs> basically that. <laughs> if there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Then I love how Kirumi's character is actually so freaking consistent though. Lie. I love that shit. She's not lying. Cause like everything that she does it really just go according go into accordance to Kaide's fi uh, last wish. It's really nice. I found that really really cool. If it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No, this is a world of lies and betrayal. Himiko, it breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things. She has been saying depressing things the entire time. I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. This is difficult to determine. Oh no, he's gonna go overload. Maki is lying. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. I mean, you could 
that, what you said can also be a lie too. <laughs> I'm not lying. I did meet up with Brioma during night time. I'm telling the truth. Is it a lie or the truth? This is the turning point. This will change the fate of this case. And I... I said I would believe in Kaito. And that means believing in Maki. And that means I have to do it. I need us all on the same page. Okay. I smell... I smell, um... I have to change where this argument is going. Just like Kaide did. Is this gonna be... Okay, never mind. We haven't had a scrum debate yet, right? I don't think so. Because I fucking love the scrum debate music. I met with Ryoma the previous night. Fucking liar. What a load of crap! Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that this meeting took place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is or lying to us. Or maybe you here. If you can't prove your claim, then Wait, no, 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 I don't think so. I need to, I need to determine which one's a lie here or not. See, if I could convince someone that Maki met up with, yeah, I think you have to lie here. I, huh. I think you need to, to use uh, Maki alone as a lie. Oh, I guess. Maki only see Ryoma at night. Yes, I didn't meet with oh, anyone else. Okay, I, I have told it. Okay. Did anyone see if those two together? Then that, that's bad because lying Surely they like has more detriment. No one can prove that this meeting. <laughs> see it here. Place. I think here. Oh fuck! I was too late. God dang it! Oh man. Man, I should have froze. Did Maki is lying to us? I think that, is that the only weak point? Yeah, that's the only weak point. So I guess it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the is pretty easy in the early chapters, anyway. Yeah. I forgot. Did anyone see those two together? Oh wait, those, here's another weak point. Surely they would have come forward already. But, uh, but it's more of an agree statement. No one can prove that this yeah. meeting took place. There we go. Oh god, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so to convince. To prove they met, but I can prove Maki wasn't alone. Oh, please explain. <laughs> that sprite. Well, Kaito oh. and I trained together every night. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Huh? huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> that's, that's so good. <laughs> Shush, child. Anyway, you were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. And people, basically, people is on the mindset that he's just stupid. So then no one would even care. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you don't have to say talking. anything. <laughs> people talking? We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. But now that I think about it. It must have been Ryoma. What? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god Kaito, Kaito, you suck. Wait a minute. If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. Okay. No, no, hold up! Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. Okay. I had no reason to bring it up. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, that's true. That's true. Now, now. Is, gonna, is Kokichi gonna call you on your, Ryoma, on your right? bullshit again? Actually, now that I think about it, no. I think that's cause the thing is, any interact because there was there was a topic up earlier about who saw who saw Ryoma last time. And I feel like that thing should be mentioned really... Well, it's not really Maybe. seeing. Oh. But it could have been mentioned there. So that's a little bit scary. If someone actually points that out, then... Yeah, they would determine it's a lie. Which I wish... I wonder if this game has a bad ending. If I knew for certain, I would have said so <laughs> like, like the first one? Because the second game didn't have a bad ending, right? Yeah, but the first one, they quote-unquote had a bad ending. Or like a yeah. sneak peek of it. Yeah. Hold on, let me ask my cousin. He, she uh, knows a lot about Danganronpa. Right. But 
considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. And nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. And you two did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. We are still part of a killing game after all. Okay. Whoa, whoa, chill out. Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. Anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Then Gonta will believe friends. She <laughs> doesn't remember. You believe him? Just like that. Yeah. F. Oh, she, she doesn't remember. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna look into it because if there is a bad ending in the, the second game, we haven't yes. seen it yet. <laughs> if his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. <laughs> Unless he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. L watch this chapter do does another fucking uh, uh, MC switch. <laughs> another right. MC Listen switch. To <laughs> On to the next MC, Mew, please. Man, like it just becomes a running meme and dang rampa. Oh, who's the next MC? Who? Who's that main character? It's. Yeah, you're right. Tamu I'll believe him too. Does Mew have an Aho free. Oh wait, actually. I'd be I mean, she is so an Aho. Surprised if Shuichi was a liar. <laughs> Aho got her. After we believed him for so long. Aho got her. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. Oh my! Oh my God. Of okay, course. Kokichi. Kokichi, you look like it's look like you are onto us. All right, that proves it then. He's always Ryoma onto us. Was still alive during nighttime. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. <laughs> How many times has Kaido said this shit the entire trial? Me and me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. It, 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 if if, if uh, Happy from Fairy Tale is, is, is no here, matter. he would yes. definitely tease Kaito for liking Maki. So everyone <laughs> is you still again. like her. So we're right back where we started. Wow, this shit is so fucking convoluted, oh my god. Pain. Yeah, it's a pain. However, it should yeah. be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. So basically, <laughs> the time when I around the time that I was basically theorizing that, hey, we gotta know about the time frame, it's all down the drain now. Fuck. God dang it. I mean, I think it still does matter. I think it does, but... Man. Well... <laughs> it's suicide, guys. Guys, so uh, I'm starting to convince morning. myself it's fucking suicide. That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, How? remember? Huh. I, 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 I mean, I, 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 I really don't think to, so. Kodaka would actually do something like that, though. But based off from what just happening, I think it's suicide. But no. He already did the suicide plot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like we already did the suicide plot, but at the same Back time. In the first game, so yeah. <sighs> and then, in the same time, it, it really, it really makes me come to mind that hey, he already did tell Shuichi that yo, I, I'm looking for a reason to live. I kind of do want to live now. I was just jealous of everyone. He did say yeah, that, so yeah. Exactly that too. Yeah. I don't think so. We have evidence to prove but, that's what happened. Uh, but in a logical sense, it I can kind of see why it can be suicide. But I don't know. It maybe has to do something with the motive, but I, I really don't know. I mean, I mean, you obviously know Kenji, right? You, you obviously know what's going on here already. Uh, yeah. yes. I only, but I, I only have the last part of the trial clear in my mind because I have some very strong feelings about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, but the, the stuff before the last part of the trial, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> when did Ryoma's body get placed in the piranha tank? Maki was, uh, Maki was with Ryoma around midnight. So it couldn't it couldn't have been before nighttime. And if it couldn't have been the morning after, that leaves. The only time they could have done it was during nighttime, huh? Yeah. Did you forget the gym's not open at nighttime, Dick Cheese? <laughs> Dick Cheese. <laughs> Once again, indirect access to the gym. The window. Dick Cheese? <laughs> Can't fucking put it in that. <laughs> Because by morning we were already at the gym. 
It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No one can slip by me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorcerer. Known far and wide! What a terrible yeah. title for a guard! <laughs> Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at night time. I've re I've been really wanting to talk about the fucking um the fucking uh, rooms and shit. I don't even play baseball. But we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably moved in the morning. Calm down, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Don't assure if we discuss disagreement. I see through your arguments. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? What's going on? Disagreement? A disagreement? You mean you're split down Here in the middle go. again? My favorite part. Then, the ultimate academy Music is wise, proud to present least. its very own more phenomenal trial ground! Okay, hold, hold on. There... The... What you call this? Uh... When is... When is Psych Taxi gonna come on? Cause I've been waiting for that because that's where the next, uh... The next Monokuma is, yeah. Yeah, that's where the mo next Monokuma is. What the know. fuck is it? I mean, in chapter one, the heart hidden Monokuma is pretty far do from crazy the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was on, it was on uh, Hangman's oh, Gambit. I think it was when you switched characters, actually. It, it was on Hangman's Gambit, so yeah. Yeah, I think it was when you s switched characters, too. That's oh, so it's gonna happen in the MC switch, got it. <laughs> Yo, are you already assuming there's gonna be another <laughs> I'm MC kidding. switch? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, oh wow, Miyu does have an Ahoge. Let's go! Oh yeah! Yeah, it's possible then! And it's two! So that means... Okay, so that means... She has two lives! She has two lives, she has, she has like two chapters to live! And then, in the next one... So... And then, and then, and look, 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 look who has another Ahoge. We got Kibo, yeah. And he has like one life, and then it's gonna switch over to another one. Oh man, I'm so dumb. God damn it, I love it. If I can't get them to see the truth, now my life would have been for nothing. I won't fail. Oh man. Cat jam, cat jam. Ekozodorogam! Yarudo! Actually, Loki, actually, how to f I actually forgot how to play this already. It's been a while. <laughs> I mean, I guess I basically I, ma I match up the the arguments, right? I think that's what you have to do. When was the b body put in? A okay, next morning during night time. I love this music. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning dun, announcement? Dun, 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 uh, morning dun, dun, announcement. Dun, 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 Is it not possible? Dun, 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 you simply missed dun, dun, the culprit. Dun, 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 simply missed the culprit. Remember the rules the 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 in chat, please. The gym at night. <laughs> okay. The piranha tank is too far from the gym's entrance. But pool next to gym also off limits at night. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. But should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Okay. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Angie. I was in front of the gym with the others before the announcement. Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? Uh, oh, the no, no, damn. Enter the gym at night. Oh, the man. tank is too far from the gym's entrance. Uh. But pool next to gym also off limits at night. Monkey. Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. Yep. But should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Tenko. It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too. Let's go. Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? We weren't consistent. Our position looks weak. Did the Kay. culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Yeah, we already found that. Alright, let's go. Possible you simply missed the culprit. Missed the culprit. Uh, missed. There we go. We were right in front of the door. There's no way we could have missed them. Yeah, exactly. Remember, the rules state that you can't enter the gym at night. Come rules. Uh, Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. They don't probably ap the apply. They do. They do not apply. The I've got this. 
I got this! Man, the OST though, holy shit, let's go. I love this OST. This is the best. OST in the entire series. I love that Kai Day's picture. At the very back, too. Yeah. Man, Sarge. Rio was, too. Is it not possible you simply miss Kimiko? Let's just go! Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. The piranha tank is too f I've got this! I've Can got this! Hell yeah, Shuichi versus uh yeah, Kokichi. But pool next to Maki. Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not Maki. the pool area itself. <laughs> Shuichi calls him like the truck him on. Maki, I choose you! Exactly. Tanko! Oh, yeah, <laughs> Tanko! Use bad breath! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> the lack of the la oh shit. Oh D D but W. Hey, man, my masturbation practices finally kicks in. Fuck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's true that you cannot enter the gym at nighttime, but I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body. Yeah. That window is higher than the piranha tank, and it's pretty close by. Fuck, just fucking jumps. <laughs> like, like a freaking, like, uh, why did, I, why did I fucking imagine that? I just imagined what? basically fucking, um, Ryoma, like, since, uh, as you can see from the height, right, of the, of the okay. fucking window, he, he like fucking jumped in. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Lee from the, uh, from his, um, Window to the gym. Yeah, to the to the gym. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Suicide would start. <laughs> oh man. That means YouTube. it was certainly possible to put YouTube. the bomb in the piranha tank. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. Yeah. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window. The window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. Ryoma was small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. <laughs> yes, but Gonta wouldn't do that. Gentlemen not chuck dead bodies. <laughs> That's not even the fucking point, my man. Being a gentleman has nothing to do with it. <laughs> I know. They use the ladder in the gym. Not possible. You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? So the culprit just needed to put the body through the window to pull it off, right? I'm gonna guess, yeah, when it goes to the piranha tank, yeah. Right. Uh, the ladder doesn't reach a window. That's it. Yeah. It only reaches the tank, but it it it, 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 it doesn't reach the window. Was because it was on the stage. Yeah. If you use the ladder on the pool side, it would not quite make it. Definitely. The ladder could barely reach the window when it was on the stage. <sighs> There's nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. Yeah. Finally, the ladder was found in the gym, correct? So, yeah. If the culprit used the ladder on the pool side, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. And they couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. Then Gonta used his tarred strength to throw the ladder or the body or something. <laughs> Ew, come on. Gentlemen, not are you, throw dead are you seriously the ultimate or inventor? Bounce. God damn it! Uh, the body could not have been thrown. <laughs> into the that that line is so similar to that line was so similar to fish are friends, not food. Gentlemen, not throw dead bodies or ladders. Fish are friends, not food. 
It would need to be placed. Real was a friend, not food. Oh man, why did I remember that? Got it, muscle head. Even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. Sorry, steroids does not right. make you strong. You didn't need to apologize, Gonta. How the culprit moved the body from the window. <laughs> you guys don't even know that? What a bunch of dimwits. <laughs> Okay. I know because I Do did it. The answer then? <laughs> <laughs> but of course. Tell him, Shuichi. Blow him all away with the truth. Oh my god. I uh <laughs> actually don't know that yet. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. It <laughs> is such a gag anime moment. Sorotori. Shinjitsu wa oru wa shiteru. So, kotae te yoru sa. demo わかりませんでしたね。ボッケ。ボッケロが。It's <laughs> so funny. What? <laughs> it's so funny. Speaking of bokke, through the window. Uh, me and uh, Vince just finished watching one of the funniest gags in One Piece. Oh my god. Bokke. Kids just need to shut up and take their licks. Oh my god. I want to take licks from you. We gotta figure this out or we're done for. Okay. Hey, you okay. gotta do something, Shuichi. Uh, I know. I have to do something, but. Oh man, I really, I really like this moment. So, like, you know, sometimes he just like stops, and then he just comes back to thinking that. Oh man. I really, I really like and getting to view inner thoughts. And then we switch MCs. The body got into the <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Angie's hair looks like a dickhead. Anyway, why? What? Gonta thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out. We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. No, I think we it would. It would. Focus on where we found the body. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. Where he was killed? The pool. That's where he was killed. Wouldn't it be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Yes, that's it. Yeah, we could work from there. We were so caught up in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. To be honest, I think that's what you guys should have been doing from the very start. Murder scene I mean, they did, we but yeah. Clues about the culprit. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? <laughs> that's strange. Kokichi. Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Okay, Chi. Oh. Then, culprit is someone in this room. <laughs> shit, go, go, no shit, Gota. No shit. <laughs> That's important to remember. It's not as if everyone here wants us to find the truth. One of us is trying to sabotage this trial. Well then, let's discuss the crime scene to figure oh, out yeah. who the culprit is. Oh dang it, I should have been paying attention. Who wouldn't actually do that? Actually, I go notice. I mean, I know who I'm, it I'm, is, but I, I didn't notice anything. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to notice. Because there could be. There could be clues. Wait, okay. From, okay, from the last couple times that we've right, uh, let's talked. See, let's, see. let's see. Uh, let's... Uh, let's go from a bunch of Shuichi, a bunch of Shuichi, a bunch of Shuichi. Okay. No, let's, let's go from here. Let's go from here. Yeah. Should we trust the market system in the first place? First place. So, uh, this is basically from the debate that we had earlier. It's sure that you yeah, cannot uh, enter the gym right. at night time, but but a corpse could. Impossible that windows have the uh, was how the uh, culprit was moved. What was Marky's testimony again? Maki, entering the pool at night is uh is what's off limits, not the pool here in itself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here that you cannot enter the gym night time, but a corpse could. I'm positive that the window. Okay. Let's hide that the piranha tank. The curtains might have been closed, but the window was uh, uh open to uh open the whole uh, investigation. Uh, that means. It's certainly possible that uh, to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. However, I'm also positive uh, the pain divining okay, was set up beforehand. It certainly couldn't be tossed in 
it would be need to be placed carefully. That's a valid. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window, the window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. The culprit was oh, uh, outside the window. Okay. We're almost small. Gonta could uh, could have just chuck him easy. That's why Gonta wouldn't uh, do that. Chuck them in, uh, don't chuck dead bodies. So basically, I think from this time frame of dialogue, I think this is where I guess like the segueing of shit happened. And to be honest, I cannot tell because basically everyone is saying a lot of like different things on uh, how the body could have been in there. I, so I, I, I cannot I'll, tell. I, I I now see who it is. I mean, I know who it is, but now I see how. Now you see. <laughs> but in the same time, if if it if it is my perspective, I wouldn't notice, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. You know it because I know who it is already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, I'm trying to see if you 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 can figure it out. Okay. Because you're pretty close, actually. Uh, from the the um, what you the... were saying earlier when I was sh when I was shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. <sighs> this is quite something. This section is ma making you turn into a bell geese, huh? <laughs> what the My fuck? brain! It trembles! My brain! It trembles! <laughs> Okay, uh, no, I don't think that method that is impossible. That sounds more like Akechi, actually, the voice you did. Okay! <laughs> 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 I forgot, bullets might help. I mean, I, I do remember the bullets pretty well, so yeah. I mean, what we're going over right now is basically if we can actually distinguish who it is through dialogue. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Is your audio actually good in your stream? Hold on, let me check. <laughs> okay. So I think I do have. I think I'm gonna mention it later. But I probably have three people in my mind. I have three people in my mind. Based off from dialogue, I don't. I can't really come up with an explanation yet. It's more of a okay. hunch from what I've observed. Who is, who is those three people? I don't know. I'll, I'll mention it later, actually. When I okay. guess it's closely re relevant. I mean, I think they're talking about it now. Yeah. That's not a bad idea for a robot. The last time I heard such a good idea was when Nino told me to move in with her under the bridge to get Wait, what the fuck's Nino? It's a reference to. My name is Nino! I'm kidding. Nino! I'm under Nino. The bridge. Is that it? That's if you could determine reference. where this all started, we could determine Wait, how it ended. That is a manga. I recently just read, and it's fucking amazing. It's um, wait, something under the bridge. I forgot the exact title. It's called. It, it, she said Himakawa on the bridge. Under the bridge. Yeah, it, it sounds similar to that. Hold on. Um, I'm looking it up right now. Arakawa, Arakawa under the bridge. Yeah. Oh wait, that title sounds. That name sounds familiar. Manga is amazing. I still haven't caught up yet, but it's so good. And I, I, I and Nino is the um main heroine of the story. Cool. Nino is like the uh, the kudere girl, and she's like, come, li like, yeah, sure, sure, come, and then you'll you'll have to leave live here with me then. And the main character is like, okay, I guess I live under a bridge now. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. That's the main cool. character is rich too, <laughs> so it's great. Uh, yeah, yes, it's, it's too it's it's too Mark soon to quit. Great. The trial has only just begun. Thank you, Maki. And that was a helpful insight. Kodaka's uh, references are getting more and more obscure, huh? Yeah. Good thing I did that. I you're still an apprentice. never noticed that before. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Marcoma file, piranha tank, wet staircase. Black piece of fabric. I feel like that's gonna be relevant. Ryoma was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. But the cause of death was drowning. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? <laughs> Just drowns out a toilet. toilet. Impossible. Bullshit, I could do it! This is where water is stored. The only place that fits is the pool. Yeah. If you use magic, there's no other way! 
Wait, well, she sounded really different there. It must be the pool then. That was the fastest. No, that was the Yeah. Shut your mouth, you noisy sow. Yeah, S and M, S and M. That's literally the dynamic. It's an S and M dynamic, and it, I hate it. Actually, actually you might want to um, agree to uh, like uh, attack some of the joke options because there is funny dialogue if you do attack them. I, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna lose health, so I don't want to. I'm gonna lose health. I mean, does it? I actually forgot. I think it does it. Yeah. I, think so. I think some of the joke ones actually doesn't let you lose health. It's just a funny part. First, oh, but I'm not sure. It's a bit of okay, wait, hold on. I need to pay attention though. The dorm room? Ryoma was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. I only realized that when I watched uh, the Nyan Cave's playthrough of that There's nothing like in his room that can collect enough oh! water. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, my m okay, I'm so stupid. My mindset here what? is that um. My mindset here the entire time is that it's still basically it's still like I'm still stuck in time. Basically, I'm still assuming that um around night time, Ryama's already done. So I guess I actually have to use the pull rules now. I think. Okay. Yeah, I think I gotta use the. Drowning toilet. Impossible. Impossible. We should consider places where water is stored. The only place that fits is the pool. Cool. But Ryo was alive. There we go. Ryo was alive. Yeah, my mindset, uh, like when I was like reading through this, it's like, oh shit, I'm like oh. that, that he was dead. But no, he's alive. The could not have been the scene of the murder. Ryoma was killed at night time. Yeah. There we go. No swimming is allowed at night time, <laughs> so a living person could not have gone in. Yeah. There we go. Yep. A dead body is fine because it's just an object. But if a living person entered the pool. I think I might cry. <laughs> cry as loud as you want. I'll cry with you. We can spend the night together crying. Why does that? Okay. In the morning after, I'll write goodbye on your mirror and lipstick before I cry. Wait, what reference is this shit? I feel uh, like I've seen this in every single that, movie with that, that lipstick shit. Yeah, that's just a very common thing. It's it's a, like a common trope with like movies, right? Yeah. yeah. That's funny. You wake up and she's gone. That's very common. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then the yeah the lipstick on the writing is like she, uh, on the the mirror. Yeah. Quit being so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. Fuck the Patriots. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> wait, I don't, wait. Are the, are these football teams? I don't I don't even know if, the, if these are football teams or I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, but we can I don't know. Or baseball. Probably yeah. baseball or football. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, baseball is more popular in Japan. Yeah. Where was Ryoma killed if not pool? Is there other place where water can be stored? Oh. Maybe I could get... Okay, never mind. Okay. Let's see. Come for Ranas. This, that, that. Where else can be can he be killed? Where else can he be killed? I mean, he drowned in the wet staircase because there's water. Okay, I'm kidding. Uh, I mean, I, mean, I guess the sink, because uh, uh, yeah, it's large enough to fill a good amount of water in it. So yeah. This is it. Yeah. Good job. And also the scratch marks. The sink in Ryoma's lab. To be honest, the distinct scratch marks on it. Oh there yeah, is. this this should. Yeah, I guess it is signs of struggle because you know when you're trying to get out, you have your arms like going over. Yep. Okay. That is okay. And he, Kodaka. And he, was hand, and he was handcuffed, right? Yeah, he was handcuffed. Kodaka is a genius for this because once again, yeah, he made me think that this is a suicide. For, for like once even I mean it's still obvious but at the same time for me like damn if uh, if a person like maybe Kodaka's like okay if a person might overthink this bullshit then I'm gonna use this against them or some shit like that like I said earlier chapter 2 is all about con convoluted <laughs> shit yeah uh, wait what was chapter 2 how is he cuffed again? though how is he I mean basically it was like you know the fucking, uh, I don't know. I guess the deal with, uh, uh, what you call this? 
Oh, oh Byakuya. Byakuya. It's because of fucking Byakuya because he's an asshole. Yeah, Bia the, the first game, it was Byakuya messing with the crime scene. The second game, it, it was convoluted because of the um, Atari game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really genius. I, I love it. the same page yeah. as Best Girl Ibuki. But yeah. And now, yes, this. <laughs> I'm still shocked about this suicide thing. I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> I, I I can't really blame you. It, it, it's just me theorizing, you know. That's uh, th this is the the charm of this game, you know. That's why I love this game so much, is because it makes me think. Indeed. Uh oh, wait. What am I doing now? Wait, what? Wait, actually, I forgot. What are we doing? F1. Show question. Uh oh, F1. Uh, what's that? Uh, if you want to drown in the sink, what made the scratches? Uh, handcuffs. Uh, this. Okay, there we go. This is it. This is it! This is it! The handcuffs. Hell they were yeah! scratched as well, correct? <laughs> well, yeah. Sort of looked like they'd been scraped against something. Something against something. How is he the cuffed, though? The How the fuck is he cuffed? Yes. Like me, you said, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's into some kicky shit. Oh my god. Noble Clown, welcome to the stream. What is he into? <laughs> the size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs. Hi, Nibble I'm Cloud. Sure. Welcome to cheer. Hmm. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? Uh, I mean, he, 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 he was wearing it. <laughs> because Rihanna Indeed. was wearing them. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yes, though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. Tanky Nemo! I am certain he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. The handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. Devour. Hold on. Have we talked about why his skull has so a crack? The culprit I, I mentioned that. That's why, okay, there, that's why I kind of went on a theory like, okay, he didn't, well, he died quote-unquote in drowning, but I guess like a, like blood force trauma was used against him, so he passed out, and then the way he died is just he just drowned while he was passed out. But I guess that's wrong. The skull is cracked. I feel like that would already be lethal. I, it's probably an injury back in his, you know, criminal days, you know. Maybe. Now that I think yeah. about it, yeah. Ryoma must have been pretty Bro. yummy. They chopped <laughs> up his entire <laughs> body. That's where he stores his, um. Same disgusting things. I don't want to hear his, it. Uh... Did you just cuss? Miles. Might have misheard it. I mean, I cuss every time. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, indeed, that's true. That crunchy texture with the fatty parts just right. Shut up! I'm not even going to continue that. But oh, you know, new rewards. Didn't even mind. notice. Oh yeah. I think that some of the boys are actually saving up for a VIP. <laughs> it's funny. You could have well, used Shikuchi method to get away. Wait, what, what, what does what does VIP does? Push him? Do. I mean, basically, you're unstoppable in chat. That's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, I'm, that's... Scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Dude. I'm scared. I'm yeah, but I'm actually I'm scared. scared too. It's, you know, you know, you know, Josie's saving for it. Yeah. Of course he is. He's saving for it. Yeah, he wants that power. <laughs> I won't it's let him. <laughs> just, just ban him as soon as he gets VIP or some shit. <laughs> No, when, I, when, I, when he gets VIP, no, I get no VIP. Yeah, and and, oh. VIP, and VIP gets a badge. Yeah, oh. yeah. Uh, you need a hundred thousand points, I think. I, I forgot what, uh, what the fuck that I set it up to, but you need something around the signs it's to get VIP. Yeah. I doubt he yeah. was ambushed. I'm pretty sure the culprit got Rioma by. Uh, whoops! Don't pay attention to little old me. I'm just talking to myself. What is he thinking about? When you talk to yourself, pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. What? Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so oh. disgusting you'll laugh. Oh, that's Shokugeki reference. Oh. So we all agree Rihanna was <laughs> What the, what the fuck, that? Kotaka? <laughs> uh, oh, man. That's, that's interesting, though. I mean, okay, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna talk oh about man, it. 99k left, I guess. Let's go, Nibble Cloud. Save for it. <laughs> Let's go. 95k for me. That sink could have held enough water to do it for sure. Wait, so with streamer mute, are you just gonna right, be I'm muted? 
The crime scene is Ryoko's well, fucking research lab. Yeah, but uh, please don't do it here, because... Uh, I mean, I I'm gonna deny it here, because I'm, I'm doing a story-related thing. So, no. I mean, I'm here, so if, even if I mute you... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No. Your, I, I take over your stream. <laughs> no, don't. No. <laughs> I'm denying that. <laughs> I mean, I would still be able it's to hear you on call, but they won't. <laughs> yeah. Although, perhaps it's more accurate to say uh -oh, there's funny. a shortcut. Was there a shortcut? Shortcut. What shortcut between Ryoma's lab and the gym did the culprit use? Uh Window. Wait, what? When you when you voice Shuichi, it always sounds like there. snake. Commander. The I'm sorry, Commander. Commander. I couldn't sneak lab. in. They were alerted by the sound of my thick ass cheeks. <laughs> oh man! Were, no, the, the line was they were alerted by the sound. Of I don't know. The like sound. ever, ever, ever since, ever, ever since chapter one, and that, that's basically just how I do his voice yeah. every single time. They were alerted by the clap of my thick ass cheeks. <laughs> I mean, that's how we say. Like, look, did you just hear how we said it? None of the windows in this school open. It's open. Commander, I'm sorry. The one in <laughs> see, let's see, let's see, like that. I'm just doing it as how he does it. In Ryoma's lab. And on top of that, the window faced the pool. You could see the, the gym pool. straight across. Straight across. Yeah, just the way the yeah. corner. Think the culprit dropped Ryoma's body into the pool area from the lab window? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Looks so messed up. Why did I find that fucking funny? Yay! How's that? Mission complete. It's like the uh, edited version of the Lion King. Some things we discussed earlier. So was live and then the side, Even if one used the ladder. Simba. Yeah. That's right. I apologize. I must go on a journey to reflect on this. Please though, please. please we though. keep hitting dead ends since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. <laughs> well, that didn't really give us any info about the crime. Oh. Not necessarily. We learned a lot of important information. Now that I'm sure that the scene of the crime was Ryoma's lab, that case, the case is becoming clearer. To determine how the body got from the crime scene to where it was found. I have to figure out how to get from the third floor window to the gym. Alright then. I have to analyze the possible methods and find the most likely. The way this is transitioning, I think this is gonna be a new game, a uh, new game mode. I don't know why. Yeah, there we go. Psych taxi. Okay, so this is apparently this is where I'm going to be finding the next uh, yeah, Monokuma. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's what I received from the guy. So I guess it is. It's been accurate so far. So yeah. Okay, question. Ha, how how I eat more, bro? The cl. Okay. What? How? How I more the clone and into a gend. It's the. Okay. Yes. It's a sec. Oh, it's on the second road. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take. I'll take note of that. Oh wait, I wasn't reading. Fuck. All right. That's uh, fine. You know how to play this. Let's see. So basically, it's a surfer. Just like the surfer yeah, thing. Yeah, but easier, actually. I can't do it. I fucking suffered through that. Yeah, I know. Uh, Acceleration. Okay. I was there. <laughs> yeah, you were there. <laughs> Carve movement as mouse. What the fuck? How, how's a mouse? Accelerate. No, I mean, like, like mouse movement, apparently. So you can use A and D, too. It's head. What the fuck? Oh, I like this place. Hotline Miami. You can use uh, A and D too. Yeah. So second road, it's right here. Okay, cool. Uh, and you can use your... You, I, I think you have a boost, right? Oh, I'll cut it You have a boost. I, I'm pretty sure you have a boost. Wait, how do I use the boost? Uh, right click, also... maybe? Nah, I slow down. Okay. 
F3 was the focus. That's where you uh, slow down time and do some Tokyo drifting. I'm going to play this innocently. So basically, I, I think I'm just going to run over that, that Monokuma, huh? Yep. Is it just me or is the car pretty slow? Yeah, I'm not really I'm going ham because I'm, I'm being cautious. I really need to find where that Monokuma is. You have limited time. Oh, fuck. Also, also you, it's pretty obvious when you see it. But you might miss it, still. So. Wait, am I done? But... Oh, it's phase one out of three. Yeah. Okay. Thinking time. The body was brought from where? Uh, uh, l l oh, wait, wait, wait. How do I choose? Wait, how do I choose? Wait, what the fuck? You, my God, oh, never I mind. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, okay. I, I, I take the route. I take the route. Sorry. Yeah. Like you were already there, and then you swerved right. I was so confused. Wait, because I, I was, I was. Oh, okay, okay. I run over this. Damn, run over that hoe. Hell yeah. No, you ran over the other hoe. You got her in your car. Hell yeah. Okay, second road. Question, question. Give me Godard. Okay. Alright, vroom vroom, let's go. Give me Godard. That song annoyed me to hell when I first watched that. <laughs> but it, but once again, it makes sense because you know, um, yeah. he he would always like. Uh, the funny thing is, that's not even the most annoying song in that anything. <laughs> Sold up on it. <laughs> you murdered. You yes, I murdered. I, I need to I need to undergo trial now because I murdered that yes, bitch. Yes, indeed. You are the blackened. I am the blackened. Also, the billboards are uh, the CG art. Yeah, that's cool. It's Ooh, OC though. Not bad. What could I? Oh, I missed it. Fucking okay. Never that's, mind. You, you didn't I thought miss I missed it. it. It's already complete. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought I missed it. The Bonnie was brought from the gym to where? Uh, gym window. Gym door, no, impossible. Bokuno! Yeah! I got another bitch in my side! Oh, here it comes! Okay, here it comes apparently. Okay, right. So. Second road, huh? Second road. Second road, second road. Basically in the middle. Okay. Um, is that what he means by second road? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it is. I was, I was assuming it was like the second part of the game, but okay. Oh, we, oh wait, no, never mind. I mean, he. I guess he does mean this second road. Like, yeah, the second part of the game, yeah. Yeah. Probably, probably. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I guess. See it anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'll see it. The FOV is pretty far. Watch, watch me miss it though, cause yeah. I'm a, cause I'm a fucking legend. Yeah, the hidden monokumas in in this mini game later is way harder, cause there's other cars. Oh shit! Wait, is <laughs> yeah, is that hidden. one? Wait, what's what's that? What was that? What was that, that I saw in the distance? I did not see, actually, cause my view is lower quality. Uh, yeah, what the fuck are those? Like some sort of hurdles. Or are those cars? I don't know. Oh, that is interesting. Uh, yeah, we're, it, it, we're it close to the sentence. I don't know where it is. I don't know, I'm oh trying God. to buy time because I don't know where the fuck it is. Hold on, your screen share is slowing down. Oh, there it is! I see it! I see it! I see the bitch! <laughs> oh, I'm kind of, I'm getting ya, bitch. Nah, I got it, 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 I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Anyway, chocolate, welcome. Your screen shares F um, FPS is dropping so bad for me. Oh, that's it's oh. Go okay, it's, it's it's go it's going back now. Uh, how how was it moved from the classroom window to the to the gym window? Now drive. I I just drive. Okay. Uh oh oh wait 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 oh uh, wait 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 uh from window to window, not the pool. There we go. There we go! Yay! Oh. All right, lamp window, gym window, from window to window, and basically, we use the zip line to do that shit. 
I feel like you're gonna hate this mini game too later on. Yeah, I'm gonna hate it. I mean, at least it's easier than the previous one, actually. I've got it. No, Riola's no, body not. was moved directly from his lab to the gym. As you know, it is directly. Easier. Don't yeah, it is. The body from window to window. So like for me, the registry of the controls on the previous game was so I mean, fucking scuffed for me. I played it without a controller. It was so easy. I guess. No. It was not easy, but it was no, more fun. <laughs> I ain't no controller gamer. Yeah, but. What do you, you need another way? Now, right? There's no other way to move it. I, I, around the time I don't, but right now I do. Okay. Yeah, like uh, the last time that we played, like the second game, it was a long, long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have a controller yet. Some kind of equipment. Huh? equipment. With this equipment, they can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. <laughs> I can just imagine Ryoma's body like being zipped like that. Wee! I'm so Wee! messed up. Wee! Oh, oh, wee! Uh, yeah, it's this one. Right here. There! 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 The rope found behind the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. Uh. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only Atua can reveal. <sighs> Fuck Atua. What mysterious mystery? <sighs> well, last night's preparations for the show, that rope was in the wing of the stage. It's on the wing of the stage. But the next morning, the rope had been moved backstage for some reason. Backstage! Let's it's go. a mysterious mystery. Only Atua knows the answer. <laughs> so, during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? So they did use the rope! That's how they bridged the distance between both windows. Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? Uh, Kyo does have the estimate, so... The rope is roughly 65 feet in length. Yeah, definitely. That's how definitely... That's like windows? a... That's like a... It's basically six basketball rings. So yeah, that's definitely more than enough, actually, from what I'm seeing. According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. Yeah, more than enough, actually. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. Or is it exact? Together, the sum total length yeah, yeah, it's more than enough, actually. The other is roughly 50 feet. 50 feet, I mean, which is the length, the length of like the uh the what you call this, like the the rope that you use for like the the tennis ring is around 50 feet, actually, as well. And pool is only thing between research lab and gym windows. But I think you still really do, do need allowance. So yeah, yeah, 65 is good. You bet it's long enough. <laughs> That's what she said. Come on, Mia. Wait, who said that? <laughs> Even if the rope oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. pretty hard to tie them to the windows? Both windows were too high to reach. Okay. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. No, going to think it would work. Just need one more rope. Yeah, exactly. There. Yeah, I remembered it. There was only one, though. Oh, there is. Isn't it impossible? It's impossible. And yeah, there's still one. There's still one, which is uh, where is it? Uh, tennis nut cable. There we go. This is it. This is it. Balker. Oh, yeah. The tennis net cable from Ryoma's lab could serve as a rope. How long is it? About fifty feet or so. But how do they use it? Okay. So Wait. Okay. First, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then. Culprit moved to other side and tie cable to other window. Then, after tying to each window, culprit tie rope and cable together. Yeah, yeah. That how culprit make one rope that reach both windows. Yeah. You're so knowledgeable. It, it's nothing. Gonta <laughs> use ropes a lot when looking for bugs. Wait, what? Even if they did connect the windows with a rope, they can't carry a body. What do you? What bug do you need to fucking? 
whatever. Eureka, a lot. I got it. Thomas Edison Maybe once said, is using it for mass capture. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Indeed. But in my case, yeah. it's 100% inspiration. You get it. Just tell us already. <laughs> They and your brain is 100% expiration. Like <laughs> okay. Wait. Uh. The body would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. Stop you making such dumbass there. comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. Uh, SNM again. Uh, God damn it. I hate I hate this dynamic. I absolutely hate this dynamic. So fucking bad. <laughs> um, but they also had to put the body in the piranha tank after they moved it, huh? That is not feasible with just one rope. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. Not just the rope. Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. He wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. But is there really a way to do that? Kokichi, are you hinting at something? Yeah, the, every, every single time that Shuichi actually just has his hands over his mouth. Like, he's like onto something. Huh? Like Sprite. Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. You're confusing me. You were definitely onto something. You're confusing me. It's true that the culprit needed to place the body directly into the piranha tank. But if the body were to fall, the culprit would not would have not would have not been able to retrieve it. They would only have one shot and one opportunity. No, I'm sorry. I had to do it. One it's shot at simple. it. And no second chances. No, so obviously the culprit would have wanted to put the body in the tank carefully. Meaning they would have wanted to get as close to the window as possible. The problem is how? How did they get near it? Use that voice when doing the um, Justin Roiland thing. <laughs> God dang it. Two All that we brothers. know right now is that there was a rope that connected to the windows. Somehow the culprit used uh, used that to move the body. Okay, and we're cl uh, and we're close to the window uh, themselves. To make that work, they had to have something else. What would that be? What could have they? All right, Shuichi, the stage is finally set. What? Here he goes again. Oh no! Listen up. Do a good job here, Switch. and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. <laughs> We're gonna just do it. We can finally change my characters again. Why? Why did my voice turn like that? <laughs> why did you turn Shin Yan all the fucking sudden? Shin Yan. It all starts with <laughs> you. <laughs> isn't even a southern accent. <laughs> you be the opening <laughs> act, and I'll be the main event. Okay. And then together, we're gonna save everyone. Okay. Together. Where are you going with this, Kaito? You got this. After all, you are Kaito. my sidekick. I believe okay. in you, so I'm gonna leave the rest to you. What the okay. fuck is going on? Dude, he's doing a Kaede! He's doing a Kaede! <laughs> god, I hate that pronunciation. <laughs> he's doing a Kaede, guys! Oh my god. Okay, I can do this. I will solve this mystery and show everyone the truth. This is the main event. <clears throat> Something was used with the rope to move the body between the windows. Come on, think, think. Okay, okay, actually I have nothing in my mind right now. I'm just so distracted. I'm gonna pee, hold on a minute. I'm gonna take a piss, so entertain, entertain him, Kenji. Entertain them. Luminary of the stone. I don't want to. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? What's up? How's life? Everything getting along? <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do to entertain you? ARE YOU NOT ENTERTAINED?! Okay, I'm done with... Uh, 
My head hurts. <laughs> There we go. Do a How am I supposed to do a flip? You see me. Do a flip. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Putting earphones in three, two, one, and I'm back. Okay. I actually have nothing in my mind. Okay, what else is used? What else Indeed. is used? Can I look at the clothes? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. A piece of fabric that was floating in the pool at first glance. Oh, that's it. That might be it. Cause I think. This culprit that we have here ended up using their own clothes. And being it black, it could be it could be a very very valuable clue. Okay. 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 I see. I see. Hangman's Gambit. Oh, okay, never mind. So we do have Hangman's Gambit anyway. Uh, what's this? Uh Wait, oh, one, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is spelled with seven words? Us. Uh, oh, I know what it is. You uh, already know this. You keep saying this earlier. Uh, fuck. Uh, show, the um, sh show the question so you, you might remember. Culprit, uh, what did the culprit uh, fashion to move the body between? The windows. Yeah. How how did they do it? Basically, you you've already said this a thousand times earlier. You should know this already. It's a zip line. Wait, actually, my mind is going blank. Oh no, I forgot. Uh, hold on. My brain. <laughs> my brain. <laughs> it trembles. Oh god, my head hurts. I can't voice uh, properly anymore. Wait. Uh, Hold on, that is weird. P. P. R. You're gonna run out of time. Uh. Wait. Wait, what is this? Okay. Wait, rope. Yeah, I know what it is now. Wait. Uh, I was thinking of a different thing too, sorry. <laughs> rope. Wait, what's next to this shit? I don't know what it is. Rope, w wait, rope, and now what? Rope ape or some shit? I don't know. <laughs> rope ape? <laughs> wait, what's next to this? Rope. Uh, what letter have it, haven't you used yet? Uh, A, Y. A, Y, and W. Rope way! <laughs> okay, there we go. They only started appearing like, like, like right now. Okay, rope way. There we go. I actually, I actually yeah, have. They appear, they appear when you need them to be. I actually had. I actually have no idea what a rope way is, just until now. Because I've always used the term zipline ever since. And to be honest, I know it's wrong. Thinking of zipline because it's the same amount of water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the Z? Where's the Z? <laughs> Yeah, I, I I barely sure use ropeway. God dang it. Wow, you got drain damage or something? Look at yourself, Mio. Drain damage. You need some kind of vessel to get on a ropeway. We don't have that. Can you oh, play that voice vessel. line again? Can you play that voice wait, line again? Wait, can I do? It? Yeah, you can. You can. Wow, you got drain damage or something? <laughs> I didn't even realize she actually messed that up. Yeah, it's drain damage. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> she messed up so bad that I didn't even notice. That's funny. Maybe you also have drain damage. Yeah, I also have drain. Oh, what the fuck is this? My favorite mini game. Oh, you're gonna hate this one. You're so gonna hate this one. You're gonna deduce an image. In this mode, the objective is to dig up the answer. Answer will be covered in pieces. Uh. Hmm. 
Dug up piece. Cursor okay, movement. so... Confirm image. Okay. The adjacent pieces will change color the following white, pink, yellow, white. If you do it right, you can remove all the pieces from an object. The trick is to pre predict uh, how the adjacent pieces will change. And how the pieces on the top of the of the object uh, gone. Yeah, you're you gonna hate object. this one. Oh no. Uh, the trick is don't spam. Because you're gonna mess it up. Yeah, I guess. Left click, left click to break. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, in in the same way, my dig up piece is basically for like it's like similar to white noise. So they confirm image is like my truth bullet. Yeah. Okay. You might want to practice this mini games in the um. So. Casino. So I, I don't really. Have, is this RNGs? I mean, obviously it's not, but. RNG. It's not RNG. You have to look for it. So, yeah, you, you can only destroy, uh, was it four blocks of the same color? And everything, uh, and all the blocks around uh, the blocks you destroy will change into the next color. So, if you somehow end up with um, less than four blocks, you can't break it. That's why you have to be careful. Start, just start with anything, so you can see what's under. Fuck, I got nothing. Is he... Yeah, you, you have to find the uh, specific image you want. Uh, yeah, the specific item. And it's even more annoying later on when you have to find hidden monokumas in this thing. Re oh, fuck, I'm gonna find... Yeah, you're gonna hate this one so much. A ladder. And the thing is, I'm not even sure if that's like the <laughs> correct object, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's no, that's question. fucked up. What's the question? Uh, what did a couple use to ride across the ropeway? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not the ladder, definitely. So I guess I have to find another spot. Um... Oh, this is so fucked up, actually. Okay, what's that? Brought something. Okay. What is this shit? What is that? The the the, uh, the the placement of the blocks here are kind of inconvenient. What is this fucking shit? Oh no! I already feel like I messed the shit up. I get, uh, these are the benches, right? So, oh man, I don't feel like this is this is the one. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I need to find something else. You can do it. Oh! Be careful of the colors. Do I have to, do I have to have the image like entirely uh, uncovered? You can you can, if I remember correctly, you yeah yeah you have to uncover it fully. You can break uh, blocks even under three. Oh, it was three, not four. Sorry, but um, it, it, it like you use your um time and stuff. I think oh, that's you go. Yeah, you have to break those then. Wait, I'm gonna try my best to actually. Okay, never mind. You can break that. Yeah, yeah, you, you can break it, but it, it will give you a time penalty. And you can, you can, yeah, now you can press the item, I think. Oh, fuck. oh okay, it's still not. It's annoying. Okay. It is. There this has go. to be it. Yeah. I see it. Okay, yeah, okay. This game is gonna get way more annoying later. <laughs> Man. It's the inner tube. The rubber inner tube we found floating in the pool. The inner tube? Now it finally went. It, now it finally became relevant. Dang it! I just realized what is side? the inner tube, by the way. Is that what, I was always confused because I I only. Knew I mean, it's because you're. What it's called as. Uh, oh in, uh, oh, it's it's in, in Filipino. Yeah. And I realized it's, it's called a, the inner tube because it, it is a tube. Tube of the tire. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Under the tire. It's the uh, it's, I didn't it's... I never realized that it's there's something under the tires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always just thought the tires were, were, were that, that was it. That was, was the tire. Originally tied on both <laughs> sides. I'm dumb. The culprit made a ropeway by hanging the tube from the rope connecting the windows. Yeah. And because the third floor window is higher up, gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. <laughs> it's still not my it's still my fucking brain that fucking uh, Ryoma just jumped to the other side. <laughs> like the a maniac. Made of sturdy rubber as well. It could have supported two people. The culprit used the ropes in the inner tube to construct a rudimentary ropeway and used it to move themselves and Ryoma's body Whee. from the lab to the gym. That's fun. Murder. Once through the gym, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hell yeah. I triumphantly body. hold this corpse. Yes. Either that my cousin's the watching, by the way. The Hello. Welcome. She doesn't have a Twitch that account, though. Yoko so, Yoko so. Finally, they removed the rope from the window frame and left the scene. Left the scene. Yo, this is this is this is like lady. It's it's freedom lady, but it, it, no, it's more like freedom guy. Look at the, the, all the colors and shit. It's funny. It's oxidized copper. Well, when you put it like that, it certainly sounds possible. But wow, a ropeway! <laughs> that reaction, though. You say the culprit placed their foot on the window sill. Isn't that against school rules? It would count as entering the gym, would it not? Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. God dang it. Are you guys kidding me? Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out. But standing on the sill is... Wait, who asked you last time? Good question, Kibo. Let's go. Eh? It is quite possible that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. Good, good, good call, Kibo. Let's go. No oh, shit! <laughs> I can feel the pain in that. Last you time. Put your foot in your mouth. <laughs> his foot? just unhinged his jaw and swallowed his entire leg. <laughs> Oh, bad. Cut it out. I can't write this off as a joke if you two keep freaking out about it. I'm freaking it. Freaking it. <laughs> then your little slip up is actually the truth. Uh oh, he's gonna get punished. P Pops? <laughs> uh oh, daddy's mad at you now. Yeah. Don't look at me. This is what you get for acting like a big shot all the time. Stop. Do not believe Monosuke. <laughs> huh? No more blaming each other. Oh, Sergeant. Sergeant uh, 0101. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. That's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's your cousin. Welcome. She, she made it <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, and uh, Hachi Bili uh, uh, be, uh, be Live. Uh, or believe. Sorry, I, I don't know how to say it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome. Hog. Monodam. Monodam just wants to fix his broken this family of bears. It is spelled as be live. Yeah, I, I guess it is be live. I'm but, yeah, but, but, but 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 you can't really help it but kind of say that it's probably believe. Who knows? I believe that it's not be live, but it's supposed to be believe. I, 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 don't I, even. I, I thought the spelling was believe, and you and you. No 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 yeah. no no! I wouldn't miss. That's why I read it like that. That's why I read it like yeah, that. Yeah, believe. Anyway, Monodam is the most underrated character ever. Yo, I like Monodam. Monodam is good. Monodam is great. <laughs> I can't believe B. It can't be believe or be live. Lol, I don't mind. Okay, so people actually, people actually definitely went through that uh, the first time, huh? I guess I, I got, I fell victim to it. <laughs> be live. Man, the trial was just getting fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip up? But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right How about on the money. Believe a. Yeah. So Culper really used <laughs> the No, what the fuck? 
<laughs> Believe in yourself. Let's go. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, they use the ropeway to move with the body from window to window. The body? The ropeway murder? That's some crazy ass shit. <laughs> but if the Indeed mechanism is that Mew. complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? That's not, po that's not impossible. Not necessarily. I like Kyo, man. Like Kyo, Kyo actually might end up All one must be one of my favorites here, actually. After using the ropeway. Yeah, Kyo's great. Like he's just, he's be, like he look like he's literally the most sane person I know out of everyone here, actually, also, compared to everyone. And pretty insane at the same time. I don't know. He basically he doesn't really have like a middle ground type of thing. It's either he's like on the uh, very very loose other side of things. The rope into the I want to hear him say uh, the, the middle geese step. line. <laughs> Actually, I mean I voice him. Let's see. <clears throat> What's his voice again? I see, I see. The I see, I see. From the window. That's why we found it there. Yeah. All right. With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab. Kuri Kiyo Singuji. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumbered. Why we all slumbered? Is that email? Nah, it's pretty. It's male. It has to okay. be. Because Orochimaru's voice was so female, right? The yeah. They used to commit the crime. It has it, it has that really particular male gruff. That's why. Yeah. You know. Why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? I believe okay. that was an accident. That's probably an accident. Let me let me try an doing accident? let me try doing the bell geese line with um with um Kyo's voice. <clears throat> My brain, it trembles. My brain, it <laughs> trembles. Uh, like I love Makiro. Love Makiro, of course you do. Everyone loves yes. Makiro. When the culprit was taking down the inner tube. Oh my God! I'm sorry. Look at the light. Off. Look at the light in the background. Wait, what's... I think it was a bowl of pasta. Oh my god, it does. Right? I'm, hung I'm still hungry even though man. I just ate. Oh man, I actually haven't eaten anything. I mean, hey, I've been streaming for like 5 hours and 30 minutes. I didn't even realize. 5 hours? Really? Yeah. Yeah, like I did the investigation. Voice oh, yeah. acted every single line. Because I wasn't here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I mean, to be honest, I think it would have been longer if it's with you. Because, come on. Let's face it. You, you talk a lot that's in true. between. That's true, that's true. <laughs> yeah. The reason the culprit left it in the pool is obvious. Um, wait. I don't like water. Wait, 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 wait. Why? Why? Wait, wait. What? Uh, they left the um um evidence in the pool. Uh. The uh, culprit left the evidence in the pool. Uh, 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 Oh no! Oh dang no! It, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang <laughs> it. I forgot the prompt. Wait, what's the prompt? Wait, what? Why, why did the... he leave the um, evidence in the pool? Yeah, why? There was no time. It was nighttime. They didn't notice it. Wait, what? Why wouldn't he notice it? Is it because it was nighttime? Uh, nighttime? Question mark? That's it. Yeah, I guess. Because of the rules. Even if they wanted to get it, they couldn't. Because this took place at night time. Yeah. I see. They couldn't get the inner tube because swimming is prohibited at night time. Swimming. But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? Oh, this chapter is so dragged out. It's painfully dragged out. But hey, it's dang yeah, rough. Yeah, it is. The water level in that pool is so low. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what my thoughts are later after Even we finally one tried find to out who it is. The inner tube using the rope. Forgot about the nighttime rules. I have that. I have that in my mind the entire time, actually. Well, not with this one because I, I'm fucking hungry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Even if inner tube was closer to pool edge, water's still too low to drag tube in. Sounds like a lot of work. I can see why they just left there. Yeah, it would take too long. And they would have been busted if someone saw them. Hell yeah! Is it just weird to be or is it BGM or weird in the voices? I think you said that the last time, and I I did tell you that I actually set the voice um, volume significantly higher than uh, than a BGM, and I don't know how to fix it. 
Oh my god. Is it is the uh, VGM like at the lowest setting already? I think so. Or maybe three oh bars. God. Maybe three bars. Okay, okay. And, and that should be fairly low, right? Maybe I uh, maybe I'll actually have to set it lower. I don't know. Let me tell you, this, in this game is a real fucking amateur. Yeah. No, actually. Save for that one mistake. This was the perfect crime. If Maki had never met up with Ryoma at nighttime, it might have been the end for us. Oh my god. I still don't know if Maki is telling the truth or not. My god, Kokichi. Shut up. Personally, exactly. I find this culprit <laughs> frighteningly thorough. Shut up. Such a bold, beautiful plan. Such a bold, beautiful plan. Bro. Respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. Yeah, that's like the one thing. Like, if something has been pulled off so very, very well, Kokichi that you just... The aesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> you basically just really can't help but respect that person, no matter how fucked up they are, actually. Like, we, we went through that, you know, with One Piece villains, basically. Respect the thought, at least. Don't respect the culprit. Yeah, and, and, you know, that's like basically we've been, at, you know, you know, Asalad basically on the. Yeah, Asalad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he he's fucked up. Like you, you we've seen the shit that he does with but villagers also, and shit. Respect. But yeah, you, you all you gotta do is respect them, but that's it. Only there. No, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial in solving this case. We're so close. We're just one step away from the truth. Now. We just need to figure out who the culprit is. But of course, yeah. it would be pointless to unravel this the mystery. Peachy sounded like a cat. So, who is it? Hmm. Looks like it's time for me to start the main event. Okay. So my <laughs> oh, here we go again. Right now, so I'll let him oh, take this what? fucking guy. Kaito, what the fuck are you doing? Hmm? Ah, He's basically okay. doing an Usopp. <laughs> You're just pushing everything uh, on yes. to Shuichi because you don't know yourself. I supported it, Luffy. Go beat up the villain. That was my <laughs> plan all along. Do you want to know who the is? He's like trying to do a Kinyamon. <laughs> you can't. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Kin Kinyamon was not aware. Kin Kinyamon didn't yeah. mean for that to happen. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't aware. But, and, and here we have him being very fully aware, so yeah. Yes. Wait, I actually still don't know. Who could it be? Really? Okay. Hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? I am hesitating. Cause my br my brain is flying all over the place. Your brain is? Come on, man. There's no need for that. Like what what is said, what is your brain? Psychic. What's happening to your brain? <laughs> it's going all over the place. Any mistakes my it psychic trembles. makes. <laughs> so use those it skills trembles. of yours I Fuck believe you. in <laughs> to shove the truth down their throats. Oh, uh, I wanna watch you season two now. Believe in my detective <laughs> skills? That's right! I'm gonna leave it all to you, Shuichi! Alright, good luck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh no! Oh man, I'm a dumbass. Dude, dude, I want to do an MC switch. That's why. I want to do an MC switch. I'm kidding. Pick yourself. <laughs> pick myself. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, actually, no. I'm, I'm just dumb. I did pick that, but ugh. Uh, I, I, my, I am so airheaded right now. I actually don't even know. Oh my god. Wait, what, wait, wait. What the fuck is it? What, what the fuck is it moving? Uh That's so funny. Ah, yes, it was Rantaro. For giving me a headache. I mean, I already have a headache. <laughs> Your brain? Your brain is? <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it got me there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wait. I mean... Is it actually you? Oh man, no, no. I'm such a dumbass. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm such I, a dumbass. Go read, what, uh, go, go read what Tokichi said. I missed it. Wait, between Miu and uh, and Kirumi's? Is that what he said? Wait, wait, what did he say? 
Think of the pool. Yeah. Okay, okay. Think of the pool. Think of your friends. What? <laughs> you can do this. You can do this. <sighs> Think of the evidence left on the pool. It's a black cloth. Okay. What does that tell us? What's black cloth? No, that's like okay, chair. What's black cloth? I mean, is it Suichi? I'm kidding. Alright. Dude. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess it. Uh, huh. One last try, let's go. One last try. You can do this, come on. Oh wait, no, there's two more tries, okay. Yeah, two more tries. Uh. Forty-seven seconds, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's not black. Is it really actually Maki? Rocky, your brain trembles! Oh my god, this is actually painful to watch. <laughs> Alright, one last try, let's go. Dare datte! Dare datte! Ksoga! I think when I first played this, I hesitated because I didn't want that character. I didn't want to accuse that character, but I already knew who it was. Wait, man, everything that I've and done so far, I haven't been this. following. I've noticed. <laughs> because your brain... <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Because my brain trembles. Oh, uh, fucking hell. Every Dragon Rampa game ever. Yeah, I mean, it's not as bad as, um... Uh, figuring out who the fuck killed Nagito. <laughs> Cause that was God. just bullshit. Uh, fucking hell. Dude, that was a fucking doozy. That, that, that's like some... That's that straight up like geometry and shit. He used his luck. Uh, nah, that, that was too fucking bullshit, bro. The rope. Dare the cat. Actually, is it her? Ooh. I think I have one more try. I uh, like I yeah, could mess us up. You have one more try. I mean, you can save. <laughs> you can technically save right now. Technically. <laughs> you actually will. Okay. I am. Uh, <sighs> really though? Cause. Uh, Oh man. Really? Good luck. Oh no! Oh no! I'm going to cry. <laughs> what the fuck? It has to be you! Man! <laughs> maybe, maybe also, you know what? Not gonna lie. I still have to confirm. I have, I have been dodging her for quite some time. Prime suspect. So, yeah, I guess. I guess, yeah, maybe I have. About about the. Uh, I have been subconsciously. I have been subconsciously trying to avoid her. 
I guess at the same time we got the the five minute thing. Was it? Was it that? Yeah, it was around the five five minute thing around nine p.m. or something. When when you were looking out for um who was trying to steer, um the thing, it was yeah it was Kirui. She was like, she. I think the line was, but can we even believe Maki's testimony? But yeah. Here's the thing. You simp. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, come on, man. She's great. Okay, you can't really blame me. But in the same time, so I'm guessing. Did, did fucking. I mean, the trial's not done yet. There might still be a last-minute twist. <laughs> it might have been Shuichi. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He he uh, he used this fucking I had got. I had Fuck. Okay. I'll, I'll stop talking. I'll stop. I'll stop talking. Okay, what, what were you gonna say? He used this Ahoge for what? Ahoge to like for, strangle for... strangle him or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say he used this Ahoge to uh, ride down the uh, rope. What? Work. Kirumi? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that image in my head. So Kirumi is the culprit. That is not that yet voice. a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. Is this true, Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. Well, she confirms it. So that statement alone. Choice? If you do believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. It's a nice pose. <sighs> this is painful for me, man. But I don't know why, every time I just really remember I Kirumi... I remember. The crime was committed at night. I remember uh, Peko. No I remember her. They're kind of like the same in, in, in a way, right? Because once again, they don't really have any. Uh, you know, she doesn't really have any like personal things. Do you think you would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. That someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. Oh, she's actually holding her ground. This is scary. She and Ryoma could have totally shared an inner tube. We all could have, except perhaps Gonta. Okay, okay, right, right. Okay, I need to pay attention. I'm not the culprit. Of course, it's not. I'm not the culprit. The crime was committed at night time. And you have no alibi, do you? An alibi for nighttime? Wait, hold on. What's alibis for yesterday, Gana? Suichi, Kibo, Kiyo, Tsumugi, Tanko were forced to gather in the ultimate lab. Okay, blah blah blah. Basically, it's insect gathering. Um, Kokichi was in the ultimate entomologist's lab. He was, uh, uh Kirumi 9, 10 p.m. So, 10 p.m. Wait, nighttime begins at around 10 p.m., right? And from that time, Kokichi is free. And then 11 p.m. basically can go to Kirumi's time. And then we got Kirumi was in the gym until uh, a little bit before 9 p.m. with Himiko and Anju. From 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. she was with Kokichi. And she was in the gym alone for 5 minutes. Okay, so basically this is it. This is what we're going to be using. Okay, my mind's, my mind's straight again. Oh wait, no. Fuck. I was using the... Wait, can I, can I agree on that? Can I agree on that? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. You have one like heart. Like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. No, it's not the case. That could have been done by anyone. Kirumi is thin and has a nice body. <laughs> she and Ryoma could have totally <laughs> shared it. Hey, who was that? <laughs> we all I wonder who that was. Probably me. <laughs> okay. I always I like reading the white noises. The How suspicious! The crime that was, was committed definitely on you. And you have no alibi, do you? An alibi yeah, for night an alibi. I believe most of us do not have one. She I think it's us. Oh, not really. F. Well, I died. Oh yeah, I mean, that's true. I was wrong! I was wrong! Ah, oh, pain. I died. 
Let's load. Reload. Reload. <laughs> Reloading. Commencing reload. All right. I guess I guess I really do actually have to agree with uh, Mio. I'm gonna uh, agree with Mio because there uh, because we do have evidence and uh, that's that. So this is quite f this is uh, quite farther away actually, but it's fine. I mean, actually no, not. It's like the choice. Watch me take the wrong choice. Yeah, we we saved to the point that where we fucking messed up. That's painful. <laughs> I really didn't want it to be you, my dear. I really didn't. It has to be you. Shut up. <laughs> There's one more thing I still have to confirm. Me? What? Oh. That is I seriously. Oh, is this true, man. Kurumi? Sep, I don't care. I don't care if people call me a sep. Like, come on. If that is the case, then I will have the wrong shot. If you do believe it is me, I will refute your accusations with all my might. For nice pose. Here we go. Here we go. Good thing I don't sip for anyone. You're right. Shut up. <laughs> the crime was committed at night time. And you have no All right, here we go. So I guess I'm gonna have to agree with for night time? I believe most of us do not have one. I simp Monokuma. I have evidence. <laughs> You're the culprit. Wait, what? Oof. Wait, isn't that? Wait, isn't that proof? Maybe you used the wrong bullet. I don't know. Wait, wait. What bullet did I use? Wait, what bullet did I use, guys? Wait, did I actually I use the right bullet? Did. See, I, I actually, see. I didn't even notice. Actually, which bullet did I use? I didn't see the bullet. Oh no! Wait, what bullet did I fucking use? Hold on, hold on. Uh, how do I, how do, I, how do I? Yeah, wait but over? maybe, maybe just dying here would be faster than reloading. I guess. Because I think it resets you in the same spot anyway. I mean, you won't get as many mono coins, but. Is this oh, I'm, okay. So I guess, I guess that's really wrong, huh? We can't let it end here. Okay, okay. So apparently that's not. So yeah, but according to Shuichi, there is a hole in her statement. So. I of course am not the culprit. Okay, Monokuma file. It's a make and greet. The crime was committed at night time. Maki alone. Wait, hold on. I I, I do want to read the clues again. Maki alone was standing in front of the guard of uh, uh, lab last night. He stayed in her dorm only during night time. Oh, I think I know now. I think I know. I, I think I know what it is now. Still not sure though. Last night she stayed in her dorm room. Oh no! Fuck. That was totally unnecessary. That's true. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to Okay. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. Uh that could have been done by anyone. Kiwumi is thin and has a nice body. She and Ryoma could have totally <laughs> shared an inner tube. We all could have, except perhaps Gonta. Right before, Shuichi. So it's all okay. so I'm doubting what I said earlier now. Not sure again. <laughs> I am totally not sure. Shuichi and the others were forced to participate in. And, uh, okay. Wait. Why is the Angie. why is this word blocked in your chat? Oh, what is it? I mean, you're the one that blocked it, apparently, so I'm confused. I blocked it, wait, I mean, can you can you send it on Discord? What one did I block? Uh, in mod actions, uh... Hold on, I can't see your name in Discord. Uh, send it on our <sighs> chat, I guess. Did I ban that? In mod actions, it says added as a block term by Ryukenisama. Really? That shouldn't be. 
don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. That's weird, yeah. Okay. Ah, it's not the insect meat and great. To force Karuma to implicate itself as logic itself. I, of course, am not the culprit. The crime was I fucking clicked the wrong tiger. And you have no alibi, do you? So we're talking about alibis. Oh, wh what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, witnessing Ryoma. Ryoma was uh, around 8 p.m. I believe most of us do not have one. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. Sure. Kirumi is thin and has a nice body. So am I. She and Ryoma could have totally shared an inner tube. We all could have, except perhaps Gonta. Oh. Hey, thank you, thank you, Sergeant. Thank, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, thank you. Hold on. Is that Chinese for goodbye? Well, I'm <laughs> assuming it is, because um, she's been studying Chinese recently. Really? That's cool. I, of course, am not the culprit. I, of course, am not the culprit. The crime was committed at night time. Yeah, that's true. And you have no alibi, do you? Yeah. An alibi for night time? I believe most of us do not have one. Sure. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. What evidence is there? Fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex Maybe I actually do have to agree. Like I was thinking to that off. too. Yeah. That's Skilled enough? Uh, doesn't really seem like it. Anyone can... Okay. Okay. Totally How's total? I don't know how relevant is that. Except perhaps Gonta. So, I probably. Maybe I have to agree with Mio. I don't know. I yeah, could. I, was thinking the uh, same, but yeah. I don't know what bullet to use. I uh, prob probably the 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 um basically. Uh, the uh, testament. The one with Gonta? Uh, Gonta and yeah, I think. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll use that. Cause uh, yeah, uh, that, that 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 is a witness. Basic basically, um, me um, found um found him alive around seven thirty. Thirty minutes before. I believe most of us do not have him. I have evidence that proves you're. <laughs> Oh, apparently not. Ah, uh, uh, man. So it's not. Oh, ah. Okay. I don't know what it is. Yeah, we're only talking about alibis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like it, but uh. Pin on Mew's collar. So it's not me. I was wrong. Have you seen the pin on Mew's collar? I've never noticed that. I, of course, am not the culprit. I haven't. The crime was committed at night time. Um, later when we zoom in on her. Alibis yeah. for yesterday. Monokuma final. An alibi for night time? Yeah, me insect mean and green. I believe uh, most of us do not have Yeah, yeah, the me insect meet and greet to um battle against most of us do not have alibis, because that's an alibi. They were all there. But the thing is uh, Maybe? Oh no no, I don't know. I I, I I went with this, which is pretty much a revised version of that one. Yeah, that's so I true. felt I felt like it was wrong. It's gotta be wrong anyway, so. Maki alone. She did say that oh yeah, this could be leverage. Cause Maybe. she did says most of us don't have, do you? But Maki specifically has an alibi. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. I have evidence okay, okay. Okay. Look at her pin on her collar. Oh, dang it. I did it too. Dang it. She has a speaking line later, I guess. I, of course, am not the culprit. The crime was committed. Do you? An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not. Oh, it's not. Oh, man. Wait, did I even select the, 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 the right troop bullet, actually? 
Uh, you can check, I think. Okay, I did. Well, for me, but no, it's not. It's not out. Damn. Okay. Uh, let's try the others. Uh, what else do we have? Alibis for yesterday. Maybe it is the insect meet and greet. Yeah, maybe it is the insect meet and greet. Yeah. I mean, okay. Let's read it again properly. So nighttime. Okay. Here we go. Suichi and the others were forced to participate in an insect meeting grid until. Yeah. Okay. Okay. After eleven p.m. So yeah, I think. It yeah, is. yeah. Yeah. I think it, it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's check out the others. Uh, the, these are the time intervals. Eight fifty-five. It's them. And then nine to eleven. It's them. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And, okay. And all of these people have alibis then. Yeah. 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 Cool. 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 I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay. We're not. We're not gonna be. I of course am not the culprit. The crime was committed at night time. And you have no Wait, where, where is that though? An alibi for night time? There we go. I believe most of us do not have one. Wait, no it's not? Yep. Uh, maybe I'm targeting something wrong. Uh, it's not. Uh, this is hard. Shit. Maybe uh. we have to agree with Miu with, um, um... Alibis for a night time? Maybe. That's right, that's right. Wait, alibi wait, alibis I mean insect meet and greet. Insect meet and greet, the alibis for nighttime, because it's mentioned that um Kirumi had five minutes alone in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe most of us do not have one. That's what I think. That's insect meet and greet, by the way. Oh wait, you want me to go with uh al uh alibi yesterday? Because okay. it mentioned there that Kirumi was alone in the gym at, uh, for five minutes. I yeah, 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 yeah. It does. Yeah, alibis for yesterday. I mean. committed at night time. And you have no alibi, do you? Oh my God! Please, game. <laughs> oh my please. God. Please. Most of us do not have one. Uh, please let me you save the day. No, <laughs> we're fucked. Okay, shit. Shit. Okay, uh, uh, let's read the entirety of it again. Let's see what, yeah. what really, what's really up. It's gonna be so <laughs> obvious, isn't it? <laughs> Probably. We're doing this very surface level. This is not very Dude, good at all. I forgot this trial so bad. Oh, we already, oh, yeah, used, we already, that already used that? Okay, I didn't even notice. I saw we used um, witnessing Ryoma we earlier, can't let it end here. but I guess used it before that, and I didn't notice. Okay. All right, let's pay attention. Monokuma file. I of course am not. It has to be one of the last three. Yeah, probably then. Because I think we've tried almost every single one. There's only one that I haven't used. I guess it's Monokuma file. I have not used Monokuma file. Oh, let me read the one of us. I mean, it's basically stating that. Does it have anything with. Um, hold on. Uh, discovered in the gym. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, uh, that's only it. It doesn't really tell us anything. Not have one. Uh, I have evidence that proves you're the c culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. This. Preposterous. Oh that fuck. Could have been done by we, 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 maybe we need to agree with um, with Maki. Nice okay, then let's see what we can agree with her. What, so basically, the, what's the, what's the comp complex mechanism, I think. What's the bullets? It's Monokuma it's, file two. It's insect meat and greed. It's uh. What's like? Wait, no, no. Uh, it was Mew. Wait. I forgot actually. Yeah, elements for yesterday. Elements for yesterday. Maki alone. Insect Maki meeting alone. Green, Monokuma file two. What's the fifth one? Hey, what is actually the fifth one? I actually forgot. Uh, let's check a bit. She and Ryoma could have totally shared. Witnessing Ryoma. Ryoma. Witnessing Ryoma. Maki alone. Okay. Uh. Huh. 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 
Oh yeah. Okay, I, I know it. I know what it is now. I know what it is now. He was um he was um alibis for me yesterday, uh, and agree with Maki. That's what it is. Okay, let me let me see why though first. Um. Because because Maki said only you could have done it, and Kirumi's the only one in the gym. I, again, I'm going back to the gym thing. Oh yeah 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 right. For five minutes. Yeah yeah. That's yeah. Yeah right. Yeah yeah. Kirumi was uh, uh was in the gym until a little before 9 p.m. Uh, 9 p.m. She was with Kokichi. She was alone in the gym alone for around five minutes. Okay. That's why Maki yeah. said you're the only one Except who could have done it. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. To be honest, backseating is all on, but you know, I'm allowing it at this time because I'm fucked. Because <laughs> your brain is trembles. My brain trembles, <laughs> exactly. Okay. An alibi for nighttime? I just keep the uh, backseating in moderation because. Yeah, yeah. I'm here and I have already played the game. <laughs> do you think we would fall for such nonsense? And even him to help. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Wait, no, is it that? Wait, is it that? It's, it's this! Oh, it's gonna be- it could be anyone! Wait, no, I- It's confused more than Kirumi's statement with Maki's first. Okay, okay. The, it was Kirumi, it was Kirumi's Oh, it was Kirumi, statement. okay, okay. Never mind. Anyone could have done that, but no, Anyone could have done it, no, no, it, it was only- it was only her. Okay, there we go. statement with Maki, sorry. That was my fault. You have no do you? For I believe most of us do not have one. Stutter is not convincing. The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. <laughs> that could have been done it's by fine, anyone. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Wait, it's not. Oh wait, what? Wait, what? You missed. <laughs> wait, how did I miss? Wait, how? Wait, what? There was a white noise up front? Okay. Not like the white text, you shot the white text. Oh, yeah, I saw. Oh, yeah, I missed. I didn't even notice. Where was I aiming? Yeah, you hit pretty far. Also, my stream is lagging. An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not have one. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Don't worry, Rocky. You're gonna be able to sleep uh, peacefully after after the stream. Oh, okay, that's why. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. My God. There we go. There we go. The screen share is lagging so bad. Oh, I was aiming for the V head. Oh, and I missed. Okay, yeah, yeah. No. Reload. Yeah, I guess it is quite obvious, but ugh. yeah, we're the preparations in the gym. In any case, I don't think I will. I was in the right direction. I just didn't consider. I just didn't consider all the um weak points. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, we were really fixated with the first two Before earlier. The could put the body I need more candy. Several steps needed to be taken, like tying the rope to the gym window. And putting a partition in the piranha tank. That's right. We almost I mean, the, gym from the thing is, I was actually already quite sus with her. To begin with, because once again, like, from the very start of the investigation, I really wanted to, like, throw in there already that the people that are definitely going to be involved with this shit is definitely who are at least involved with the, you magic know, with, show, yeah. with the magic show. And I was in denial. I was like, nah. Kirumi wouldn't do that, right? We're not gonna get like another Peko Pekoyama situation, right? Where like the one that is like doesn't really have a will of her own would just like fucking I mean, hey, kill at people. Least she's not the one. She's not part of the group you want to uh, hang out with. <laughs> that's tr <laughs> that's true, I guess. It's all avoiding the truth. I'm not avoiding the truth. I like I'm literally facing it already right now. I'm I'm just talking about how I confronted it, you know. You know it to be true. <laughs> could only have been done when you can't handle the truth. The gym before I can't handle the truth. I need I need an MC switch so I can change. You can't accuse your blocked word. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that word blocked? I'm so murder, confused. But enough time to Man. Save. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame. And put the paint. This is my selfless devotion. Here we go. Oh shit. 
While I do understand where you Look at her doing a JoJo pose. Sure you this is just uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a part of your petty imagination. An empty theory created from nihilism. Oh wow. That's... Yeah, I don't know if that word is blocked. It shouldn't be. <laughs> Okay, here if we go. Only the rope and partition. What the fuck? I suppose five minutes might be enough. What? What? Hold on. Hold on. Wait, no, they could. However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. When you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, your entire case falls apart. That's wrong. So what about you, Gilio? What do you mean by crux of the argument? How is it just a guess? What is the word uh, on the meat? Shut now, up. Way, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no evidence keep... to indicate this had happened. What? That's right. In other words, wait, wait, wait. just a guess, and then you add assumptions and hearsay to that guess. Oh my god! It is nothing more than deception. Wait, hold on. Wait, whoa, what, what, what is that? You're, you're slicing them wrong, because you can slice them in one hit instead of spamming it. Oh. Well, whatever. Wait, hold on. It, it gives you more time if you slice. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me think though. Now, with that there we go. Rope, there we go. Very good. The gym window from the third floor window. Oh, you missed one. <laughs> there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. Wrong. Wait, so. Words, it is just a guess. See, Wait, there we go. One hit. Assumptions and hearsay to that guess. Yep. It is nothing more than deception. Okay, okay. so basic. <laughs> 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 okay, 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 hold on. So My we're God. talking about evidence, right? Yeah. I guess it's a black piece of cloth. Okay. I am referring to the rope. Now, with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no nice. evidence to indicate this had happened. Wait. Oh. Wait, what? I pr oh, okay, that's true. Oh, no. That's true, that's true, that's true. Okay, to be fair. I am referring to the rope. Okay, okay. Now with that rope. Scratch sink. Tennis cable. It is Tennis possible cable. to reach the gym window. Alamo so yesterday. Oh, okay, it's this one. Okay. Yeah, there is, there is. There we go. That's one. There we go. Okay. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. I I wasn't paying attention with my uh my bullets. Well whatever you want. Truth swords. <laughs> Truth swords. Truth blades. Were those scratches from when the rope was tied to the window frame? Let me grab my Just sword. Tying the rope to the frame. <laughs> He's gonna grab his Vulcan. Yeah. <gasps> I'm, I'm, I'm putting it on my shoulder like a Yankee. Must have been weighed down significantly. The oh my! Didn't break, <laughs> but stopped. they were left with distinct <laughs> marks. Oh my kura! scratches are proof that you used Man, the rope to like Kason actually to trying to be a Yankee is so freaking hilarious. Actually, yeah, I love how it. how can how can someone be a Yankee and 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 a fucking very kawaii idol in the same time? Oh, how? What's wrong, Kirumi? Kason makes it uh, possible. Kimiko, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's Kimiko wrong? from Skate hey, Dance. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hell yeah, she could probably do it. Kirumi, quiet, cause, cause that's what happened. Please answer us, Kirumi. Shuichi is doing this for your sake. Uh, well, I guess. If it is for my sake, yeah. Then it would be much easier to forfeit. But I cannot allow that because I must do this for everyone. Oh, okay. For everyone. I have a duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone and protect them. Okay. So I refuse to surrender. They won't forgive me if I do. So did she get her own motive? Her response seems genuine. So what did she mean by everyone? Is she doing this for all our sakes? A am I wrong? Is Kirumi innocent? No, I I'm wrong again. Hey. Kirumi, who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Yeah, who? Kaito. I've just finally being useful. Us. Okay. <laughs> when you said everyone, felt like you were talking about us. It felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Someone who isn't here. Yeah. 
someone outside of the academy? Hey, do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? Like, what is that? Like, I'm more curious about what the motive, motive video, video, just in case she did see it. Like, what the fuck? Is it, what what the fuck is that? I have danger, a lot of thoughts. So you committed murder, <laughs> right? Is that true? I am so sorry for making such a mess. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Unnecessary? What the fuck? You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. It is all of you, of course. Really? Do you swear to a tour? Yes, really. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. Ah, <laughs> I do not care what becomes of me, but I will not allow any of you to die. Because I made a promise to Kaede. She mm -hmm. wished for all of us to escape together. Mm -hmm. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. So please believe me. You have to. Kirumi. Um... Are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Maybe it's someone else. Let me out! Let me out! Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? <laughs> How rude. Gota just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. That's what everyone says. Kirumi's breakfasts were the best. She always treated us so well. She really hey, is how like you believe. a mom. Welcome back. I kind of felt like I'm back now. <laughs> Perhaps it was after she gained our wait, what the, how did you read that? Chance to <laughs> oh, oh wait, no, my fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I kind of left, but I'm back now. Oh shit, there yeah. we go. <laughs> I fucking, I fucking, I, 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 re I replaced F with an with with an L. <laughs> yeah. <you're laughs> you really are screwed up. <laughs> From head to toe, even through your clothes, I can tell. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. They could have uh, pretended to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. I mean, you're... You're one of them, too. You're one of them, too. You Come on. We can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please. Maybe suspecting Kirumi is Chapter wrong. two. <laughs> there are layers of... There are three layers of fucking convoluted shit here. God damn it. Yeah, maybe we should think it over. No, 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 yeah. Shuichi, Shuichi. No. I can't wait till we uh. Um... Promise. There we go, Shuichi. Those... I knew it. I knew it. I knew what you'd do. Can't wait till we rate those uh. Trials I made a promise out. to seek the <laughs> truth. I made a promise to Kaede. So Kaede. I'm not turning back now. Hell yeah, let's go. They're scared. They're scared that they have to accuse one of their friends of murder. So it's up to me. I have to do it. I'll use my detective work to prove it. So you still believe I am the culprit? But there is no evidence to indicate that I am- No, there is. There is. I have proof that you're the culprit. I realized it when we determined that the rope weight was used to move the body. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift rope weight, then the final clue falls into place. Was that a pun? The final clue? The damning evidence <laughs> that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? Because we're all Shuichi gonna fucking to die! Because we're all gonna die! <laughs> I'm doing this because I want to protect everyone. Shuichi... Then you're wrong! Your deduction is all wrong! Well, I guess what really separate, separates them from Peko is that, yeah, Kirumi actually does have a will of her own here because she wants to protect someone from the outside. 
also a um, controversial, controversial uh, opinion. I know the truth. Yeah. Paco was kind of dumb with that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, that is very controversial <laughs> indeed. I have no comment on that. I like her too, but come on. <laughs> All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. Oh. Okay, okay, Kirumi, okay. I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous brat. You can't- Brat Asu! <laughs> I'm going to present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. And it's basically, where is it? There it is. Yeah, no, 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 look at the pigmentation. It is, it is that. Yeah, also different lighting too. Yeah. This is it! This is it! This I've been wanting it. to use this freaking evidence ever since from the start! But no, it just won't let me, goddammit! Everyone kept laughing at me when I kept presenting it at the trial. Now it's actually useful. Goddamn! Goddamn! Oh, man. <laughs> it's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. <laughs> it's actually you! It's actually you! <laughs> it's been bothering me for a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, oh man. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it. Oh entirely. man. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. Oh man. Thank you for the hydrate. I will we'll hydrate. Hey, that is thanks for the hydrate. The I don't. Puzzle. Okay. <sighs> because nice. like the inner tube, I, I don't have water with me. I only have oil. Should I drink the oil? Of. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Because it's night time. Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. But how would you control it? If it kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, the culprit could have used their hands for friction. Ooh, that's painful. No. No, that's painful. Yeah, so what? Oh yeah, right, she wears gloves. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. Oh, okay. Hear me. Why are you becoming increasingly erratic? Gloves. <laughs> there is such absolute That's beauty in too? trying to fight against Loves the and team. Leon. <laughs> baka, 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 baka. <laughs> stupid! 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 That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. Then let me see your hands. No, it's not just trash. It's proof that <laughs> let me see the man. <laughs> Finding out how the black fabric fits into this, uh, to this is the key to everything. I'll make it all clear now. Uh. Nice. Oh shit! It's another rhythm game. I, I suck at this shit. This is the best one. Wait, what? Uh, wait, how do you? Oh, oh wait, you hold it. Yeah. This is the best version of the rhythm. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. You need to let it go. You continue fuck. to confuse everyone. I hate rhythm Forget, games. Forgot you suck at rhythm games. Yeah, I suck you at rhythm correct. games, man. Shit. Okay. Is this true? That is On the meat bone. Deduction. You continue to confuse everyone. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I love listening. I love hearing fuck. that. Oh, fuck. I, okay, let. Oh, wait, it's A. God damn it. Shit. <laughs> D, 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 A. Fuck. In this class trial. W. Everyone's life is at stake. D, D, D. Of your self righteous truth. A, 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 A. No, the fuck. Everyone might die. In this class trial. We eat. Everyone's life is at stake. A A A. Your self righteous truth. D D. <gasps> oh, that, oh, that, oh man, you got some. Understand your reasoning. Oh fuck! But I will oh, never That's so fast. It D. Seems you wish God damn it! What? I fucking messed you up. You are only providing us with speculation. Uh, fuck. Wish to protect everyone. Why must what? you interfere? No. I completely understand your reasoning. 
Oh no! Oh dang it! No! Oh man! Oh man! It's so hard. You do not have any evidence. You are only providing us with speculation. What the fuck was that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? You interfere. I completely understand your reasoning. Dang it! I will never accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. Dang it! You do not have any evidence. Yeah. You are only providing us with speculation. We only wish to protect everyone. Ah! Ooh, that sounds good. Sorry. What is that piece of? Oh, oh no. Uh, uh, Ki, uh, Ru, uh, Mi's gloves. There we go. It ends oh here. <laughs> hey, nice. Good voice acting, though. Holy shit. The piece of fabric came from Kirumi's Actually, I forgot black Kirumi's glove. Japanese voice. I haven't played it in a while. I should play Kirumi's this game again in Japanese. Kirumi's glove. If the culprit were slowing Thank you for the bonk. I'll to uh, I will happily receive that. I don't care. I'll have it okay. Okay, um easily enough to cause <laughs> rope burn. <laughs> we we can M confirm. I mean, it's been foreshadowed for several eons now. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and... And it fell into pool? From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi. Dude, Kirumi is is a phantom thief. Miyu kind of has black gloves too. I take it they Kinda. found you adorned? It's fingerless gloves. The extra uniforms in our rooms by the way. are made of the same material oh, look, 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 it's, it's sleeveless gloves. That's what they're called. <laughs> sleeveless gloves. You can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. <laughs> well, Kirumi? Will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? Why does Kiba sound so fucking cocky? <laughs> yeah, this is basically the what most happened? most emotional so Kirumi has ever had. And I and I'm yeah, it's, it's good voice acting. What's wrong? <laughs> That's that sounds pretty a bit if you close your eyes. Because if it me because if it means some uh, someone has to be sacrificed, but Kaido was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. She thought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it. I kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me, and I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's make manga, guys. Let's see what we have. Uh, if only it was this is easy to make a manga. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, the evidence that was uh, made uh, was made of metal. The piranhas didn't it eat. Where's the cuffs at? Has it been unlocked yet? Probably. Has it been unlocked? Really? Yeah. Oh. Wait, handcuffed victim. So uh, this this. But it's th not the handcuff instead. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This this might go. It's early. Cuff, I mean, not instead. Uh, what was used as a partition? Uh, has the glass been presented? Um. Uh, no, not yeah, not that either. Thin and long item that the culprit used. Uh, uh took from the gym. Uh. Oh, there it is. The uh, rope. Yeah, there it is. And uh, let's see, where uh, where in the gym rope was tied? Um, was it next evidence of uh, what do you, uh, uh, Check the other the. Uh, 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 this one's the, 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 the this one's the window pane. So yeah, yeah. window pane. All right, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, I figured. I figured. Yeah. It's like blood force. <laughs> Yeah, blood force. Yeah, maybe that's what really caused the injury. Damn. What the fuck? This is fucked up murder, actually. And that is... The Before the murder... Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there it is. Is that... 
It's, oh, a, it's really annoying that I actually have to use right click. <laughs> God dang it. Yeah. Uh, what, what was taken? What was the? What was taken from the pool? Oh, what was taken from the pool? Oh, shit just got unlocked. I mean, if I go through probably. No, okay. I was taken from the pool. Uh, is it this? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. What was used to transport the body in a ropeway? It's this. Wait, no. Oh, what? Wait, yeah, render. It is the inner, tu uh, inner tube, right? Anyway, uh, I could, I could, uh, I could, I could, I, I could do this now. Yeah, I could do this now. Oh, what was this? Uh, use a partition. We haven't really had the the glass tank yet. What was used to transport the body? Wait, is it not the... uh, Maybe go to the last one first. Yeah. Hitting the brakes was a uh, tougher. Yeah, here we go. Okay, this is where we put the gloves. Can we unlock another one? Yeah, probably. Uh... Zero. There we go. Uh, pro okay, yeah, this is the tank lid. lid. Uh, this is the partition. Uh, unlock let's see. One more. I don't yeah, have that's the first one. Yeah, that's the first one. What's that? Taken from the pool. So I guess this I guess that's the last clue that hasn't really been unlocked. So yeah, it was probably. taken from the pool. No, I think it might have been the inner tube, then I think about yeah, it. Yeah, maybe. And then used it as a thing. Because yeah, the inner tube is in the uh, the panel before it, look. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, huh. there it is. That's weird placement, but okay. Yeah, that really confusing. What's the last one? Uh, where was the body carried to? Uh, the fish tank. Yep. Uh, and the last and clue is something that, um, that we have to unlock. Uh, no, it's already unlocked. It's hanged. Oh, hanged in a... Yeah, that's that, that, that was a difference. Are you yeah, fucking that's, kidding that's, me? That's, are you are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's so annoying. Okay, here we go. That is very dumb. All right, let's just go through it. Was found this morning during Himiko's underwater escape. Are we actually ever gonna know about her motive though? Yes. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a little longer. When we saw for a little while more, tank, actually. Yeah. We thought that Himiko's escape failed. What time is it? Oh, fuck. It was all part of I've been streaming for 6 hours and 32. Yeah, probably another hour or so. Yeah. I mean, manga is backwards. No, no, it's not about... Ba it's not about it being yeah, backwards. Well, well, it's just the... Manga, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the prompt. Basically. Yeah, the prompt is weird. Yeah, the prompt is weird because... It's like... Like, what was used to... What was used to transport? Then... Yeah, the fucking inner, inner tube. Like, it's right there. Yeah. Oh, we didn't know it had to be fucking hanged. Oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah. But when Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, yeah, I, I basically predicted how he was murdered. Yeah, yeah, blunt force. Then he got cuffed, and then he was, and then he was then drowned. And then there we go. He's there. Like it's clever because in the same time, um, it's like the piranhas are basically used to like get rid of like any evidence when it comes to like other injuries and stuff. So yeah. So yeah, I guess that crack on the skull was Before actually from the blood force. So yeah. The piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. Devour. Devour. And all that was left were his bones. The game we played and last week, we should wearing. definitely check out the VOD for. Yeah, it, it, it's funny. <laughs> guys, guys, actually, if you guys want to check out both POVs, go to his channel yeah. and go to my channel. Man, the, the game's really fun. POVs are a bit scuffed, though, because I messed up my stream settings that day. I didn't realize. I, I, did, I did notice. Like, uh, There were a lot of occasions that the it was quite laggy. It was lagging. in wrong setting. I didn't yeah. notice. Horrifying sight. Yeah, but overall, it's really fun. I really do want to play it again. Trick. Indeed. Who knows? Maybe, maybe if we, you know, if the game goes maintenance again, maybe, maybe we might play it again. <laughs> he, we, we mentioned that earlier. The, uh, skull crack, yeah. No, 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 I, 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 did, I did notice that. I, I yeah. pointed that out when I was investigating very first, and that's why I predicted it from the very start. And then I pointed it out again when I just arrived. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I was on that shit the entire time. Basically, the only issue that I just genuinely have with this trial is that who killed it? Ryoma, that's a, that's like my only issue. I pretty much know the rest. 
the culprit had a chance to be alone. Hey, cause oh. It was then that the culprit used the ladder to reach the piranha tank. Sorry, I'm just vibing. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's good music. What a chat that They used it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. Yeah, 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 I saw it. Next, the culprit took the rope from the stage wing in the gym. Oh, 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 oh. And used the ladder once go, go, more, go, 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 go. this time to climb up to the... Yeah, I think in the original Japanese, that's... Uh... Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah JoJo one. Yeah, JoJo. <laughs> Well, it's not specifically, specifically JoJo, but, Jojo, but Jojo pretty much fucking <laughs> ate that shit up. Really ate that shit up. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. Imagine if the trons are not voice acted and how long it it would actually take us. Well, especially yeah. for me to do this. <laughs> My head hurts already. Nighttime, Your head will tremble. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> God damn it. I know. I know. Oh, there All we go. The pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. <laughs> there we go. Nori. First, his head got bonked. I bit his brain. Striking him from <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. We just lost our guy. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a running me, uh, a running gag now, isn't it? Oh my god. Fuck. They put the handcuffs. From uh, my heart. I started. <laughs> my heart's from most of the non-self debates. Uh, yes. To be honest, the, the only time that basically we just started messing up the non-stop debates is when I'm not even confident Shut anymore due to how convoluted this shit is. Water. Anyway, th th thank you, thank you, Beeline, okay. for coming to the stream. Uh, have have a good sleep. Indeed. I'm gonna go play Minecraft after this. The I'm gonna sleep. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance. Which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. Dun, 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 dun. The struggle Ryoma's art style here is so scene. fucking cartoony. But in the end, <laughs> Ryoma succumbed. He, 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 he looks like a, he look he literally straight up looks like a character in Doraemon or some shit. Yeah, really. I was just about to say it. Lo he looks like a Doraemon character. Ryoma was dead, but the culprit's plan. Yo, look at. <gasps> Looking good, Joker. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking uh, what, what, what's what that's called again? All out, all out attack. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's been a while since I played Persona. Oh man. I don't know. It might be the next game that I might play after this. Cause oh, uh, I, yeah, I have I have the capture card working. So yeah. Indeed. And then at the pool. They connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They the gym the window. After picking up one last thing. Nice. The rubber inner tube. Persona. Is tool shed. Yes. Once back in the lab, the culprit pulled the cable. Our channels don't have Persona content, okay. but we have played Persona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, like in our channels, we don't have Persona content, but yeah, we did. Like way before uh, I even started oh, Twitch, played yeah, Persona 3. Basically, this guy introduced me to Persona 3. I bullied him into playing Persona and Danganronpa. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you should be thankful. I, I definitely already have like, uh, you know, roots when it comes to RPGs. Because, yeah, I, I, def I definitely sucked that up. I definitely suck yeah, that I shit up. Yeah, I was impressed that you actually played down on Oma, because that was a bit more another length of rope tied different to the <laughs> yeah. than the rest of, of, of what I recommended you. Yeah. I mean, once again, it's always it's always been the thing that I always say. Once If it's a good story, then I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll gobble Indeed. it up. It's a good story. The tube on the rope connecting the windows.
That's how the culprit created the ropeway. That was ropeway. Move the body. Ropeway. Move the body. Top five swords. He said, Shuichi sounds like a host. Like, um, Honest movie Harry trailers or some shit. Shuichi sounds like one of the hosts <laughs> in, um, in Watch Mojo Top 10s. <laughs> Top 10, oh. One Piece backstories. <laughs> our top ten picks for uh, our top ten picks for saddest ba uh, One Piece backstories. Welcome to Watch Mojo. No, oh yeah, no. uh, that video was uh, was was at least a, 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 a decent ranking. Yeah. yeah, they did justice. <laughs> I think they also have, it's, it's a pretty old video, but they also have uh, top ten One Piece some speed. entrances. Uh -huh. To avoid and it was, uh, some of it was pretty. The uh, used uh -huh. They had uh, really saving um, Zoro there, so I'm good. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. That's good. Really Animated by Shida. <laughs> <laughs> they used their own hand. To oh, I think the they also had a uh, Kaido down. there uh, from the Sky Island thing. That's pretty good too. Yeah. That would have caused significant rope burn had the culprit not been wearing rope burn. gloves. But due to the friction, part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. Now it's convenient. Yeet! Regardless, <laughs> the culprit the You know, as me as Mia says, she's shaking like it's sh it's shaking like a vibrator. Oh my god. I thought you were gonna say the uh, thing again. <laughs> It oh, trembles! Sorry, it, <laughs> 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 it trembles! <laughs> uh, this, this, game, this game is driving me crazy, man. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> That's it, I'm out. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my fault. <laughs> Trim. Oh, Spider-Man! Look! Spider-Man. Their second mistake. Their second mistake. Nani? Bakunaku to Unix! Okay. Okay. Yeah, he messed up. She messed up. Bakayaraga! Thus, the culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence, the fabric and the inner tube. They couldn't retrieve the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. I mean, basically, this is this is the only place where she basically messed up. If she did, if, if she, if basically, if this shit doesn't exist, then it's a perfect crime. End of story. Goddamn. <laughs> Wait, wait, holy shit! My god! Shuichi looked like Lelouch here for a second. Like the way with his body profile? With his hair, actually! The body proportions is very. Uh, it's it's very, very, uh. Uh, Code Geass art. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and with, with the way his hair is fixed as well, it's kind of Lelouch. I remember Code Geass being meme too for their body proportions because they're all so fucking thin. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know, when I watched it anyway, I didn't really mind it. I, I, it's just really a, more of a stylistic choice, I, I guess. I didn't even notice it until it was being memed. <laughs> it was being memed, yeah. Ah, oh, come picky, come picky. Hirumi, that's the conclusion I reached. Do you have any objections? This is very, very unfortunate, Shuichi. My pride as a maid demands that I fulfill every request that I receive. But to end like this... Does that mean you admit it? Kirumi? Why use your own gloves, though? The warehouse should have had plenty. There weren't any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. True. Jeez, Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. <laughs> <laughs> But thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. Of course you'd say that. Of course so, you'd say that. It's decided. This case was decided the moment someone who shall not be named opened their big <laughs> Okay, Monosuke is definitely gonna die. <laughs> He's definitely going next. 
Maybe the real culprit is someone nobody expects. The Russo. Like you. Like you. That is right. No need to worry. <laughs> oh, Monotem. You're like a mommy taking care of her sick child. <laughs> sick child. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Wait, wait he's already the dead. Heart-racing excitement. <laughs> <laughs> you could just hear his ghost. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> Get a hard rock ranger! <laughs> Wait, I forgot he said that. That's his. That's his signature. That's his uh, signature line. You know me. I delete neg um, weird stuff from my brain. <laughs> I'm choosing Kaede. I'm kidding. It's Kaede again. Kaede. Kaede. <laughs> cheese. I just realized that's a bunch of cheese. 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 Now, cheese. 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 Do you know why? The right choice, or the Cause it's dairy. <laughs> They're ho- <laughs> Dang it. Uh, I'll be here all week, guys. <sighs> yeah, yeah, he would. Tojo. Yatazu! They look like guacamole um moles. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna I wanna, I wanna bonk them. What do you mean we're crazy? It's totally normal. It's it, it, have you never seen <laughs> Go watch any of our streams, we're way more weirder than this. Yeah. You know, just like with Devour, you know. <laughs> the mine, look at the mean one. <laughs> it's, oh. your, it's your only B. Yeah, it's because you destroyed more blocks um, than you uh, than you should have. Like more me. blocks that you know the ones where you like actually break them and not pop them. I mean, either way, it's fine. I I've gotten yeah. I've gotten an A anyway. A. Yeah, it's still good. A. I'm playing on mean difficulty, and I feel good. Oh my! Yeah. You all voted correctly. What an unexpected and unpredictable. Come. Oh fuck, I forgot voice acting. The black and who killed Ryoma Hoshi is Kirumi Tojo, the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> maid. I don't know what the fuck happened to my voice there. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened to my voice there. It's like, it just gave up when, it just gave up when Ryoma's there. Yeah. Oh man. God, my my, 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 right. my voice knows that, you know, he's dead. Indeed. <laughs> Yay! Bravo! Bravo! Thank goodness. Phew! Oh, thank goodness we managed to get through the class trial again. You I'm not gonna voice anyone. All right. <laughs> okay. Fine, fine, fine. You go with that. <laughs> Wait. Who went with Tanko last time? Like yeah, you do it. Why not? Okay. Uh, there's nothing good about this at all. Why do why did it have to be Kurumi? I swear Tenko's definitely gonna go crazy now. Yeah. <laughs> Cause everyone that has been murdering has been female so far. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that wow. Yeah, I, I mean it's been only been two trials, so that's not yeah. much of a pattern, is it? <laughs> yeah. Uh Kibo is you, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's me. Truly, this result was unexpected. Wait! How can you be so calm about it? No way. But Gonta no can believe it. Kirumi was so helpful for everyone. You're... Same Kirumi is also culprit. Yoohoo! You do, Angie. Hey, hey, how long have we been? Uh, how how long have you been lying to us? The truth is, is that why you took such good care of us so you could deceive everyone? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You mean she's not my mom? Basically, Kokichi is like the self insert of like the fandom. Wait, Before she's not you know, mom? I already forgot how Kokichi sounds like. Oh, right, 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 right. Valley Girl. Valley, Valley Girl for you, Hiko. Oh, okay. 
Valley, Valley Girl Fuyuhiko. All right. <laughs> oh, you mean she's not my mom? Hey! <laughs> she was never your fucking mom! Damn it. Hey, Kurumi! Tell me. Why? Ain't nothing. You were always a... thinking about everyone uh... around you. How could you kill someone? Ain't nothing. <laughs> Human beings have always been selfish! Self-centered creatures. <laughs> your mic, your mic cut out, so I only heard. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Like, Discord's such a dumbass. God dang it. Yeah. <laughs> don't That's you dare sing humans. that song. That's why I hate humans. They burn down the forest we call home. They pollute the rivers we drink from. I'll never forgive humans. But is that really a reason to destroy them? Some humans are really nice. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Enough with the commentary already. Say. You do. I really like. I really like doing Kyo though. Well, Kirumi. We're we're feeling. Oh, it's not. What the fuck? Well, Kirumi, were your feelings towards us simply another falsehood? How? No, it, it can't be. <laughs> how how do Valley Girl sound? N when no, no emotional... it can't be. S no, when say emotional. it ain't so. When actually sad. No, I don't think I've ever it heard of can't be. be sad. It can't, it can't be. be. Say it ain't so. That was just another lie too. Oh my fucking god. Kokichi <laughs> looks like a, a melting candle. No, indeed. I don't think so. I still believe Kirumi cares about us. And how would you know? Hmm. I can't say for certain, but I could sense her that this trial has been agonizing for her. You can't say for Jesus. certain, hmm? That is what a detective would say. Um... Kirumi, are you upset? Because of are you upset? the people important to you. Um... You mean, like, from the motive video? So Kirumi watched hers after all? Um... Earlier, Kirumi mentioned that she had accepted a request. Perhaps that request came from a, came from someone important in, in her motive uh, video. Fuck, I can't talk. Indeed. What's wrong? Do you have any? Do you have? Do you have nothing to say for yourself? I do not agree. No, that's not it. I'm just lost. Because if if I tell you uh, why I did it, you will regret what you've just done. Regret? Damn. Spit it out already. Otherwise, we can't accept this outcome. Please. I, bit, I think it's a bit too low for. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I forgot his name, Kaito. <laughs> uh, please, Kirumi, tell us. I care about you a lot, and I know the others care about you too. Oh, thanks for the hydrate, Rocket. <laughs> Go hydrate. <laughs> I actually just sipped like a like a millimeters worth of okay. water on there. So please. Understood. Very well. Very well then. If you are all so desperate to know, I shall take that request. I will consider this a final request and tell you everything. Well, you know. No more lies then. You better just tell us Yo. the truth, please. And Yo. Thank you. Yo, his voice acting earlier when he was like proposing the you know, like the yeah, like the two quote unquote um uh culprits arguing with each other. <laughs> really good. Really good delivery. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I understand. That is correct. Your reasoning was exactly right. The reason I murdered Ryoma was because of what I saw in my motive video. As I thought. You did indeed watch your video. Um Oh fuck, I forgot I'm Kikichi. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean someone broke the agreement and treated you your motive video? Hmm. Alright, fess up. Which one of you did it? Close your eyes and raise your hand if it was you. Kokichi, come on. What I'm gonna try to see to um voice him seriously now, cause uh Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why why would the one raising their hand need to close their eyes? May I? That won't be necessary. I did not trade my motive video with anyone. Huh? If you didn't trade with anyone, how'd you see your motive video? Hey, Kaito Momota. Perhaps Kirumi received her own motive video. Huh? You mean she had her own motive video from the start? Yes. 
Correct. No one had my motive video, but me. The video's intended recipient. That's so fucking unfortunate. Damn. Like earlier, early on, earlier on at the very beginning of the chapter, I was like, oh, uh, I was theorizing the who had their own the video because. Overalls. What? I always thought that was a spider web, but now it's a gunshot. It, it kind of looks like a gunshot on glass now. Yeah, yeah, it's a gunshot on glass. Yeah, I always thought it was a, 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 a spider web. It does look like it, but you know, there's like a hole in the middle, so that's why. Yeah, I, that's weird. Okay. But yeah, I once again I like tried to theorize, because I definitely know at least one of them is definitely gonna have their own motor uh, video, I, and I, I thought enough, it was Maki. I have enough. I have enough points to mute, you know. <laughs> no, it won't be necessary. I will deny the request. <laughs> I will deny that request. But uh, yeah, and at first I really thought it was Maki, due to like. Her, like, I guess, like, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be so sure, but at the same time, I just kind of just like correlated to the fact that she doesn't want to see her own thing, her playing own video. Until the, uh, end of the chapter, right? Um, you're playing until the end of the chapter, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, I have no idea why. The fuck's going on? That's not possible. Monokuma, what the hell's going on? Hmm? You know, I meant to bring this up earlier because it's been bugging me for a while. All this talk about videos being Switch, what does that mean exactly? Uh, yeah. Don't play dumb. You're the one who switched up the nah. motive video. Nah, the Mona kids are the one who did it. No, no. No, I didn't! Uh -huh. Whose motive video did uh, Shuichi get again? Uh, Kaito. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, I remember. Oh, was I not supposed to ask that? Did you Koob screw up again? Oops. Huh? Not supposed to. Dumbass! It, it's all Monophony's fault! She passed them out without checking the names! What? Oh, I didn't know Monotaro should have oh checked the God, names too! So <laughs> Wait, Wait a minute! I don't even remember passing out any videos! It was my fault. My fault. What? I'm sorry. I apologize. I, apologize. I should have I been, should more, have been careful. more careful. No, no Monadam, it's not your fault. Okay. It's all our fault. I I'm sorry too. Yeah. Ah, it seems I misunderstood. Yeah. Yeah. I completely forgot that the plan all along was to redistribute the videos. Daddy. Daddy. Oh my god. It's not your fault at all, kids. It's my fault for forgetting. Father! Oh my god. Father! Thank goodness. What? Uh, what the hell is this mushy feel good crap? You stupid. Y'all idiots. I'm through getting all alone with your dummy bears. Gummy bears. Well, now. I'm, a dummy I'm sorry bear. to cause so much trouble. Dummy, dummy Please bear. continue your bears. boring conversation. I see. I see. The Monocubs merely distributed the motive videos at random. Receiving my own video was nothing more than bad luck. Bad luck. Oh, I see. So you just watch it without knowing why it was given to you? Hey! What was in your video? What's wrong? Well, you promised to tell us everything. Yes. I will tell you the truth in its entirety, but I thought that everyone will believe it. So. If that's the case, why don't we all watch the motive video together? That's right! Yes! That would be much better! Let's hurry before Daddy gets bored again! Fuck! Your voice is dying. <laughs> My goodness. Anyway. How thorough of you. Yet I suppose it is better this way. Perhaps the truth will be easier to believe if you witness it with your own eyes. After Kirumi had spoken, the Monocubs began playing the video. What's happening to my mic? Okay, it's good now. All right, back by popular demand. It's time for the motive video. Who's the most popular important popular person in your life? That's and obviously now, a reference to uh, the first ado, from the first game, right? Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate but, uh, maid. That's interesting. <laughs> that's really cool that this is just like a that's just brush strokes. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
And you still make out images from it. Ugh, the beautiful art. With clients in politics and finance, this elite maid is renowned for completing any request. One fateful day. She was suddenly summoned by one of her most Oh, with the Prime Minister. Are you kidding the me? Prime Minister. Are you fucking kidding me? The Prime Minister had a request of utmost importance. He requested that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. He asked Kirumi to make this country, make this great, country again. great again. And <laughs> <laughs> okay, I okay, I can see that this Monokuma doesn't like the Prime Minister. No and also, uh, that's a reference that the Prime to um, new secretary was secretly you know, running the country. The campaign time, in America. She became the de facto Prime Minister. <laughs> god damn, so she was the Prime Minister of Japan at least once. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh my god. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. What's the what's impending doom? Yes, the future of the country rests entirely on her capable no shoulders. <laughs> My God. Again. But Kirumi is up to the task, for she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. She is driven by the belief that her citizens are the most important people in her life. Damn. So basically, this vid the the thread of the video was like. We will fuck up the entirety of Japan. Oh, <laughs> oh man. And while we're on the subject of those important people, an unfortunate event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. What event, you ask? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> Damn. Huh? It, it can't be. Wh what? What the hell? The Prime Minister? Yes. Everything you just saw is true, though I only remembered it upon watching that video. Remembered? Wait! P -p Please hold on! That video is true! What is this? That's ridiculous! There's no way Kurumi really is the Prime Minister! I do not agree. No, it's the truth. I am Kurumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. And the most important people to me. This is my selfless devotion. Are the citizens of this country. I was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. I guess this was foreshadowed, right? Because I think, like, back then, when they were talking about Kirumi, or I think it was, uh, what, it was Kokichi. Was it Kokichi? That, uh, yeah, basically, uh, he mentioned that. Wait, didn't you, didn't you back, uh, did, uh, didn't Kirumi back then, uh, um, was, uh, basically hired, quote-unquote, to, like, an annihilate, uh, an entire country or some shit like that? I don't know. So I guess it was foreshadowed in a way. Yeah. Yeah, it was. But. Kinda. Dang. The fuck. I think they said, like, someone could ask you to, like, destroy a country or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Oh, no, no. I swore to serve and help all was, its citizens. Like, Important people asked her for insane stuff that even she needs to reject or something like that. Yeah. As the ultimate maid, I have advised politicians many times in the past. But he wanted me to prioritize saving the country from an unprecedented crisis. I uh -huh. fully accepted this request. As a maid, it is a great honor to serve the nation itself. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, she's such an ultimate maid that she ends up serving a fucking country instead of a client. God damn. The fuck? That's an ultimate for you. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? You the shit out of me. This, this makes no sense and I gotta take a dump. <laughs> shit. I see. So Kirumi was the real prime. Oh God! Uh, that, no, that's Kyo's voice. I, f <laughs> I see. So Kirumi was the real prime minister, running the country behind the scenes. Huh? How can you seriously believe that a high schooler could be a prime minister? In a world with with ultimates, you can. Yeah, that's true. You really <laughs> don't get it. I don't think it's odd that an ultimate level yeah, talent exactly. could be that powerful. 
I mean, Keyboy sound lets him pretend to be human, even though he's a heartless robot. <laughs> Fuck. Man, to be honest, it's been driving me crazy that it's been a while since uh, Kokichi hasn't done, like, a fucking homophobic... Uh, not, not, not homophobic, robophobic, uh, like, a remark in a while. Yeah. How rude! I'm not pretending! I'm still learning! I see. I see. Well, good luck, I guess. <laughs> Let me just got some movie. Incredible. I was aware of Kurumi's impressive talents, but Prime Minister. But Th then Kirumi really is Prime Minister. She holds burden of country's future. Actually, motive video aside, Kirumi doesn't seem like she'd lie about something like that. Yes, yeah, she's not like the ultimate Chunibi or something. You Hey, hey, I get that Kirumi's really important, but what was that un unprecedented crisis? Yeah. I do not know. You Why can't I remember? Uh, Wait, I, um... I forgot the words. It was the, um, the, uh, the, uh... With our memories what lost. What, what was it again? The, uh, in the uh, incident from the first two games? It's the, um, uh... The the the, 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 the most horrible... Uh, fuck, I, keep, I forgot now. It's been such a long time. Uh, yeah, I actually forgot too. Let me look it up. <laughs> That's wait, isn't this just like the ultimate hunt? That is correct. Perhaps it is connected to the ultimate hunt. Huh? The ultimate hunt is connected to the unprecedented crisis facing the nation. Um. If that's true, how are, are they connected? They connected. What is the ultimate hunt anyway? I do not know. I do not know what is happening to the nation while I'm here. Inside the end wall. That is why I needed to know. I needed to know that the most important people in my life were safe. This is my selfless devotion. Because I, I am duty and honor bound to protect every citizen of this nation. My apologies. That's why I needed to escape. If so... So you were weighed, or... Uh, bleh. So you weighed our lives against the lives of everyone else in the nation. But... But if those are the options, of course you'd pick everyone outside, right? Okay, I found it. It's the worst, most dis- Oh, no, 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 no. It's the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history! There it is. <laughs> <laughs> There's just too many lives at stake out there. And we just stopped Kirumi from doing that because we selfishly wanted to live. Like that. What do we do? Did we just make a terrible mistake? If everyone outside dies because Kirumi is dead, why? Does that mean we pretty much destroyed the country? What do we do? Wait! Say, what's Monokuma planning to do with the rest of humanity? You know, how, how, you know how many people live in this country? Like, Hundred million, easily. Always messing around. No matter how powerful the mastermind is, there's no way they could really. Bears do not lie. <laughs> Bears, Bears do, do not lie. lie. Hey, um. I am the ruler of this world. Nothing is beyond my power. Huh? And nothing is beyond your power. What kind of arrogant, and ridiculous? One hundred percent. That is 100% a lie. It is impossible that he could bring disaster to a country. <laughs> I mean, Ultra Despair Girls. Indeed. <laughs> what are you trying to pull? What's so funny? Cause... You guys act like you can't believe it, but you're all terrified anyway. Shing. Shing. If you can't believe it, then you're terrified for no reason. Why do humans lie? Why are humans the only animal that tell lies? <laughs> Shut up! Hey, cut it out! This is serious! Oh? How long are you gonna keep talking about Kirumi? Dang it! Let's talk about Ryoma! It would be a shame to completely neglect him! Oh, I see. That's right. Oh god. <laughs> That's right. We know our motive to kill, so but why did you kill Ryoma specifically? That is. Yeah, I knew it, plain and simple. Because he was easy to kill. Huh? 
I easy to kill. Weird. Ryoma not that weak. When he uses his Shikuchi method, even Gota no could catch. I do not agree. Yeah, exactly. His physical strength was irrelevant when he did not have a reason to live. Do you agree? Without that, he became the weakest among us. Weakest dun, among us! Dun, dun, dun. What? Dun, dun, dun. I took advantage of his weakness and killed him. Um, what do you mean that is? I told him I had an urge. Uh, I had urgent matters to discuss, and meet me in the research lab on the third floor. There, I revealed my motive video. And afterward, I told him. That is correct. I am responsible for the life of every citizen of this nation. So I must escape this place. He then responded. Got it. So you got so you got a reason to survive. That's complete opposite of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Your if you're if you've got something to live for, it means you your life has value. <laughs> <laughs> After he said that, he told me he would clean up the tennis balls lying around. And then, he turned his back toward me. Sad. At that moment, my determination solidified. A person like him would have noticed my bloodthirst emanating. He already knew. He forfeited his life right then and there. Sad. Bonk. That is correct. That is when I decided I must sacrifice his life for my nation and my people. Then... Then, Ryoma knew he was going to be killed. <laughs> but... Man, yeah, that's actually a gut punch to... My guy. That's a gut punch to Kaito. Cause like, uh... Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, he, he really just saw it as cowardice of what his, like, his state currently is, but... Damn. Wait a minute. It's Maki's fault that Ryoma decided he didn't want to live anymore. What? What? Because... Ryoma only gave up on life after he showed him his motive video. Well, since he didn't watch his motive video, I guess you had no way of knowing. What are you talking about? What's your point? Wait! W wait a minute! You're talking as if Ryoma saw that motive video! Didn't you just say that, the, that he only checked the name and didn't watch the video? Huh? Did I say that? Huh? What are you getting at? Well, you know... I probably shouldn't say anything, but someone has to step up and speak for, for, uh, for poor Ryoma. I told you. Again, what's your point? That he gave up on his life because I showed him his motive video? Um... I'll get to that in a sec. But why, uh, <clears throat> but why do you think Ryoma wanted to see his motive video? Because he was looking for a reason to live. Isn't that right, Maki? Why? How do you know that? What? Swap motive videos? Didn't we agree not to show them to each other? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Because once you watch them, you've got a motive to kill. But... But uh, if it had shown someone important to me, I'd really like to see that. Hey. Any idea who'll be in the video? No. I don't. That's why I want to see it. Once I know I've uh, once I've know I've got someone important to me, I'll have a reason to live. Jeez. I've got a reason to live. Then I've got a reason to escape here with you guys. In other words. In other words, the video might just give me a motive to kill, a uh, motive to live. Please. So please. Man. That's true. You're right. He was looking for a reason to live. Which means he shouldn't have shown him his vid uh, motive video in the first place. Hey! Uh, what do you mean? What did his video show? Ah, nothing. His motive was empty. Huh? Empty? Okie dokie! Oh, we're up next! Let's give it a whirl! Fuck, I can't. Oh, man. <laughs> My god. Okay. Okay, now. I'm not doing Monopoly anymore. <laughs> popular demand who's the most important person this message is for Ryoma Hoshi the ultimate tennis pro 
Damn. Unfortunately, there is no one in the Damn. world. Damn. Fuck, that hurts. I'm actually gonna cry over it. No. Oh. That's actually so fucking sad. <laughs> I'm actually gonna cry. I mean, the wording here is that there's no one in the world who's important to Ryoma. Yeah, but there's there's there, but there, there might be people out there that holds dear to him. him. But it's still yeah, yeah. sad because this is what, this is his perspective. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, that's so sad. That's why he just really wanted to die at that point. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. No. Oh. Oh, oh man. I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's so fucking sad. No. Sorry. Oof, indeed, Sorry. Rocky. Sorry. Fuck you, Monokuma. Shut up. Oh, that's... That reminds me of the um, Sorry thing by Monokuma in the first so... game. Dude, this is like... Basically, it shows like two sides. Like two major sides. We got Kirumi that literally everyone in the country. And then we got Ryoma who has nothing. Oh, fuck. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, they're they're like the biggest opposites. Oh, that's so sad. Always messing around. That's what he's. That's what he was shown. If he saw something like that, he had no one to care for, and no one who cared for him. He found no motive to live. Because of that, he chose to let Kirubi clean his life. I see. So that's why. He must have just watched that video before I summoned him to met with me. It can't be. Yeah, just I mean. Give up then? Yeah, he, he was basically depressed. Like fuck. Damn. To hell with that! That damn moron. But but. It's bad to have no reason to live, but it's also bad to have too many reasons to live. You're not wrong. That's why you did such a terrible thing, right, Kirumi? For too many reasons. Exactly. Yes. You're free to judge me for killing Ryoma. I would bear the burden of being seen as evil for the sake of my nation and its people. For everyone. Because that is what it means to serve with selfless devotion. That's why I needed to survive. Sacrificing you all meant saving the lives of men, women, Children and elderly. My apologies. I wanted to live. Kirumi. <laughs> Monokuma. Going to have question. You need something? Oh, what is it? Hey. Can Gonta be blackened instead of Kirumi? Huh? W what? Gonta. Gonta, not smart boy, but even Gonta understand what everyone's saying. <laughs> Kirumi should live, not Gonta! World needs her! Um... Man, what is this? I was thinking the same thing. What is this? Is this- is this fucking- Is this fucking chapter 4 or some shit? No, I- I- I killed Sakura Ogami! No, I killed Sakura Ogami! <laughs> Oh yeah, that is chapter four. Right? Yeah, right, right, chapter right. four is basically where, from that point, it yeah, stopped yeah. killing. So and yeah. chapter five is the Mukuro one. Right, right, right. Yeah. I don't want to die, but Kirumi's life is way more valuable than mine. <laughs> Kirumi's got lives hundreds of. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Kirumi's got the lives Kirumi. hundreds of, of millions of people on her shoulders, right? Oh God, my voice is all Logically, weird. Kirumi's survival would result in fewer casualties than our collective survival would. Jeez. Oh, Maybe it would be better if we got in the culprit wrong. Everyone culprit just, wrong. everyone just wants to die now, man. Huh? What do you mean? Oh man. If Kirumi survives, the nation's future will be secure. Then, what was the point of me doing all this? Why did I reveal the truth? What have I done? Was I wrong? <laughs> I... I sh shouldn't have... No, that's Shuichi. wrong! What kind of face is that, Shuichi? If you're my sidekick, then suck it up! Huh? What? Hey. That goes for all of you. 
To hell with all the value of life shit! Right. Life's not just something! You can't trade it or put a price on it! Why is your voice nasally? <laughs> Kaito! Listen up. I, do, I do have a little bit of a block though, so that's why. Yeah, okay, that's true. But it, it's so obvious when your voice <sighs> is Kaito. Your life doesn't just belong to you! It's for your parents, your grandparents, your friends, even your neighbors. I mean... It's not something you can just assign to throw, uh, throw away on your own. Don't worry about it. So we didn't do the wrong thing. Life's purpose is to be lived. Indeed. As long as you stay alive, anything's possible. You can even go to the stars. Of course. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I wanna live! <laughs> I haven't even traveled to space yet. There's no way in hell I'm gonna die here! Jeez. <sighs> the idiot's talking again. But... But he's right! I mean, you're right too. He is an idiot, but he's right! <laughs> so divine! Yep, he's an Atua damned idiot! Yeah, instead of goddamned idiot, it's Atua. Oh, damn idiot. <laughs> I don't know why, but idiots always fill me with this... Uh, fill me with inspiration. <laughs> Shown in anime, basically. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, shut up! I told you to stop calling me all, uh, calling me an idiot. But maybe his stupid speech is just what we needed to hear. Kirumi certainly looks shaken by it. Huh? Uh huh? Shaken? Because? Uh, do you really think someone as desperate to live as Kirumi would give up that easily? Uh, so easily? Of course not. In fact, she probably still hasn't given up until e even now. Definitely, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> she was hoping that learning the truth would make one of us volunteer to die in her place. Huh? W what? Nani? But. But Monokuma would never allow a black to escape punishment, so maybe. She wanted everyone to rebel so she could use that cover to escape on her own. <laughs> How about it, Kirini? Am I close? You are the most detestable Cretan I have ever met. You knew exactly what I would attempt, yet allowed me to explain anyway. Huh? Wait, what he said just, uh, what he just said was true? You mean... Y you try to trick Gota. Try to trick everyone. Really? Seriously? You backstabbing... Cunt. I mean, once again, I totally understand his actions now because he what, is the uh, ultimate evil supreme leader. Muse, oh, fuck. Enough! We just try. She was just trying to stay alive in her own way. Nobody can blame her for that. That is correct. That's right. I must survive. Because I carry the weight of an entire nation on my shoulders. I would not have killed Ryoma if I was so easily deterred. This request will not be fulfilled until I have brought joy to every citizen of this nation. You must live. So no matter what, I cannot die. That is why I killed Ryoma. Even now, I refuse to give up. Huh? Ki Kirumi. I see. You still refuse to give up. So what do you intend to do? You must live. I intend to live. I must survive, no matter what it takes. If I must debase myself, so be it. I would drink filth and eat carrion to survive. I will survive! I'm a survivor. Okay, I'm sorry. No, um, that's you're thinking of a different song. I'm gonna I'm make it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. will survive. Keep on surviving. Oh, well, whatever. That's a different song. <laughs> I don't know. And she, she screamed. Running. And she started Why are running. you running? Why are you running? God damn. Why are you running? Yo. <laughs> this reminds me. This is so JoJo. Why the fuck? <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was completely undignified exit. I have to escape. I won't die here. Sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no 
no way I'm letting you out of here! God dang, her voice actress is just popping off. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm pretty sure she popped the vein. <laughs> it sounded like. It was ugly and raw and feral. She just ran as fast as she could. I heard my voice call out. Uh, run! Run, Forrest, run! Run! Run, Kirumi! Please run! Hurry! Run! Please hurry! Damn. Hurry! Run! Hey, like I said, I'm not letting you leave! Special punishment <laughs> for Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Oh, this yeah, this is this is the, this is the first time actually I've heard an execution like before message execution has been a voice actor. I so, think, yeah. I think I, the first chapter for was my people. Uh, like that too, but the past games it's not. Yeah, I think is it? No, it's no, not. no, no. Kinda wasn't also voice actor back then. Got is oh, really? Yeah. Yo, this is like the the pain shot from Naruto. <laughs> oh man, here we go. Oh, the, oh, the uh, here animation here is Kirumi running. It's funny. Oh no, what the, what the fuck is this? Uh, this is a reference to a um, hell story. Yeah. Basically, the uh, escape to hell is a rope filled with thorns. There's another version of it actually that's like... Like a thin strand of web is the um, <laughs> thing you have to climb. Ah oh, shit. Yo, I don't even think about it. This was this is really quite similar to second chapter of of a uh, of a uh, what you call this? Dangarampa two. It's also slashes, right? Blades. Well, um... F. Man, Sarge. Death by fall damage. Don't tell. Oh fuck! Now he's dead. <laughs> My glasses. He got Nedrid, and he's dead. Wait, what? What's red on that? Man, Sage. This time, I actually genuinely felt more bad for Ryoma. Actually, man, I really liked Ryoma too. Yeah. Damn. Really? Oh, oh, why Monadam? What? What? Why, why, why did you kill Monosuke? Okay. Oh, oh, it has ramen. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. If you need to vomit, let it out. You will feel much better afterward. Monosuke, he was no different from Monakin. He was getting in the way of us getting along. Man, Monadam, who are you? We don't need him. Yeah. D don't need him. We few remaining Monocubs must get along. We are all friends. No matter what, we must always get along. Not even father can stop us from getting along. I will not, forgive that. not if he knows what is good for him. Huh? Huh? Wonderful. This academy belongs to us. Uh, to us. What the fuck? The age of the Monocubs begins now. Wait, was that a poo hoo No, that was a ha <laughs> No, no, he said poo hoo hoo How dare you take that rebellious tone with me, young man! That's funny. And yet, this angsty attitude of yours is just so cute! It's so cute! When your little crew has shrunk by one member! Yup, shrunk! You're not!
not getting any larger, you know? Because I'm out of semen. They're so... Uh, no. It's so unbearably cute. Is it more All this cuteness male? makes me feel like I'm about to sneeze. I mean, they are calling him father. Uh, uh, uh. How horrible. Ugly bitch. <laughs> Kirumi. I don't like that. I can't take this anymore. Even Kirumi was killed so brutally. When it comes to despair levels, no one can fucking top. Kaede's execution. <laughs> well, I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Am I going to end up like that too? If you murder someone, yeah. Protect you? Never let it happen, Himiko. I'll protect you no matter what. I'll protect you no matter what. <laughs> but I don't want to do this anymore either. Please, let's just stop the skilling game. I don't care if we stay trapped here forever. Come on, come on. Oh? Isn't that what Atua said? Cause Atua says so. All desire, even your desire to escape this place, can corrupt you beyond. I uh, can corrupt you beyond redemption. <laughs> it's Monokuma is corrupt. He's the one who distributed the motive videos. I see. Yes, those videos were more dangerous than we thought. To have driven Kurumi that far. That's true. That what worries me is, as long as we're trapped here, we don't know what's true or false. Okay. So it must be why Kirumi did not want to show the videos. She thought that if everyone felt the same murderous rage that she did, this killing game would have been pure chaos. She wanted to stop it. Hey, hey! If that's the case, then we really shouldn't show our videos to each other. Of course! That was our consensus from the beginning, not including you, of course. However... I had assumed Kikichi would try to show us our videos to get under our skin. But that did not come to pass. What I wonder were his intentions. Uh, never do anything like that. I'm still thinking about what Kirumi said. Uh, um. What Kirumi said? Everything you just saw is true, though I only remembered it upon watching the video. That's what she said earlier, correct? Oh yeah, look look at a look at a Miu's um collar right now. There's a bear. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. What the fuck? I never noticed that until now. Uh, I didn't get to voice it. But... She 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 said she remembered, and it didn't sound like a lie either. I see. Maybe that video had the properties of a flashback light. If it made her remember. What? The properties of a last a uh, flashback light. Okay. Still, how could Kirumi remember something she never should have have forgotten? Serving the entire nation seems too important for her to just forget. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Um. Does that mean we have motives to kill that will remember by watching our videos? Hmm. If that's the case, maybe it's for the best that we don't watch the videos. As long as we don't see the videos, we won't know our motives. Uh, okay. Y yeah, uh, now I'm convinced. That's probably for the best. Those motive videos would mess us up. It's better if we just believe in each other. Yeah. That's right. It's best we not remember our motives for everyone's sake. I really, I really, I really do want to know what's up with Rotar, though. Oh, dear. Hearing you speak of everyone's sake. Is the least believable lie I've heard yet. That's so mean. How oh, rude. Always doing stuff for everyone's sake. It's a lie. I'm sure you won't believe me when I say stuff like that, so I'll just keep lying. That is kind of sad. Um. But maybe seeing Kirumi's final moments has made me change my views. Because? She tried to escape until the very end, running away to live. 
Might not be a bad idea. You're right. Maybe. Maybe facing the truth isn't enough. That's right. Yeah, true. It's okay to run sometimes. You just gotta go. You just gotta win in the end. That's all you gotta That's all do. You gotta do. And with that, the second class trial ended for us. How do you read that? A ferric. There's no P and Pyrrhic. H. Yeah, it's probably Pyrrhic. Yeah. Pyrrhic vi vi victory. A Pyrrhic victory. Or is it Pyrrhic? <laughs> I, I don't know. A Pyrrhic victory. We had still lost a friend. What is the end Kaido spoke of? And how do we reach it? I don't know. This is the end. I still don't know. Hold your breath and count to ten. I returned from the courtroom. The area was already blanket, uh, 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 blanketed in darkness. For now. For now, we should rest. To me, that seems the most rational course of action. You're right. Yeah, my brain's out of juice from going full throttle all day. Why, you? Like you even have a brain to use. I won't forgive you! Anyway, this killing game's over. I won't allow it to go on. Are you sure about that? It'll be okay. It'll be fine. As long as we listen to Atua, we'll just be, uh, we'll all be just fine. <sighs> What's wrong? What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? It's just, even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But, but stars here are different. Not the same ones Gonta used to. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We we do gotta trust his vision. Uh, um, Different? Do you mean the position of the stars? Go ask yeah. Kaito. Going to looking, but no can find star he remembers. Shouldn't why? Kaito know about this? Yeah, I know. But why? Were we taken somewhere far away? Don't tell me this is like another Neo World program bullshit or some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> hey, so. Hey! Let's all head back already. I'm wiped out. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, hey. Yeah, your Kaito voice is a bit too low. I'm already used to it. I can't change it up anymore. Yeah, because it'd be. You're, you're, I don't know. <laughs> oh, hold on. I, uh, fuck. <laughs> my, 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 my stomach suddenly hurts. Okay. <clears throat> oh, hold on. I have to tell you guys something. Huh? Here we go. What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it won't take that long. So just listen to what I have to say. What is it? Well then, what is it you have to say? Um, everyone seems to have treating me like some compulsive, uh, so, uh, like some kind of compulsive liar. You get it? That's ridiculous. There's no way a worse liar than me in our group. Huh? A liar worse than you? <laughs> I'm talking about Maki. Huh? What? What? What do you mean Maki's a liar? Ah. Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Yuma wanted to show her, uh, show him his motive video because he was looking for a reason to live. Well, you know. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? Huh? B blackmail? Ryoma just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. So he used that to blackmail her. I bet he said something like... If you don't show me your motive video... <laughs> He's just impersonating Ryoma. Yeah. If you don't show me my motive video, I'll tell everyone what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know she met with Ryoma. Which means... She wanted to keep her identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the last minute. Oh, he Hold just on. realized that, actually. So one of the uh, truth bullets was Maki alone, right? But that yeah. was Maki lying to us. So we, we had to lie that Maki did sh uh, met up with Ryoma, but that lie was actually the truth. Yeah. My brain. Well, why you... What <laughs> shit are you making up now? Maki's true identity? What? <laughs> Here we go. I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. Here we go. The flash stop shot. Oh no. Indeed. She did a flash stop. Oh no. 
Soru. I am Mukuro Ikusaba. Kanta. Voice actor. You know, this is an interesting turn of events. But would you really kill me in front of everyone? Hey, Maki, what the hell's going on? Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now, but that's not your style. Y you would rather kill from the shadows, right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? <laughs> Not even, not even surprised. That's the end of the chapter. <laughs> I'm not even fucking surprised. And you know what? Actually, I was actually spoiled with that because. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Remember. Okay. Okay. Here's the story. I'll tell the story. So. Okay. Um. Chaotic cooties, right? Right. So there was this one time. Hey, we just hopped on the call, All and right. basically, you know, I was inviting her. Hey, you want to voice act for like, um. You want to voice act for the next stream? It's like sure, and then basically uh -huh. she she was oh so she was like trying to uh, voice act lines, and there's something about her when uh, she apparently like for her she says, um every time I just voice act I just don't re even process everything I'm reading, and when she was voice acting uh, Maki, she voice acted something about an ultimate assassin, I noticed it's like what wait she's a wait what assassin wait what. She was an assassin back then, and then, and then like um, and then she didn't even realize. Like, Wait, what? What do you mean assassin? And uh, yeah, that's how I got spoiled, unfortunately. So. Well, shit. <laughs> yeah. But in the same time, even though I probably didn't know right away, probably I wouldn't be as surprised as usual because once again they've been kind of egging her on, like, oh, she seems that she seems to have the vibe as a killer. Eh. Or some shit like that. Yeah, I, I guess that's true, but that sucks. Yeah, it sucks. That really sucks. Mukuro Ikusaba. That guy, that, that, yeah, that, that's kind of like, um, I don't know. But yeah, that's, that really sucks. Man, come on. Okay. Yeah, unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, I, I have a lot of thoughts with this chapter. Because <laughs> to me, personally, while I did like it, um, like, at the start, by the end of it, I think this is my least favorite ch trial in the entire series. <laughs> uh, I, Honestly. I, I might this, actually have to agree if I were being honest. Like, It's my least favorite trial out of the entire it's... series. <laughs> and that's saying something, because... The child... Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not going to say anything until we reach those parts, but yeah. Yeah, I'll just stop, because I don't want to spoil anything. But, yeah... This might be my least favorite trial. <laughs> yeah, it's not even... Yeah, it's too fucking long, that's true. But also... This... Uh, first, okay. Um, first of all, like, while I do understand the uh, motive with, um... With, uh, Kirumi, it's... Like... I can't... It, it, as, a, as a story, it's hard to... Agree with her. Um, with, with this kind of story, because... Danganronpa stories has always been confined to those characters, right? Like, sure, there has been a tragedy uh, outside of Hope Speak that it's e eating up the entire world, but also it's these characters that we care about. So, like, having that motive as, oh yeah, she's serving the entire country, like, I really don't care, honestly. <laughs> I don't really care about. But yeah, that that's. But aside from that, um, the. Uh, motive, not the motives. The um, um, the way we find out, the f we figure out the uh, evidences uh, for the uh, murder was also so convoluted. It's like so it's even more, convoluted. Convo it's more convoluted than usual. Cause with, cause with the first game, like sure, I hated that trial too. But at least it made sense why I hated the trial because Biakuya made it purposely bad. <laughs> yeah. Like he's the reason I hated the trial, and that's what he wanted to do. So I respect it for that. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it did, it did the job that it was trying to do. It's... Yeah, exactly. But with this one, I just it, felt it's like unnecessary. It was too much. Yeah, it's yeah. unnecessary. It was, it was just, a bit, just a bit too much. <laughs> like if I were being honest, once again, the cloth. <laughs> I'm gonna meme that cloth so hard. Like, dude, 
I have a cloth. No one's gonna fucking notice this. It's evidence, please. No one talks about it. My God. You know the I mean? the thing is, basically, I was trying to sh I was trying to shortcut it like around the end, which, to be honest, in a in a in a grand scale of logical. You know, sounds. It makes sense that I would make that decision, cause w this evidence is already enough. So why, why are you making it as, as if it's a fucking yeah, mistake? There's, why? There's a, lot of, there's a lot of this evidence already proves all of this. Why do we need to talk about it? More? Yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of moments like that. Yeah, it's annoying. It's very annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't disagree. Yeah, it's a pretty and, bad um, trial. Oh it's, man. In, in this trial also is pretty similar to the second one, and while. The second trial, uh, the second one from the first, uh, the second game, I mean, uh, with Peko. Yeah. And while I did say that was, pr I, I, I mentioned earlier that Peko was pretty dumb in that. I really do love that trial. I think out of the. It did make you cry. I, no, I, I, did, I, did I cry? Yeah, I it, yeah. Yeah, you did. You did. But that was more towards for you, Hiko, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it was more towards for you, Hiko. Oh, yeah, uh, out of the three chapter two trials, I think the second one is my favorite. Um, hmm. but like it does have a similar feel of this character kind of disappointed me. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? Because yeah. like playing Danganronpa two, um, at the at the start, Peko was my absolute favorite. Like no no even question. Because like white hair and red eyes are just an aesthetic I I admired back then. I just really like her aesthetics from back then. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And and um, you know, she also has a pretty good gap, and she's a swordsman, and I'm a swordsman. <laughs> I, 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 R R Rocky, yeah, of course, of course, of course, we know that. Of course, we know that. But this one's just unnecessarily long. But yeah, but 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 uh, by the end of chapter two in in the second game, I was kind of disappointed with Paco. Like, okay, like while it did make me sad, I was also like, I mean, it? in in the same oh, time, I get from her, quote unquote, yeah. I it's kind of understandable because and it's the same vein I, with um Kirumi, honestly. But it's uh, it's it's. It's worse because at least with Peko we have um, Fuyuhiko to feel with, but yeah. with here we don't really have anyone. Yeah, we don't really have any attachment. I mean, I guess I guess the the reason why they decided to go with this is just to show the painful like comparison between her and then and, uh, Ryoma, Ryoma that, which uh, Ryoma man, yeah, I I really feel more to Ryoma. Basically, it's a similar Kirumi situation. It's yeah. basi basically the same situation where, you know, in the second game, we just really feel s something more towards, you know, I guess a little bit on Peko, like depending on how yeah. you really see the situation. And of course, Fuyuhiko, and that we got here, we just really feel more about, you know, him, Ryoma, so. Yeah. And also, the <sighs> convoluted part in the second game was also fun, is the thing, right? Oh well, yeah, like, because we we had the we had the whole game and stuff, you know. Like yeah, he, we to solve two murders. That's so cool. Yeah, like a murder that actually happened in the yeah. real world, and then a murder that happened here. So yeah, that was really good. Yeah, true. And I'm, yeah, so yeah, and uh, uh God, it also Ibu Ibuki was basically style, care so about happy. the world or the character. Yeah, something like that. I guess. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I, I mean, it's easy to um. It's, I mean, stories uh, can make you uh, care about the world and the characters at the same time, though. Because yeah. there's a lot of stories like that, like uh, One Piece, for example. The yeah. world is also a big thing, even though uh, Oda's character writing is also really good. But we, you care for both. And even to a ex certain extent, the first two Danganronpa games, once we knew the mystery of the world, we also cared for it, right? Yeah. Especially in UDG, that's even more so. Yeah, definitely we, UDG. In UDG, we literally say, see what the fuck happened to the world after. <laughs> yeah, and what and what the and what the world has become to, and what happened to the people within it. So yeah, yeah. And since this game, this game specifically, isn't connected to, um, uh, the the storyline of the first two or the first three, it's a different universe or whatever. Uh, we don't have that same connection. Yeah, unfortunately. And um, there's also another reason why I hate this trial, but that's not going to become apparent until the end of the game, so I'm not going to mention it. All right. All right. I guess I'm going to fucking end here because... For those oh, who man. have played it, you probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, um, I, yeah. Um, I, I'm going to have a massive discussion after you finish this game because I have a lot of a lot of thoughts about this game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I might I might have a lot of them as well in the end. So anyway, Kenji, thank For you. Sure.
Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna Indeed. close up stream. Hi. Yeah. Tomorrow we will play. Finally. Finally, Sea of Thieves sea again. Sea of Thieves. God. Indeed. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go watch out for that, guys. All right. Here we go. Gotta be. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Kenji. Glad to be here. <laughs> oh shit! How do I do this? Yub it. Yub it. Discord can. Okay, here we go. So anyway, guys, thank you so much, Rocky. Rocky, thank you so much for sticking around. How long have you been stuck around? Actually, I I think you've been here like ever since. The chapter started? No, not the chapter started. Ever since the investigation started or a trial? I don't know. You've been here for a while, so a shout out to you, man. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for uh, staying. We've been streaming for almost eight hours. Um, yeah. The whole trial. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, I also do want to thank you that you didn't really back CPEC all the way. So, you basically just, you, you, bear, you basically bared the pain, so... <laughs> thank you thank you very much dude thank you and uh, yeah we're gonna be ending stream tomorrow once again i do want to tell you guys that uh sea of thieves make sure to stay tuned uh us me and the boys kenji tokomono is gonna be here and uh yeah i'm gonna be probably working on the vods as well i think by tomorrow i think i'm gonna be able to upload the genshin vod um uh the genshin vod that we had uh uh, t uh earlier and then i'm uh, sorry yesterday I've been through it all, uh, sorry, but it got too painful. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's only fine. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.